Hey guys, Fia back again with another Twitch vod. This one is from the 22nd of May, 2022. It was a Sunday. We did some leveling. I really enjoy leveling and after getting my 50-50s done and now moving towards 50-60s, it's just, it's so much fun. I'm really enjoying myself and I'm smashing those goals as well. So I hope you enjoy the VOD. If you do and you'd like to catch us live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. And if you tack on a forward slash schedule, you'll see what time I'll be going live automatically converted to your time zone. And it'll also tell you what I will be streaming on that day, which is brilliant. Uh, and if you'd like to catch me in, in other areas and support me in my quest to become a full-time content creator, you can do that and on my social media. So I've got Instagram, there's a Twitter, a Facebook, a TikTok, there's a Discord you can join. Uh, and all those links are down in the description box below, along with a couple of affiliate links if you're looking for some sneaky gifts for yourself or maybe for some friends. But uh, I hope you enjoy the VOD. Let me know what you think. And I will see you hopefully in chat next time we go live. Should we get cracking? Hello. Greetings to all. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, this one, because we're heading for tokens and then skins. We're gonna get a ninth 60 today? Is that what we're gonna do? Two monks, five orc slayers. All right, let's place that orc slayer because it's on a ridiculous cooldown. It is a legendary unit. It makes sense. Um, <laughs> make sure you place your units. Follow the link in chat, log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Whatever you want, it doesn't have to be super high level. Just like get your quests done, place what you're trying to level. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. Um, just have fun. Just have some fun. Um, I'll do this thing because uh, mounts, there is mount makeup today. Um, you might imagine there won't be mount makeup tomorrow and you would be correct. Tomorrow is our sponsored stream with Final Fantasy XIV and Square Enix. So I'm not gonna advertise WoW on my face. Pretty, you know, like you'd think, but anyway, no map makeup tomorrow, but I'm gonna have a play with my mellow stuff. It's gonna be so much fun, I, yay. Um, right, so, <laughs> I am wearing glitter. I am wearing actual glitter. You can probably tell because it's very sparkly. I'm wearing actual glitter on my face. I am an adult. I have made an informed adult decision about putting glitter on my eyelids. Please. Well. Landa, thank you so much for the resub. And at tier two, much, oh, battle plan. Okay. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, when it comes to glitter and makeup, it is quite a controversial topic and for good reason. Um, uh, glitter is not eye safe. Glitter can cause blindness. Uh, it, it at like, you know, the worst sort of circumstance. So if you are wanting to use glitter on your face, please do your research. Please take the precautions that you should be doing and all that kind of stuff. Um, I have uh, a, an adhesive that I've applied to my eyes before putting on the glitter. The glitter that I'm using comes mixed into an adhesive, but fuck that, I've used an additional adhesive on top of that. Um, and, and I have made the decision to try it out. Um, uh, that is my choice as an adult. You don't have to agree with my decision. Uh, there are some glitters I refuse to use. There are others that I will be okay with under certain circumstances. And then there are things like flakies and stuff like that, that uh, I, from my personal research, I don't believe pose a threat. Uh, but this particular one does pose a threat. So I have used precautions and all that kind of stuff. But please, if you are planning on using glitter on your face, do your research and decide whether or not and where on your face you would feel comfortable personally putting it. Disclaimer aside, I have glitter on my face. It is red and gold glitter. It is a mix of red and gold. Um, it kind of comes across as sort of a pinky with with a fleck of like gold in there every so often kind of red. I have a super dark green on the, the outer corner here. And then I have like a reddish maroony purple. It's not even, what am I saying purple for? It's like a dark pinky red. That's what I'm trying to get towards. It's a darker pinky red, but I've buffed it out a fair bit, so it's not like super dark, but it is a darker color. Uh, but those are the shades that I'm wearing. Uh, obviously my lips are also red. Um, 
Yeah. Enjoy. Best uh, best of luck. I own this mount and it flies. Button. Push. Thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. What is going on here? All right. There we go. Shaman. Shaman. This is my highest level alt. Um, where's my leveling 56 challenge? Good. Uh, let us jump onto Zam first. Congratulations. Well done. Well done to Seeker on second. Zam with not muted. Yeah, look, I am a pro streamer. I am a pro streamer. Um, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Watching it'll be a bit early when your microphone mic is quieter than your stream mic. Um, uh, it's not like, well, yes, yes, but when I'm streaming like this, I often am speaking quite a bit louder. I, I don't know what it is because I was wearing my headset with that anyway. It just, when I'm streaming, I, I do speak quite a bit louder than I do normally. I don't know why, it just, it just is. Um, hello, Lucky. I hope you're doing fantastically today. Ah, follow Fia on the socials, please, and thank you. My Instagram following is growing slowly but surely, and I'm so happy to see that. But please, if you haven't already, uh, jump on into my Insta and throw me a follow. I've also got Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, and of course the Discord if you'd like to join there as well. And if you have already followed and joined, tell your friends, your family, your, your chosen family, your, your gaming people you game with guildies that kind of like spread the word spread the word it's amazing oh thank you lucky uh, i've done the battle plan thank you so much for the kind words lando much appreciated amber glittering yeah <laughs> um yeah look not not too bad my day has not been too bad so far which is which is good i've been semi-productive i'm happy about that i'm happy about that uh how about your own uh, right, so 22nd of May, I've already met my leveling goal for today in terms of like percentage per week, like I did with the, yep, um, I'm not behind, which is very nice, but fingers crossed we can do some, uh, some, some jumping on in. So restoring balance. So we're heading out to Ardenweald. Let's do that. I was trying to figure out how to fix some of my issues with the stream. I could use the distraction. <laughs> yeah, OBS is, um... It took me years to get my settings right. Don't stress. Don't stress. Um, it only really, like when, when you're just starting out, um, people aren't so much paying attention to the, the quality and all that kind of stuff. Um, getting things to work just how you want them to. Yes, disconnects, obviously big issue. Um, massive numbers of dropped frames, also an issue, all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah. Um, OBS, the, the auto, like the wizardy thing, also seems to put settings below where they could actually be, but that again, it depends on uh, how potato your computer is. Um, you do need to, to produce a good quality stream. I'm not talking about quality of content. That is entirely separate. Your computer can't help you with that. But in terms of quality actual stream, quality stream of data, you need a good PC. That doesn't mean you need a, a top of the line six thousand dollar PC. Uh, my PC is now three, four, three, three and a half ish years old, and it was twelve hundred dollars for the guts only. I already had the case, I had the power supply, I had all the peripherals. Just the guts were twelve grand. Uh, twelve grand. Fucking twelve hundred. One thousand two hundred Australian dollars. Um, so it doesn't need to be ridiculous, but it does need to be good. It does need to be good in order to produce a quality stream of data and and picture and all that kind of stuff. Um, but beyond that, yeah, uh, 70 million bajillion videos out there will all tell you different shit as well. Um, you just have to play around with it. There's nothing else you can do. You have to change a few things, do the stream, see what you think. Try Maybe try changing one thing at a time um, and then watching back your VOD. Uh, just to see, like, because if you change seven things, which of the seven actually made it better? Or, conversely, which of the seven made it shit? Uh, you, yeah, it's a... It is a slow process. 
slow process uh and it, it literally took me years to figure out where i should be and it was only a couple of months ago that i finally bumped it up to six thousand kabips um which has improved the quality a fair bit uh so yeah like it and i'm six years in so yeah don't don't stress too much about it like you should not be spending hours and hours and hours doing this continuously you should maybe spend 15 to 20 minutes looking at one thing and changing that one thing and then you do your next stream you get the feedback from the next stream and then you spend another 20 minutes changing one thing um yeah it's not a big deal really not a big deal um uh garnet razor wing no uh, I'll show me a little bit uh, spent the day playing playing so two yeah, Fantastic, Lander. Wonderful. Only girls would be better than the last stream. So technical quality, etc. As long as I choose that weekly, I'll be okay. Need a six K PC because reasons. Oh god, I mm -mm. nope. Having to spend that much every couple of, like every few years because even if you buy a six thousand PC, six thousand dollar PC, like if I spent I spent let's say I spend fifteen hundred bucks. On, on a PC because that's how much I spent like the first go and then I've bought a little bit like an extra peripheral here or an extra one there or whatever but let's say I spent 1500 gutting my PC right and I do that every four to five years spending four times that much on a six thousand dollar PC might extend a life by maybe a year or two so it might be I replace it in six years quadrupling the price to extend it by 20 like the life span by 20 percent oh hell nah it's not worth it it's not worth it panda thank you so much for the resub i hope you were doing fantastically well today uh if it was a, like hey if it was a sponsorship and someone was giving me a six thousand dollar pc every five years oh hell i would not turn that down <laughs> Mm -mm, wouldn't turn it down unless of course it was a shit company in which case I would absolutely turn it down because that's not how we roll here but um yeah nah I, I would I would never be able to justify paying that much and this is my business this is my job I, I don't think I would ever be able to justify spending that much on a PC uh, unless I was spending it on two PCs so I had like a lounge room set up and like a or, or I had a two PC set up where one rendered the game and then it funneled through and then rendered the stream and then sent it off like Maybe, 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 but I am miles away from ever being able to afford that. So yeah, <laughs> I could, I just, I just can't. My, like the value I put into a dollar it is entirely too high for me to justify spending that much on something. I just can't, I, I just can't. Uh, all right, Arden Wheels, Threads of Fate, Tinaval, home location, let's go. Ah, oh, I'm my PC, I'm my brother and my dad. Uh, yeah, I, I built, this is my, I want to say seventh PC that I've built. Uh, I refuse help because it's, I know what I'm doing now and I, like, I want to do it myself. It's my baby. It's, it's like my project and I want to, yeah. But I have accepted help in way of like, can you hold the phone with the light right here so I can see what I'm doing. But beyond that, no. It's, it's all mine. All mine. <laughs> Selfish about that, and I'm all right with it. Thanks for being seeing sound quality to three kids. And can I, like, what, no. The next, the next step would be stopping my mic from peaking. It's for actual audio engineering to stop my mic from constantly peaking. Like, not, not the audio quality. It would be actually going into all my settings and tweaking my, my microphone settings Thanks so that it doesn't peak continuously. You. It sits in, it sits in either like low, it might, the range of my volume is low red to completely maxed out whole bar has gone red. Like that is, that is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that would be the next step in quality, I reckon. I'm too focused on socials. I don't have time to, like, I don't know anything about audio engineering and the amount of time it would t spend, the amount of time it would take me to learn that. I could have grown my social media following by threefold. Like it's just, it's not, yeah, I, I can't, <laughs> I can't. Ah, uh, the Amber Moth, no. Um, I mean the family, amazing panda, well, we're happy to have you. Usually three to five, 3.5 to 4K that times every couple of years. So sorry, package to reduce my taxable income. Exactly, exactly. Mine are not. <laughs> <laughs> when there are when there are situations like that, then yes, there are there are definitely 
options out there for people to do amazing, awesome things, I do not have that option. I do not have that. Not not only that, but I am in. Heartwood Grove has fallen. No, I'm not in the lowest tax bracket. I think I'm in the second tax bracket. And in order for me to drop to the lowest tax bracket to pay zero tax, I would have to spend like, I, I don't even know, but I'm assuming it's probably somewhere between 10 and $20,000. Uh, and no, <laughs> I need that money. Um, <laughs> I need that for other shit because I'm in a low tax bracket. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, um, that's uh, not an option for me, but maybe look, maybe one day. But I don't think I'm ever going to have, like, a proper salary like that ever again. And I am okay with that. Unless I'm getting a salary like that from a, like, a, t like a, a stream team or a streaming, like, a content creation company, management company. That would be the only way I would take a salary again, I think. Um, and even then, I'd still have to use, like, a third party. You know how there are third party salary packaging companies out there? Um, like they basically help you buy stuff and claim it so that it works as a salary packaging type deal and then they charge you a fee for it or something like that. I've, I've seen them before, um, but it's not like through the actual company that you work for. It's, se yeah, separately. It's cool though. Sounds fair, I'm not PC to do it on my own yet. I'm just get the impulse, of course, of course. Well, that's the thing. Like you said you built it with your, with your family. Like I'm assuming that's the first time you've done it. Like I said, I've done like seven. <laughs> I have more experience than you do. And that's totally okay. Like there's nothing wrong with that. The only way you get more experience is to do it again. And like, you don't want to do it again just for the sake of it. You like, you need to actually need a, P a new PC. Like, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm not looking forward to buying another PC, like the next one. Because, uh, I mean, the shortages are starting to ease up, but they're still, it's still not a fun time. It's going to be very, like the next time, if I can't, if I can't hold on for another couple of years, I think my next PC is going to be very expensive. Uh, fingers crossed I can uh, land myself <laughs> a sponsorship of some kind before then, because good lord. Good loud. Um... Flame Talon of Elysra's or no! Still learning to not grab it and needing help with things. It's been years with process. Uh. We'll get it. Uh, next one's gonna be a 2k USD drop. Uh, employers and management third party company. Until the company was allowed and that company manages it all. Oh, that's cool. That's really funky. There are, there are ones that the individual can go to. If their company does not offer a, a salary packaging thing, you as an individual can seek out that service. At least maybe some industries or something can off like have that kind of thing. I remember my last full-time job had that, like the company themselves didn't do salary packaging, but they had they had like you could get a discount, like one of the one of the company benefits was you could get a discount with this company who would set you up with a salary package. Like it was just, it was really, really strange. I remember thinking like, why? But I guess it just means less work for them to do, which is good. Um, and I'm assuming that you just set it up with your company for X percentage of your thing to just go straight to the other company who would set it up in a way that you wouldn't have to pay tax or something. I don't know. It's, um, I'm not in that industry, so I don't know, but it was kind of a funky sort of thing. And I don't know if it even still exists because of course this was uh, a few years ago now, so yeah. The Dreadwake, no. It is not the Dreadwake. Valajar Stormwing, no. To cover for anyone who is filtering in, the colors on my eyes are a pinky red, a red and gold sort of glittery thing, and a uh, dark green. Dark green. And I own it and it flies. Flamewood Hippogriff, no. So am I gonna get my ninth sixty today? She's fifty five at the mo at the at the moment. Like that's I only got five levels to get in six hours. It's just a matter of can I stay on target and can I get not as distracted as I usually get? It'll be interesting to see what happens. Let me confer with my <laughs> No. So rude. So rude. Shark bait. No. 
I believe. Thank you, Lucky. At least somebody believes. Look, I reckon, I reckon we could get there. I am bang on 55. Like, but I reckon we could maybe even get started on another one. This is my first male tune that I'm uh, leveling, as in male wearer. It's a shaman. Everything else has been the other armor types. But I was like, okay, I've I've leveled two Venthyr, two Nightfay, three Necrolord, and one Kyrian. So I'm like, okay, so I want to level a Kyrian next. Which which one? And then I realized I still hadn't done any male wearers. So I was like, which which male wearer have I allocated to Kyrian? And it was Pyro. So that's that's what I'm leveling. Uh, Ban Lu, Grandmaster's companion. No. Shots fired by Zam. I know, right? Now I have to prove Zam wrong, though. This is the thing. I think this is intentional on Zam's part. Like, tell her she can't do it so that she does it out of spite. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? Love that I can just, over my wireless network, transfer 207 files from my phone to my laptop, just by the way. That that link to my Asus thing that I didn't even realize was a thing. Holy cow, I love it so much. It's an app you can download. It's on iOS or Android. You just, you download the app and they, as long as they're on the same local area network, so they're both on Fionati HQ, the wireless. And um, it, like you just, you select the files you want to transfer off your phone. And then it comes up and it's like, which of these, which of these do you, which of these devices do you want to send them to? And I'm like, Alfred, cause it's the laptop. And then it just goes. And so it's just sitting there transferring files. 207 videos and photos. Amazing. Uh, and that'll help me, of course, uh, clip those videos into reels or posts for Instagram. Uh, and then I can drag and drop them straight into plan from there. It's like, I am so happy. So happy. I'm yet to leave the house with the laptop. Um, but I am, I am, I have plans incoming. I have to leave the house at one point this week, so I think I'm going to take the lappy with me. Because there is a chance I might be waiting around for the person I'm meeting so I can pull it out and do some work. Uh, you're not wrong, Spider's how I got my master's degree in research. It's a proven technique. Oh my god. Oh dear. Uh, all right, do I have, where, mm. looking for stuff that I can smack that'll give me a mask. This one. Ah, uh, hello, Yuri. Leveling indeed. Look, if you want to see more leveling next month, y'all need to contribute to the, the stream challenge, the community challenge, because we are well behind. Today is the last day that we can contribute to that. And we are well behind. 61%. Usually we want 25% each stream. So we're 14% behind the start of the stream and we're already half an hour in. So that's like a thing. How many more do we need? Give me a second, let me just... Uh, 30, da, 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 take 191.671 divided by 2000. We need 55 people. 55 people minimum to be able to reach that. I don't know if we're going to get there. I'm not sure we're going to get there, you guys. Ah, uh, experiment 12B. No, sun warmed fur line. No, I believe it does fly, but I, it's not that one. Uh, oh no, I know, right? I know, surprising. I would have thought that, the, like, everyone is always badgering me to, like, level to do 50-60s, but, like, here we are, giving you the option, and, uh, no one's been contributing. First time I wouldn't be able to hack it as a researcher, just stick to my empathetic career instead. Took that personally. Oh, dear. So hopelessly due to Dragon Age, brought all the DLC in contact pack. So you've been telling us. Do we strike? Um, just, as long as you're enjoying it, that's, that's fine. Uh, must recruit indeed. So then you have know, she's 15. Fantastic. Congratulations on the milestone. 15 is awesome. Well done. And how are we going? 27.61%. Speak plainly. <clears throat> when you start a new zone in um, Threads of Fate, I feel like it moves quite slowly. 
and then it kind of picks up as you get closer to the end of the like it starts speeding up real quick as you get towards the end of the um the zone it's really interesting Uh, spawn of Galacras, no! I'm gonna trip, get to go through my zoo photos. Yay, Yori! Amazing! Uh, just very close. Very bad. Fiery Warhorse, no, it's not the Fiery Warhorse. Brilliant. That's alright. I'm sure you'll be able to change stuff later or something. Uh, look, I've I've never played any of the Dragon Age games, so I have exactly zero idea what you're on about, to be perfectly honest. But um, that's fine. Um, alrighty. I've got to get the anima cones after this, I think. Yes, eight of the anima cones. Um, a money dragon hawk. No. No. Bam. It's one. Is there another one around here? Surely. There we go. Two. Crimson Cloud Serpent. Yes! Zam's got it! It is indeed the Crimson Cloud Serpent. There it is. Crimson. This one! With that little flicker of gold down its belly. The pinky red and then the super dark green. It is indeed the Crimson Cloud Serpent. Well done, Zam. What's your number? One to a hundred? Make your choice. Good evening, Dano. Couldn't say better than Friday. Definitely. Um, I ended up sleeping for like 14 hours Friday night to Saturday morning. Um, I slept for a very long time. It felt like crap because I like lost all that potential productivity, but I figured I really needed it. And then on Saturday night, um, I slept for quite a bit more as well, like on top of that. Um, so I think honestly, I was sick. And I'm still probably a little bit sick, um, but like my, my body just was like, you know what? I'm just going to take what I need. We're going to have a big long sleep. Uh, and so I definitely felt quite a bit better. I still feel kind of a bit sort of groggy and sleepy and not quite 100%, but I'm definitely feeling a bit better than I was. Um, so I think I was just like the kind of sick that isn't outwardly obvious, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, fingers crossed that means I'm on the mend. Yeah. Let's see what I was guessing. You were indeed. Subtlety with colour, nose, no bounds. What do you mean? Uh, I think you made Crimson Cloud Seven before. I wasn't sure. It looked like Crimson Cloud Seven. It definitely. Yeah. No, I haven't. I haven't done it before. What do you mean about the subtlety, Lander? Um, it's huge. Glad you got it. Must certainly need it. Yeah. And the new extra sleep can make you feel groggy, but better too. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Like I definitely, it was weird. I definitely didn't, f usually when I wake up in the morning, it takes me like an hour or so to really get going, like for my brain to turn on and stuff. But after I woke up from that really long sleep, I was immediately ready to go. Like I actually woke up feeling, I'm not going to say refreshed, definitely not going to say refreshed, but it was close enough, if that makes sense. 42 already. Queen. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. All right, we have, there you are, Bad North Jotun Edition. I 
feel like I've played that before or heard of it or so. I'm not too sure, but like that sounds familiar. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I can turn in the other one that I picked up that I wasn't apparently supposed to as well. Fantastic. Um, good morning, Miko. Welcome in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to chat as well. Can see you are new here. It's a compliment you give this game. He's for it. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Because I was like, wait, was one of the colors too subtle? What's what's going on? I was uh, just a touch confused, but it's fine. Makes sense. Uh, do you want Titan forging back in the next X pack? No. Why would anyone want Titan forging back? Um, yay for the contributions to the 5060s leveling challenge for next month. This is your last day to contribute to that stream challenge. Make sure you get on in there if you would like to see me do some more leveling. Today's the last day. We need 50 something people still to contribute. Because we fell a little bit behind this week, which is okay. That's fine. But if we're going to make it, oof, it's going to be a rough one. breakfast the family amazing Miko that sounds wonderful what's for breakfast I love food it makes me really happy I'm, uh, I'm somewhat of a foodie Not this button I guess everyone liked Legion now people complain about BFA and Shadowlands that is not like so you think people liked Legion because of Titan forging um I do believe that you are mistaken. The wield welcomes you. Farewell. I think you will find that that is not the reason why people liked Legion. In fact, wasn't Titan forging not? Titan forging wasn't Legion, was it? God, I can't even remember. That was so long ago. Uh, Meaty, Shovel, Fade, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Done. Be a fair time watching. Oh yeah, that's right. Cause it was. Yep. Mhm. Mm Good. Brilliant. Um. Hello, Jack. I went to Pancake Palace. One of the left died. Fantastic. Which is some amazing pancakes. Always. Always. Legion was the last X pack of Last Alita, wasn't it? Was it? Maybe. Maybe. I don't remember. To be genuinely honest with you, I do not remember. Ah, uh, there we go. Place your units. I can do a battle plan as well. Wonderful. Um, hello, Chaos. Doing very well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. Uh, Titan Forging started a mop. Yeah, Titan Forging ended a mop. Yeah, because I remember getting, um, like, because it was the throne of what's it with the zappy lightning dude. I remember getting Titan Forge crap from there. Uh, Legion didn't have Master Loot. I hate a Titan Forging. Hello, 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 Mithril. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not a fan of Titan Forging either. Um, I understand why they tried it. Like the the logic behind it made sense, but it didn't work the way that they had hoped it would work. Uh, and yeah, no, I'm not a fan of it. Um, fair enough. That's okay. The X packet was removed in. Let's put it simply bring back RNG. There is RNG. Are you feeling okay? 
Well, I feel like you're confusing a few bits and pieces. Like, there is tons of RNG in the game. In fact, people complain about there being too much RNG. Like, it's... Hmm... Instead, fair enough. Okay, Throne of Thunder, that's the one, Zam, thank you, yes. Yeah, Throne of Lightning, man. It, yep, same thing. <laughs> okay, so we have legendaries, Val. Are you, tr I feel like you're trolling. Are you feeling okay? Like. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like uh, this is potentially an attempt at trolling, like a really bad attempt at trolling. Looking back through chat history. Switch at the moment. Yeah, it's the last time you could do plus five and get plus 50 item level increase. Yeah, that's bad design. The harder content should reward better loot rather than just by chance, like. Yeah, this is this is a troll. I'm gonna stop giving that attention because this is very obviously a really bad trolling attempt. So yeah, it's good. Um, move uh, you come afraid of the puzzle game? Did you figure it out? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like I think it took us two and a half hours for Jas and I to get through it, and how long to beat had it at like an average two hour playtime. Um, so take into account we also had stream raiders and random bouts of talking to chat and stuff like that. Yeah, we, we pretty much got it bang on average time. So yeah, it was great fun. I really enjoyed it. It was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, there was a lot to grab about of late. They seem to be using pinpoints at the mindset six. Yeah. Look, I think it's good for a game to try out new things. Otherwise it just, everything gets boring and stagnant and it's just same, 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 same. But at the same time, sometimes they try something and it doesn't work for the majority of the player base. Some people really, really like it and a whole lot of people really don't like it. And so they wind it back or they try something different in the same vein. Like it's, yeah, it's experimentation. And there needs to be space for experimentation, but there also needs to be space for recognizing when the player base doesn't enjoy it. Stream Raiders indeed, Tuna. We do some Stream Raiders here. Do you enjoy it? Or recommend then? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. For sure. Um, You're not making me uncomfortable, Val. Not at all. It's just hilarious that you're like yelling, bring back legendaries when there are literally legendaries in game. Like, it's just nonsensical. <laughs> you're not making me uncomfortable in the slightest. I simply don't care. Uh, okay, except Burrows Away. Let us pick up, oh right, okay, I'm in this area. Good, where there's like 12 million different things to do at once. Fantastic. I kind of like that when you go through an area just doing all the stuff and then eventually all the quests finish at the same time and you get a massive hunk of XP. I like those areas. <laughs> A lot of Wales play base is way too unreceptive to anything that isn't perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's kind of unfortunate. Um, because they need to be able to experiment with stuff, but um You would you would hope that as the player base has matured, you know, in age, gone from, you know, average player age of what, like 16 to an average player base of 30 or 28 or something, um, that people would, you know, in their growth and maturity in life would also understand how to provide constructive criticism, but nah, it's all just re and screeching on the internet. Um, but that's okay. I don't envy, I do not envy the development teams having to 
having to try to sift their way through that for actual feedback. But, you know. Um. And Sister Island 2. Like, SSD, fantastic! Um, hello, Alm. How many mounts do you got at the moment? Uh, the number of mounts I got, um, is 665. I have 665 account-wide mounts. Uh, it tells you how much time it took at the end. You're, yeah, it does. It tells you, like, how many minutes of your life. <laughs> You're not gonna get back. It's fantastic. Um... It may just have genuinely been a wrong number. Like, <laughs> that happens. People type things in wrong. Like, ever heard of a typo? They exist on a numpad too. It's cool. It's very cool. Hey, Alexi. Did you clarify maturity? Yeah. I mean, there is obviously different, different definitions of the word maturity, but, um... They, they're supposed to kind of go hand in hand roughly. Not not like perfectly, like everyone at this age will be this level of maturity. It's not like that. But like as you gain life experience, you're also supposed to gain understanding of different perspectives. But it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, Jazz, stop engaging, please. Um... Evening. How goes leveling? Uh, so far so good. We've gotten about half a level today. Going all right. Um. Why are things been a nightmare for me? Because my nickname is Ree. Every time someone does it, my brain immediately goes, what? <laughs> yeah. That is what it is. It's a lot of mounts. It is. It is. But I have been playing the game for a while. So, I mean... I have accumulated them over time. It's not like I went out and got them all in a month or something. Just stop engaging. Um, uh, no, I really nicely. I was like, I cannot help. <laughs> Um, it's from Data for Azra, the other number. Yes! Correct. They're so amazing. <laughs> it's just been washed. I didn't even do anything to it this time. It's just literally been washed. Um, thank you, Lexi. Much appreciated. I haven't had time to curl it, but look, maybe... Maybe sometime soon I'll have some time to sit down and curl it again. I just... I mean, it doesn't take long to curl. It's just that I've had so much other stuff and I've been sleeping in because I'm sick. It's just a whole thing. It's a whole thing. I uh, can't get too Two and a half hours, roughly. Two and a half hours of stream, but there was some chit chat before we got started, so. I guess you're wanting to land after I sent that. Yeah, look, I, I get that, but I also very clearly said I am no longer going to engage with this conversation. Like, ten minutes ago. Maybe not ten, but like at least seven or eight. So, in my defense, I'd already said that, and when I'm not going to engage with something, I'm going to expect my moderators not to engage either, personally. Um, but if you were unaware of that general expectation, you are now aware. Ah, uh, does fear wash your hair? Look, occasionally. <laughs> occasionally. Every system they've implemented has had potential so far, some have even been good, just needed development time, the community never really gives the devs before yelling about every little problem. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, they expect that when it goes up on PTR, that every single thing they point out will be changed, and then once it makes it to live, that it will be perfection. Because you've had it, you've had to, you know, you've had the time on PTR to test stuff. But it's not, that's not the thing. Like, occasionally, even if you do test something on PTR, when it goes live, it interacts with live things in a way that just couldn't have been foreseen. Like, it's, it's, it's yeah, new bugs pop up after the PTR process has been completed. Like, it's it's a mess. But that's that's dev. That's development. Even back in the day where there weren't any PTRs, even when it was bloody floppy disk games that had 12 floppy disks to run different sections of the game, you would still end up every so often 
having to to go to some place or, or send in some coupon from a magazine to get another floppy disk that patched the original installation. It, patches have always existed. Always. Didn't isn't it called a patch? Because originally it was actually a little patch of stuff that they would stick on a punch card to cover a hole so it was no longer a hole so that the punch card would do what it was meant to do. Like, is that not, I, that might just be some internet, like, myth thing, but I, I swear to God I've read that somewhere, which I think is fucking hilarious, personally. But, um, <laughs> it's, it's always been a thing. Ah, uh, so slow. Oh, thank you. How do you like Coast of the Tomblands? I love the new skins they've brought out. They're super, super cute. Um, we don't really play it in a really intense way or alongside like like doing the strategizing and place these here and place that there and what's the best way to do it. We just kind of, I'm like, hey, have fun. Place whatever you want to level or whatever you're trying to get done. Place it wherever you want to place it and, uh, and we'll work it out sort of thing. It's very much a side game for us, uh, but the, the new skins are adorable. I already got one. I got the archaeologist rogue from the first skin chest on the first map. I'm very happy about that. It's adorable. Probably still use my own skin because, you know, but <laughs> I still like collecting things I'm never going to use. Washing your hair is such effort. It, it really can be. It, it really can be your hair. Ah, uh, BTR doesn't exercise everything. Yes. Bugs aren't always easily fixable. That is also a thing. Kind of supposed to point out the problems or the team ends up abandoning or improving features is up to them. Yeah, but feedback is different from, oh my god, it doesn't fucking work. There's a very big difference between those two, like, things. Uh, this is a good example of stuff that made it through PTR that required revising. Good launch, couple of niche issues that weren't either test or easily fixed. Got fixed up pretty quick to make them some modicum of balance. Yeah. Yeah. Wish the guy that actually did that on paper tape. No way. That's really cool. I wasn't sure if that was... Because, you know, you know you have these, like, internet myths that could... They sound like they could actually be a thing, but they're not. And they never have been. They just sound logical, so I wasn't too sure if that was actually a thing or not, but there you go. That makes sense. Historically, software supplies distributed patches on paper tape on uh, or on punch cards, expecting the representative to come out the end of that. Or don't patch in, hence the name, the replacement segment. There you go. There you go. That's super cool. Da -da 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 -da. What am I? Oh, this one. I'm like, where is my arrow taking me? My arrow, magic arrow of destiny. We're getting close to 56. What are we at? 78.78. I uh, didn't know this. I have done a learn today. Yay! Well, I mean, if you never thought, like if you never really thought to think about where does the word patch come from, it's not exactly useful information these days. It's one of those, uh, you know, random facts that people collect over time. So I don't blame you for not knowing. Our artisans can craft all kinds of amazing things. They just need someone to bring them supplies. Someone like you. Flight path. All right, let us set our new home. Something for every occasion. And go and do some quests because that's how we level quests and bonus objectives. I'm quite enjoying Threads of Fate. Not gonna lie, I was like. I've never been opposed to it as in I didn't want it to exist. I'm glad, I'm always glad when there are options provided to people to play the way that they want to play. Like that's, that, sometimes it could possibly be a bad thing if it's like, you know, developers shoehorning things in that don't really work to try to placate a lot of the player base. That's not great. But things like threads, I, I never thought I'd actually use it because I really love going through storyline leveling. It makes like, I just, I really enjoy that. But, this is, this is good. I enjoy this. I enjoy this. Ah, oh, thanks for the heads up about the straws. Everyone, did you know Bubble Tea Club sells retractable straws? I know, they're a new release. How awesome are they? 
How super cute are they? Yes, use code Fiamma at checkout for sure. For sure, they're they're bubble tea size straws, uh, and they're they're quite good. But um, like, I mean, they're they the original metal straws are amazing. I've not had a chance to use their retractable ones just yet, uh, but I'm sure I will in the near future. Oh, excuse me. Breaking all the eggs, breaking all the eggs. Hear myself. Make sure I don't die. Breaking all the eggs. That works, right? I think it works. But the main story gets a little stale after a while, but all the side quests are really good still. Yeah, I mean, like, I I use Zygor, so I'm not really paying a whole lot of attention to what I'm actually doing. I just follow the arrow and do what it tells me to do. Uh, but, you know, I am very much enjoying this. Uh, plus the fact that it unlocks all of the, like, when you choose Threads of Fate, it immediately unlocks all of the appearances from the storyline stuff. Like, that's super convenient. Like, I like that they've, it's, you know, I like that collectors weren't an afterthought there. That it was part, like, built into how it works. It makes me very happy. <clears throat> Oh, wrong cave. Ha <laughs> ha! Mm, cloth transmox is so nice. A lot of them are, yeah. I mean, some people prefer the big, heavy, spiky things, and that's totally okay. Uh, but I do like some of the really intricate designs on the ropes and stuff. Some of the, like, especially the newer models. The old stuff from Vanilla, it looks like they've tried to make it pretty, but it's all kind of just sort of blurry. It looks like, you know, a, a badly done Sims skin kind of thing. Uh, but the newer ones with the, those little intricacies and stuff there, a lot of them are absolutely gorgeous. Um, our subscribe notifications working. I didn't see anything pop up. They are working. I've had two resubs today. Um, sometimes they don't pop up if there's an issue with payment. Sometimes there's a delay with, uh, with money going through to Twitch and stuff like that. Uh, if it's a prime sub, that shouldn't be the case. But if your prime sub hasn't quite expired, the last place you used it, um, it can definitely, like, it can do little funky things as well. Uh, but nope, they're definitely working today. Uh, and I don't have, I haven't received another subscription since uh, the last resub from Panda. So it hasn't triggered a notification because it hasn't happened. Um, remember, don't hand in your campaign injectors until you're 60. What? Oh, uh, yeah, I've already bought the Renown upgrade. What? Renown, huh? Your campaign objectives. What are you talking about? Um. I always hated most of the male monks for my hunter. Um, honest, to be perfectly honest with you, I haven't done much mogging with male. So, and I, I know that people often complain that the, the male mogs aren't as good as the other three like the leather and plate and cloth. Uh, but I, I collect everything in it. Like, you know, I'm trying to collect as much as I can. So I'll take it, even if I never use it. Uh, but on all my tunes lately, apart from obviously I'm in full uh, heirlooms at the moment and I haven't bothered mogging, uh, but I've been using the cosmetic oh, from the cosmetic set from... Ah, Mithril! With the prime sub. Amazing. Thank you so much for the resub. Your ongoing support and generosity. I'm guessing the button didn't quite press. Ah, uh, refresh worked. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't, like, stick. The internet. Programming. It's all wonderful, isn't it? It's all wonderful. Um... I need to manually try refreshing the page doing the thing again. Yeah, does Renown up work at 50 now? Yeah. Yeah. Ta-da! Renown 50. So learning all the conduits, you can't do until 60, but uh, bumping your Renown up to 40 works at 50.
And that has been the case since I've been leveling these alts, so at least a couple of months now. Which worked amazing. Speaking of transmog, have they changed the tailoring stuff from BC to speed up cloth reduction? Like if I wanted to the shadow weave set for my mage again, it would still take months to craft. I have no idea. Um, you would have to check on your tailor uh, and just check what the cooldown is. I know that there are still daily cooldowns and stuff from some of the older um, stuff. I don't know if there are any weekly cooldowns anymore. If there were back then, I don't know if there were or not. Um, I've been jewel crafting Enchanter for a very long time, like since midway through BC. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, not too sure. You probably have to check it or check Wowhead and see what the cooldown is listed as. Right, let's go turn in some stuff. So I'm guessing the fact that I'm guessing your new learnings, Jack, has changed your advice. What shall I craft next? You're almost fifty-six. Accept gifts of the forest. Go grab ourselves a treated gore mahusk. Uh, kinda. How can I help? Don't turn them in until 68 if you're trying to extra down. You mean 58? So what turn what in exactly? What are you talking about the campaign things? Are you talking about like the, the support the court thing? Can't you not pick up another one until You've turned that one in. Oh, renown level sixty-eight. But then, if you've got if you've gotten to that, doesn't that mean that you can't like? If I go and do a bonus objective, which gives me a renown, doesn't that bonus objective then not quite count towards that zone's what's it? That just it sounds like it's gonna cause issues. What's I don't understand. Because oh, it was great. Stripping the bird was great. Yep, agreed. That is amazing, seeker though. Yay. I don't know if I want chicken anymore. One of the breakpoints where it slows down. Okay. Interesting. You can pick them all up at the same time, boozing in the zones. Ah, okay. I gotcha. That makes sense, yeah. It do, like, honestly, maxing out Renown doesn't bother me too, too much. I've got, like, my four main tunes who are, like, working away at it and stuff. Um, I'm sure it'll be okay. But thank you, anyway, in case there are people out there who are, like, trying to switch mains and stuff like that and trying to get max Renown as quickly as they can. Definitely good advice. Um, don't even need to go pick it up. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. I can't tell. If I have something in my eye, or if my lashes are just poking me funny. I think... I think it's the lashes. That's a pain in the ass. Uh, hey there! Yeah, you! Hope you're well. Have a favour to ask. Want to support Fear? This is Seeker writing this, so of course it's, um, yep, I know it's third person. <laughs> Want to support Fear? Follow on social media! You can find all my profiles either by typing exclamation socials into chat. There is an all my links thing that Seeker has dropped, or you can go underneath the video player and they're listed there as well. Following is free and helps support streamers in expanding their reach, which increases visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. Uh, it's also a great opportunity to share content from your favorite streamers. 
uh, with others who you think might enjoy it. Most social media platforms have a super easy share button right there. Uh, having recently hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, our next goal is 1,111. And we're like, look, we're getting close to halfway there, which is just mind-blowingly awesome. Just putting it out there. Um, I've already done that. Crap. I missed one, didn't I? I did. There's supposed to be one, like, over here, I think. There's the glowy. Maybe over here. There it is. My files are finished transferring, so I can open up the thing. Reckon we get the community goal today a bit behind, but it's possible. Look, it's definitely possible, but I think it's going to take a fair bit of work. I think it's going to take, like, almost everyone swinging by to, to toss as much as they can into it. Uh, but look, that is, that is possible. It is possible. Uh, what are we on at the moment? Hi, the sun. Hey! 58 months at tier 3. My gosh, Jazz. Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Yay. Uh, we're at 71%, so we're definitely, we did a big, there was a big push there right at the start of stream. There usually is. Uh, but. 214, 289. Divided by 2k. We need 43 more people to contribute. 43 more people. Um, and we've got like five hours. So it's like 10 people per hour, a new contrib a new full contribution uh, every six minutes, roughly. So there's that. That's a bit 69 to go. Ah! <laughs> uh, 42 and Zam. Yeah, look, you're not wrong. Car, thank you so much for the cheer. Why did the sound not happen? There we go. <laughs> that was a bit strange. Apologies for the wonky alert there, but thank you so much for the biddies, Seeker. Oh, a hype train is close. I see what you've done there. Uh, we've got three uh, three minutes and 40 seconds to trigger a hype train. Um, right. <laughs> so generous, thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, dupe! <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. Much appreciated. Hype train time. That is super cute. Thank you. Oh, my lord. You guys. You're just so generous and so supportive. And oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, holy cow. Uh, Legends, Jass, and Dupe, absolutely. Choo choo, indeed. Choo choo, indeed. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, sniffle, sniffle. Oh, we've got one. I'll bring Dupe one down here. I was once in on this sweet emote action. Yeah, that's right. If you if you contribute to a hype train, there are emotes you can unlock depending on what level we get to. Uh, and also, the top contributor for subs and the co top contributor for bits each get a conductor badge, which is a little gold train icon next to their name in chat. Uh, and if there is another hype train and that you don't participate in that one, your, your conductor badge turns purple to say that you are a past hype train conductor, which is super sweet. My lord, you guys are just too generous. So sweet of you. Level 2 already, 61% into level 2. My gosh. Oh, I do not know what a swear is, and I care not to. <laughs> ah, dupe. Thank you for the biddy. And more biddies from Seeker. Right, so now you guys are, like, trying to get the conductor badge. Is this what's happening? Don't you dare! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the bit war has begun. Golly gosh. You are regardless, definition of swear. Scottish and dialectal, slow, indolent, reluctant, or loath. Wow, there you go. There you go. 
Also, apparently my Instagram is on 1,043 followers. So we're almost halfway. What would it be? Uh, a, a 1056 would be halfway to, to 1111? I think. Math is hard. Na 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 It'll open it eventually. Give it a second. Da 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 Ah! With the cheers! With the cheers. Alrighty, congratulations to Tuna, Kat, Zam, Lander, and Cade on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. And off we go to the next one. We're heading towards that token chest. Yeah, this is definitely my eyelashes poking me. I'm trying to put them back into the right place and like have them stick there. All the biddies, my gosh. Can you see where it's like in a, is it in the? Oh, yeah, the it says who's in, ah, Tuna. Thank you for the resub, much appreciated. So generous. So my thing here says Seeker has used 108 bits. Is that, but does that up, how quickly does that update? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Okay. Can I play some monk again? No. Can I please an orc slayer again? No. Of course not. Um, oh, but I've killed two ranged units. Let's see if that turns into a different quest to make me play something different. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. I'll just keep leveling my uh, my units to 30. So pick up ah! Level two completed. Spanner, thank you very much for the prime sub. So generous of you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Bonus shit. Woo! Yep, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Let's upgrade a couple of these babies. There's the last one. Ooh, I can unlock my next flag bearer. Beautiful. Wonderful. All right, so kills, level 30, orc slayers and monks. All right, so I'm just gonna be placing whatever I need to level to 30, which is my paladin. Slotted in the side there, me reckon. Yep, brilliant. Place your units, guys. Do the thing. Uh, let us turn in these quests. Greetings. Is it time to go already? 56. 56. I'm right. not a paladin. Uh. <laughs> Correct. It's really good. I love them. Awesome. I'm not a paladin. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm on level 29 with my, with my stream raiders paladin. So I'm like this close to having it at max. They just need someone to bring them supplies. But we'll see. Someone like you. We'll see. All right. Oh, this one. The wheel welcomes you. Now, where did I put ba ba Good morning, Miko. Welcome back. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Level three hype train, 15% of the way into a level three hype train. Amazing. You guys. You guys. Look at what you're doing. That's amazing. Oh, this eyelash is just killing me. The sings. We are its melody. What are you doing? Oh, I see what it's doing. So sometimes the glue from the eyelash will capture an eyelash that's like detached from your face and it's holding it in just a way 
that the root of the eyelash that has dislodged is like sitting against my eyeball. Like the sun so it's like scratching, but that's fine. Ah, Miko with the resub. So generous. 39% into the level three hype train. Amazing. Look at us go. Look at us go. Ah, lucky. Do we have the budget? No, no, no. No need to apologize for the delay. Goodness gracious. It's much, it's, it is more, more than enough. Lucky. Never, ever, ever apologize for that kind of, like, just don't. It's just, just don't. Don't feel like you ever have to because like, that's when, you know, streamers are not entitled to your financial support. End of story. End of story. Like, if you can, fantastic, amazing, awesome. If you can't, that is your business, your situation, and that's totally okay. Totally okay. Yep, take care of Lucky before you take care of Fear. Correct. Correct. I apologize for generosity. Exactly. Exactly. Amazing, 44% into a level three hype train. Golly gosh, who's who's in the lead at the moment? We've got Jas with his tier three sub and Seeker with 108 bits, our, our soon to be conductors. Oh, creating fear, exactly, absolutely. Seeker with the biddies. Amazing, thank you. So generous. I serve the queen. Oh, right, the talky talky one. Ah, dupe! Dupe with the cheer as well. Does it tell you anywhere what you've. Whoa! Oh my lord. Hi, the sun well. <laughs> Tuna! With the gifted subs! Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the generosity. Hi, Holy cow. Just want to take that badge off, Jess, eh? Amazing. Oh, dear. By the sun well. Level three completed. We're now working on level four. Amazing. Oh, By boy. The sun well. That is just so generous. So generous. 58% through level four. My gosh, congratulations to everyone who got caught in the sub bomb. Congratulations. Yay, Angel. Can you check of how many I've been shipping in? Gotta keep Seeker on her toes. Brilliant. Good. Wonderful. So hosting maps. Oh, you're so welcome. Not a worry. Not a worry at all. Ooh, slash dance. So good. We've been playing Stream Raiders for almost two years now, I think. No, more than two years. I've been partnered for almost two years with Stream Raiders. Um, and, oh, yeah, so much fun. It's it's just so good for, like, I mean, I, I recommend it to so many streamers because it really, truly does raise that engagement. It gives you another avenue for discovery. Even if you're not, like, a lot of, I see a lot of people in the Discord um, bitching about the requirements for affiliate or the requirements for partner and all this kind of stuff, and it's like... It's not supposed to be easy. Like, if anyone and everyone could, um, if anyone and everyone could just make it there, then it wouldn't have that sense of accomplishment and that sense of achievement, and it wouldn't be, yeah, so, yeah. But, um, even if you're someone who has, like, two or three people placing in every battle, this, like, no matter how small you are, it really does affect your engagement. Like, it actually... You get people chatting who wouldn't otherwise chat so that they get a chance to get the stuff from the caches at the end or the, the chests at the end. Um, you have people who find you just because they're looking for somewhere to place. So you've got particular players of Stream Raiders who purposefully go flicking through their captain listing looking for smaller streamers to help those battles. That's it's, And then, you know, once that's how they find you. And then if you can engage with that person and impress them with your content and make that connection, then they'll stick around for yonks. I have people in our community, regular people who are here almost every stream, who found us through Stream Raiders a year and a half ago. 
They may ne they may not play World of Warcraft. They may never have touched WoW, but they come here for the stream readers and then they stay for the chats. It it does make a difference. It doesn't matter if you're not affiliated. It does not make a difference. It really does matter. Like just having that extra connection there. Stay um, a while and listen. Correct, fear ant. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, stream readers is an invaluable tool. It's an invaluable tool. I did see the like the ex the other games that they've sort of bring out. Um, but I just given that I have quite a few people in community who have purchased my stream readers skins, to kind of drop that and go to something else kind of feels like dodgy with the money thing. I don't know. It just that felt dirty for me to for me to go and do so i haven't tried the other games that they have i think there's like stream pirates and stuff like that they looked really interesting but i just couldn't justify shifting to a new game like that or playing both of them side by side it's just it's just too much um especially considering that i don't play stream raiders as a main game i play it as a side game uh but yeah it's uh it's great fun it's great fun and I think I discovered, well, I, I was reached out to, uh, I think it was it River. I think River DM'd me on Discord and was like, we, you know, we think you might be interested in this game. Um, and so I, you know, gave it a try and hey presto, the rest is history. But it just kind of like, I think that connection was made at just the right time for my community and my growth. It was at just the right moment of my streaming journey where I was starting to pick up steam and that just kind of pushed it that extra bit forward. It was, yeah, beautiful. Meant to be. Meant to be. Yeah, if you are a streamer, you should absolutely get on stream readers. It's, it is so worth it. It really is. Hey, hype train success. We finished level three. Amazing. Thank you so much to everyone for the generosity. Ah, Seeker with the cheer! You got your conductor badge. Well done. Good job. I know I've collected all the level 3 modes. Thank you, Twitch, for letting me know. Uh, what did I miss in my rant? Um, oh, I just missed a sub bomb. You did! You did, Claw. We had five gifted subs. Amazing. Networking tools, how I found you a while back. Yeah, I agree with it all about 100%. Yep, yeah, it really just, it really just is that kind of thing. Uh, and I can understand how people can feel a little bit kind of skeptical because they do have big, they do claim big things, you know, increasing your engagement, your viewership, your monetization, all that kind of stuff. They are big claims, the queen watches over but they're not kidding. As the queen will. They've, they've found a really good, like, business model and I think it works quite well. Um, she was a high found you. There you go, Mithril. There you go. All of it in action. How do you uh, how do you set up as a streamer? On stream readers, you have to start a new account. Um, so yes and no. Um, you still log in with your Twitch account, but as a captain has to like you have a captain account and a viewer account. You cannot place in other people's battles using your captain ones. Uh, and you can't use your viewer accounts units in your captain battles either. Um, so I believe there's like a sign up thing on their website. Like literally just go through the website and there'll be some kind of, you know, apply to be a captain or whatever. Um, yeah, it's, it's super easy. Super easy. Um, one of those people, there you go. You can't participate on mobile. Uh, Stream Raiders, yeah, you can. Stream Raiders has a mobile thing. They were testing it like a year ago and they, they, I'm not sure if it's just like a mobile optimized website or if it's an actual app, like in the app store or whatever, but you absolutely can do stream readers on mobile. 100% you can. Um, uh, usual seeker will rig it. Um, it's totally, uh, with the other games and skins. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to broaden it out and maybe someone doesn't like Stream Raiders, but Stream Pirates resonates with their community more. And then that's, that's great, you know, trying to attract more people to the business. But for those of us who are already have that loyalty built up with, yeah, it's just, you, you just can't. Um, I mean, you can, but it, it feels a bit dirty to me, personally. 
Uh, good luck with the challenge. Thank you, Majin. Thank you. Um, I got some conductor badge. Yes. It's exactly like fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, captains. Because they don't stream the battle. Yeah, it's look. It's in the when when I became a partner with with stream readers. It was a requirement for partnership. You must stream every battle. Um, they do have a couple of like. Um, there was one point when our fire alarms started going off and we had to evacuate the building, so I had to turn off the stream. But the battle wasn't ready, and I couldn't sit here waiting for it to play out while you know before I evacuated. Safety first. Uh, and so I, when I got back into the building, I just set the battle off then. Um, but I have it like those kind of circumstances they're okay with. But yeah, it used to be a requirement that I stream my battles. It's part of, you know, the, the agreement, a part of the revenue share, I have to stream them. But some people just seem to not give a shit about that and they just do it however they want to. Um, a lot of people feel like to get everything that they need out of the event, they have to constantly do stuff, but they don't want to constantly stream. So they just run battles all the time and don't stream them. But I just, I don't like breaking toss. I don't break toss. It's just not a thing that I do. Uh, so yeah. Plus risking a revenue stream by breaking toss like that. I mean, not that it's an official terms of service or anything like that, but like, yeah, it's not, it's not okay. I, 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 I kind of wish they took a harder stance on that, genuinely, uh, because people are not going to listen and obey the rules if they don't enforce them. Like, as soon as they hear of people starting to, like, lose their accounts or get suspensions for a month or something like that, maybe they'll actually start doing what they're supposed to be doing rather than risking it. But I don't know, maybe their, their business plan just doesn't allow them to... Maybe their margins are slim enough that they need everyone that they can get and they don't, like, they can't afford to cut people out of the program or something, even uh, even temporarily. But I, I don't know. I don't have that inside information. But all I do know is that if you do not enforce a rule, no one will pay attention to it. She has twin braids and a nose ring. I do not have either of those things. A mobile optimized website. Perfect. There you go. Oh, okay, I missed the free-for-all by, like, a margin. That's fine. Um, in order to become a captain, Twitch account must have 100 plus followers. There you go. There you go, you got a goal to aim for. Not that you wouldn't have had that goal already, but there you go. It's gonna point that out. I thought individual viewer might not be able to use mobile for some reason. Ah, oh, potentially. Oh, a lot of offline battles, yeah. I swear you were gonna say the devs got angry. I didn't stream the battle when the fire alarm off. No, 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 no. Like that kind of stuff. If if they had approached me and said, "Hey, why didn't you do this?" I would have explained myself. I would have been able to show them the end of the, like the end of the stream where I where the, the alarms start going off and I'm like, I have to leave now. I'm sure they would have been okay with that. But um, yeah, it's uh. I think people just like do what they want and they ignore the fact that the devs, like there's a reason they ask you to stream the battles. If you don't stream the battles, people are going to get shitty and they're going to not play with that captain or they're not going to, it's, it's also advertising. It's free advertising for them. It, it's a big deal for a company to have that kind of engagement. But um, yeah, look. Not much I can do. They're going to make their decision on whether or not they want to enforce that. And if they're not going to enforce it, then people will break the rule. Uh, who doesn't care if you're on off lines? I've asked. Ah, oh, well, they used to have it in their rules. Like, legitimately in, in the rules. That's really odd. It literally says on the partnership page, battle on stream. Mm. That's, uh, 
That's interesting. So the battle and keep playing their primary game. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Suck because I wanted to watch my epics move around the battle and see how they went, but nope, yeah. Triple percent goal. Six now, well done. Do you remember our naked dead minds runs? Oh, not talking to me. Good! Alright, because I'm like, n n no. <laughs> mm. That's right, that's. is what it is. Alrighty. So who in chat hasn't contributed to the stream challenge yet with your embers, your channel points? We're a little bit behind uh, if we're going to make the goal today, but we can definitely still try. So I'm doing a leveling stream today. If you want to see another one next month, that's what you're contributing towards. Up to 2k embers. If we don't make it, well, you get your points back. Super easy. If we do, you get a leveling stream next month. Super awesome, amazing. Hey, look at that, 75% completed. So that was Friday's goal. Now we're gonna get to 100% because today is the last day to contribute. The last day. Um, Yes, little campfire underneath stream, underneath the chat box. And uh, the banner in there says 50, 60 is leveling. There we go. Look at those contributions roll in. Amazing. While you're there, don't forget to follow on Instagram as well. <laughs> God, look, I, I'm trying to find this balance between shameless self-promotion, which is needed, but also like not being super annoying. It's, it is harder than it looks to get that balance right. Can I just say? Can I just say? Here's an Instagram. I do have an Instagram. We're on, is it 1,043 still? I think so. Yeah, 1,043 followers. Ah, oh, amazing. We're getting there. We are getting there. Oh, I forgot to update this to 56 when I dinged. Whoops. Follow the path up and turn in a crap load of quests. Why is it Fiamma 29? Because before I made partner, I was Fiamma 29. Also, Fiamma is taken on every single platform. Someone like you. Keep your guard up. Watch the shadows. Even Fiamma 29 was taken, so I'm Fiamma.29 on Instagram and Fiamma underscore 29 on uh, Twitter. Yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a thing. I'm not famous enough to make them change my name yet. <laughs> Any news about Final Fantasy XIV? Yep, yeah, we're streaming tomorrow. Why 29? Because. Why an underscore after your name? Why not a dot or a tilde? The oldest sibling? No. I did not. I do not. I'm actually the eldest of my... of my siblings. Can I ask what you're going to be doing in the Final Fantasy XIV stream? Or are you going to keep that as a surprise? No, I'm leveling. I'm exploring the new player experience on the Materia data server. That is what I am, that is what I've been asked to do as part of the sponsorship. 
And so that is what I'm going to do. Let's do 29. I do not have 29 siblings. Good lord. Or 28 siblings. Absolutely not. God damn. The new, new, new player experience. A Realm Reborn 2.0. Yeah, hopefully we'll be having some fun. That's the idea. Eh? There's no brothers and four sisters. Good lord. Good lord. Like, my grandfather is one of eight. But like, good god. Um, you keep making uh, better though. Doing commissions from around the born. Blast, fantastic. No TV back then. Ah <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, but even though there was no TV, there were still people who had, like, three or four children, and not thirteen. Thirteen is, like, extreme religious groups these days. Ah, uh, so are they revamping it a lot, or can you not say in regards to Final Fantasy XIV? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that question, Shay. Uh, there was recently a patch a couple months back. They had a patch in game that revamped a whole lot of the new player experience. And so that is what I'm going to be demonstrating. Um, they also, relatively recently, a couple months back, released uh, uh, ANZ data servers. So that, you know, you have a better ping and all that kind of stuff playing where we are. So, yeah, that's that's what we're, that's what we're advertising. I don't know how to answer that beyond that information that I've already given, sorry. Um, hey Scarlet, welcome back. That's gonna hurt. Uh, alright, go away. Ah, uh, devil's under 10. Does he scare me too much? What? Okay, um, that's 50, 60s going? Yeah, not too bad. This is number nine that I'm working on at the moment. Um, uh, we're going to find out whether or not we make it to 60 today, but uh, only one way to find out. Keep trying. Um, what are the early dungeons? 52 days and stream the stream is very cool. Fair enough. Yeah, you better launch it. Oh, fantastic, Scarlet! Wonderful news. Um, these are crazy warriors, you cuddle spiders. N no, we're not. I'm Australian and I'm arachnophobic, so you can piss off with that noise. That's not a thing. Like, <laughs> let's talk about harmful stereotypes. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that, Scarlet. Have you decided which class you play in Final Fantasy XIV? I have. Surrender your anima. You'll have to watch tomorrow to find out. Uh, enjoy bear tanking through dungeons. Oh, you'll be just fine, Scarlet. You'll be fine. Nothing to endure. Others left will endure you. That's, <laughs> that's how tanking works, right? Is it a paladin? No. Uh, do we have any other training totems? No, it doesn't look like it. All right. Let us smoosh some things. A paladin, obviously. Uh, I think you've spelt it wrong there, Ellie. Um, awesome. I was about all the space type person. I get the feeling. I had you hating humming critters, but yeah, no. Nah. Yep, they move too quickly. They're, they, no, nah, mm -mm. nope, making mistakes, perfect. 
That's right. That's how you learn half the time. As long as you tell people when you get in the dungeon, just be like, hey, I'm new to tanking. Welcome to any, you know, open to any tips or if you want me to pull slower or faster, just let me know. You'll be fine. I'm sure we're going across the borders of my living quarters. Love that she accurately captured the disdain for that emote. Yeah, me too. It's perfect. It's such a good emote. Such a good emote. Ah, I just use for the most special way. <laughs> yeah, it's like Paladin, not Paladin. Yeah. Howdy, by the way. Indeed. Hello, Ellie. Hello, and welcome back. Okay, next bonus objective. You said a little while ago, you did. You did. How are we going? 66% into 56. We're getting there. I'm not it's a paladin. Certainly in there. <laughs> Oh dear. Thank you for the biddies. Much appreciated. Here we go, on to the Stream Raiders battle. It did cut out. Sound alerts has been a little bit funky lately. I don't know what's going on with it. But sometimes they cut off. Hmm. I don't know if it's like the play is delayed and so it cuts it off at the time that it's meant to stop, but because it's been delayed, it's yeah, it's just a little bit wonky. I'm not a big fan of it. I wonder if they have a help channel that doesn't require me to join their goddamn Discord. Uh, perfect. Okay. Claw, Shady. Shady? Shady? Shady. Uh, Silver, Meaty, Rallo, Demon, Cat, Shovel, and V. Congratulations to all of you on your membership. Well done. Uh, Alright. Up. Oh, nope. Down. Down to the tokens and then up this way to the skin. Perfect. Tokens! Who wants bonus tokens? Who wants bonus tokens? Where are we going? Orc Slayers? Nope. Monk. Nope. Leveling. Okay. Shadow Flying Rogue. Yas. Place those units. Join the battle. Follow the link. Log in with your Twitch account. Drag and drop those units to the battlefield. And uh, we will start the battle again in around half an hour. Mmm. Tokens indeed make a bonus tokens at that. You want tokens? Good! Then you gotta place that unit. Place that unit, and all of the units. You can place a total of six if you so desire. One every five minutes. If you have the uh, the sound turned up on the the browser window, it'll play like a little trumpety kind of noise when you're when you're good to place another one. So it'll alert you. Uh, otherwise, if you don't have that, you can always uh, set an alarm on your phone, a timer. You got right on first battle. Fantastic claw. Awesome. Just made a help macro. Brilliant. Macros that help things are always wonderful. Oh, there we go. Renown 51. Magnifique. Oh. Hibernal Hollow Flat Path. Forest Refugees. I know I've finished the campaign thing. Uh, but I do like actually clearing out the whole zone because it means uh, getting all of the um, Always in stock. associated transmog and stuff. It means I just don't have to come back later, which is nice. There we go. Trifire also cooking dinner and prepping bathroom. Of course, Ali, of course. I wonder if you can boot it up on your phone and might, maybe that might help. Where's this it? More XP, yes. The more units you place, the more scrolls, the more gold, the more chance you have at getting potions, all that kind of stuff. 
All the good stuff. I feel you. Hello, Fla. Welcome on in. Leveling loads. Look, trying. <laughs> trying. Um, this will be when it hits 60. When? It will be my ninth level 60. Uh, which is not tons, but look, we're getting there. It's better than two. It's better than four. It's better than six. It's more than, not necessarily better. Some people don't feel that way, and that's okay. Um. Oh, do I have to be like a flappy? Na, 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 na. I think I'm supposed to get wings. Yeah, all right. Let's, uh. Using the Kraken Latte root. I don't know what that is. Oh, I can't destroy this. Wait. Oh, I need the pyrotechnic powder first. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that before. I'm using Zygor, uh, which automatically hands in and turns in quests and stuff like that, which is very handy. Uh, and I'm just doing Threads of Fate. Finishing campaigns. Have you considered contributing your embers to this week's community goal? We've only got 20% to go. Indeed. Can I jump, please? No? Okay, that's fine. Uh, it takes away YouTuber. Oh, yeah, no. I have no idea who that is. Um, she has one of the fastest leveling routes. Cool! Nope. <laughs> um, I have an add-on that has a magical arrow of destiny that points me in the direction I need to go, tells me what to do, and automatically hands in and like accepts and turns in quests and all that kind of stuff. And I, yeah, I just follow the arrow and interact with chat. Uh, no, I've, I've never heard of that person. I'm sorry. Um, was a decent Hello, hello, chat. Welcome back. Doing well. I hope you can say the same. Um, so guess I got a custom add-on made auto completes quests as well. Fantastic. That's awesome for her. Um, but no, I've been using Zygor for well over a decade at this point, and I'm quite happy with the results that I get. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I've been using for quite a while. Um, I have equipped the wings. What can I? There we go. Alrighty. And more. Aha, uh -huh. I see. Whoop. There we go. And we destroy some altars. Sweet. Um, it's easy for a while for gold making. Zygor is just so good for so many different things. There, there have been a couple of add-ons for, for leveling that people have recommended to me before, but um, they like they just do leveling, or they have like one route, and that is that. Whereas I like to mix things up when I'm leveling. Uh, I've got 50 characters, literally, like, and I leveled all of them from beginning to end. No boosts, no nothing. Uh, so doing the exact same route for every single one of them is just mind-numbing. Uh, so... <laughs> uh, leveling characters is also a fantastic way to get your stuff like uh, Lore Master done. If you choose zones you haven't been through before, to, cl to click those, to tick those quests off your list. Uh, I mean, I, I had Lore Master done, like each expansion that came out, it was already done, sort of thing. But um, for those who don't, it's a really great way to do it, and Zygor can guide you through that zone. Um, like, no matter which zone you pick, it's got a leveling guide, as opposed to a lot of the other leveling add-ons out there where if you don't choose the most optimal route it just can't tell you what to do and what to pick up and where to go uh, which kind of sucks but that's you know that's just my viewpoint there's nothing wrong with wanting the fastest route nothing wrong at all I just uh, am not interested in that uh, I get too distracted by chat anyway so <laughs> no point attempting to speed level um, but yeah, I do love that Zygor has so many different guides, like for all the different secrets once they're unlocked, they write up guides, and for profession leveling, and for gold farming, like you mentioned, and just all that kind of stuff. It's just, 
it's it covers so much of the game. It's super useful, like super super handy. Uh, and so that's why I use it because it does everything I want it to do. Not going to suit everybody's tastes, and that's totally okay. But uh, it does everything I need it to, um, so I don't have really any reason to use anything else. Going well, good to hear it. How I can door, good, brilliant. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, alrighty. I'm looking for another four fruit. There's one. Let's bonk this one. Ah, uh, sweet autocorrect. We'll type again. That's okay. Uh, I'm planning to have like alchemy on these characters. Transmute today's. Ah, uh, no. No. Um, transmutes don't really. No. Um, uh, most of them are tailoring inscription. I do garrison gold making. I use Drizzling Roses Guide, uh, and it's 95% passive income. I don't have to log into every character every day to push a button. I set them all up once a week and then ignore them and come back later. Uh, I don't use everything in her guide, uh, but I do use a few chunks of it, and my income across the 50 tunes is more than enough. Uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I've got, uh, uh, what am I sitting on here? Just under 3 million on Horde side, and then I'm just over 1 million on Alliance. Over? Just under. I think I'm just under now because I did buy a couple of expensive mounts. Uh, but... Yeah, and I've bought I bought my Bruto back when it was five million from the vendor. I've bought um, the three frogs that make up a million each. I've bought a couple of half a million mounts. I've bought the Bloodfang Widow. I've bought like I've I've spent probably about ten million gold on mounts at this point. I think, um, I think, maybe. I'm not too sure. I haven't actually done the math. I probably should, but I really can't be bothered. <laughs> um, and uh, and I'm still sitting on multiple million, million, so I'm I'm good with that. I don't need, I don't I don't need to be gold capped on every tune or anything like that. That's not um, a big part of the game for me. I just make enough to get me by and get to buy the stuff I want to collect, and yeah, and it works really well for me. The hunt has been called, and I have answered. And given that I run my stream like a business, and I spend like I, I work full time hours on on my stream. Uh, including live hours, but also, you know, back-end managing social media and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, so I don't really have a whole lot of time to do other stuff. I don't have a whole lot of spare time day-to-day -day or week-to-week. -week. So, yeah. I, um... I prefer stuff that doesn't actually involve me being super... Uh... Like, fiddly with it. Hexweave, yep. Hexweave from uh, from the garrison. Uh, I can leave my achievement menu, click a button to start the Zygo guide to complete it. It's super handy, hey. Super, super handy. What mounts did you buy? Uh, oh god, like a lot of them. Uh, anything that's from a vendor that I have access to has been purchased. Um, actually, social media is so much fun. It's... God, social media. I suck at social media. It's probably why I spend so much time trying to figure it out, but I, uh, I've engaged a professional social media person. Um... To, and, sh and she's currently going through my profiles and she's building me like a a growth strategy essentially like these are the kind of con this is the kind of content that works well for me this is the kind that doesn't here are like the color palettes that work really well and what doesn't and just kind of breaking it down um so that I can go through and test things out trial and error and see what kind of content works best for me uh to help me grow because as a, as an influencer because that's what I am as a streamer, I'm a content creator, I'm an influencer. Uh, the way that we make money is by businesses wanting access to our viewer base, to our followers. So the more followers I have, the more valuable I am to those potential sponsors and the more potential money I can earn. Uh, so growth of social media is hugely important. Hugely important, especially in Australia where companies don't give a flying fuck about Twitch. Uh, because video games is still something that should be for kids, uh, and if it's an adult playing video games, then they're um, something something parents' basements kind of deal. Because uh, Australia's backwards as hell! Yay! Uh, but Instagram's really valuable to businesses, so... It is what it is. You'll accept the quest automatically. Will I now? Is it broken because the world quest is here? 
That is often how that works. You could probably use a little help, huh? Bonus objectives often get broken when there's a um world quest in the area. Which is super nice and fun and awesome. Something something phasing, I think. It just phases you out of the area and everything gets a bit wonky. Yeah. Um I definitely should try to look at some gold making guys, which this character has is 230k. It's respectable. You gotta start somewhere. Um, yeah, definitely recommend the Garrison Gold Making Guide. Exclamation Garrison will get you the link in chat. So there's like dirt prices for Hexweave stuff. Look, so does mine. I haven't done Hexweave stuff for a while, like probably six months now. Uh, all the gold that I'm making these days is just from passive uh, card making. Uh, and I'm not even talking about logging in each day to do the daily cooldown. I'm talking about sticking seven days worth into the Garrison Hut and then pulling it out a week later and sticking more in. Like, that's all I do. Nothing else. And I'm still making really decent gold. And it's all from a vendor, so it doesn't rely on players needing anything or wanting anything. It, there's no market on each server. It's different. It's all... That's nothing. None of that. It's reliable. Incredibly low risk, but still decent income. Like, low risk. Zero risk. There is no risk. You put in this much pigment, you get out this much gold. The only risk involved is that the uh, the RNG for flipping cards, and that still when you're flipping as many cards as I am, it averages out every single week. You get the average like price, like the the average price per card is basically the same week to week because of how many cards I'm making. That'll show them. There we go, and now I've got the bonus objective. Perfect. I thought that might help. Ah, uh, red looking wow at the moment. Really nice fun, genuinely chill and positive stream. Awesome, Saint. I'm so pleased you've been enjoying the content. Australian businesses are so backward, even into allergy. Correct. Yeah, they're they're backward in a lot of way, a lot of ways. For all. Um, Australia for for a very long time has been ten years behind everything else, on on almost everything. Um, so yeah, it it doesn't surprise me. Since I go lying, I'm joking. No. Uh, it's just the world quest. It, the problems with phasing. Um, uh, Gordon Ramsay's in one of his shows. What the F is Twitch? Yep. Uh, I saw that clip. I think everyone saw that clip, to be honest. Anyone who watches Twitch has probably seen that clip. Um, Paper Story, I think, game designer graphics. I don't know. Like, faster than the internet. Yep. Yep. But I mean, that's the, sa that's the same in not just Australia, though, Nano. That is still a thing in many places where the internet is the best in the world. When you're trying to transform, uh, when you're trying to send multiple terabytes of information, the internet simply can't meet the speed of seven or eight bricks in your hand that you put in a car. It just, it still can't, like, it still has a limit to how much data it can transfer. But that's the same as everywhere in the world. It's not just Australia. Um, Vendor gold OP, yas. Afraid they might nerf it as they did with all raw gold. Well, the more you talk about it, potentially being nerfed, the more likely it is to happen. That's fine. If they do, we'll find something else, no doubt. Always the way. Players are inventive. Ah, uh, what was that? That was 57. Awesome. Enjoy your lurk, Panda. You know, back to career pigeons holding SD cards. Nah, you gotta train them. You don't have to train a car, just drive it. Uh, load all the bricks into a catapult, eat them across the city, easy fix. Catapults aren't accurate enough. Same project with mana data being stored with seven times the entire world's internet traffic. There you go. Interesting. There's a lot of data out there. A lot, a lot of data. It's kind of cool, hey? All right.
Looks like we are almost done with Arden World. I'm pretty sure if you're going to launch a bunch of data, you know how to make it accurate. <laughs> Not necessarily. I'm here from work at 7am and I'm home. Fantastic. We should use your payroll. What is excise on a payslip? No idea. Ask your payroll people. Not all not all payroll software labels the same stuff the same way. I don't know what excise is. That seems like software specific language. You need to ask your payroll people. Just because I, like it's it's like the whole, you know, you're a skin doctor. What do you think of this thing? No, ask your doctor with your medical history, etc. Um, same thing with payroll and shit. Yeah, random payroll people will likely not be able to answer. You'll need to talk to your specific people. I have never heard of or used that word in my payroll experience. Oh, this should be interesting. Okay, oh no, not this way yet. Alright, we're not doing the dungeon quest. Um, whoop. You nourish. Pick up this flat path and then probably come back and we'll be done. Uh, Google, a tax levied on certain goods and commodities produced or sold within a country and on licenses granted for certain activities, the rate of excise duty on spirits. Yeah, you need to talk to your payroll department. They will be able to tell you. Um, no, 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 that was an, ex that was an example. That's, that's not the only definition for it. It literally, like, read the whole thing Dupe said. That's the definition of it. And then that was an, an example. Uh, peril usually varies between countries and states. Um, yeah, not just that though, but it also varies program to program. Uh, even company to company using the same fucking program, because people will label things differently. They will use different words for, for different things. Um, because different words may have the same meaning, there is no standardized, everyone must call this thing this. Uh, so, yeah. You just talk to your payroll person. Uh, yeah, don't don't even bother googling it, dude. When it comes to your pay and your income and like the ability to pay rent and shit like that, no, fuck Google. Ask your payroll people. Google is always going to be able to give very general advice that may not may or may not apply to your situation. When it comes to something as important as your survival currency, you need to ask the specific person who handles it directly. Do not Google that shit. Ask your payroll person. Right, so it's doing that again. <laughs> Sometimes it triggers an auto-complete loop and I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, ask them tomorrow. Good. Flying purple people eat a deduction, MK. Always ask payroll. Correct. Uh, that was a nice little jingle. It was, isn't it? It's a pretty sound, but it was not doing what I wanted it to do, so that's fine. 57. I'm really happy with how I'm going. This is making me happy. What? Oh, right, okay. I got a bit confused about where it was sending me, I think. Well, well. What do we have here? <sighs> also, I'm tired, waking up slowly, wearing regular eight hours, can cup, thank you, cup. So, may look. No, totally fine. Totally fine. Um. How are we going with our uh, community goal? 83%! Oh my gosh, we're getting there? We're getting there! What are we at? 300. Take the 250443. Divided by the 2k per person. 25 people to go. Only 25 more people we need to do like the full 2k. If you don't have 2k channel points, then that's okay. You can do as many as you have. But um, yeah. Oh, excuse me. 25 full equivalent contributions to have another leveling stream next month. Uh, so I walked away from my desk, was lurking while vacuuming and missed a lot of this. Bits I did here made me think of what happens to me at work. I work in a very like crazy big place. Uh, when people find out where they often go, oh, I know X, they work where you do. Do you know them? And to which I always end up responding, uh, no. Yeah, it's uh, it's like it's like people saying, you know, oh, you live in Queensland. You must have met X streamer. They're also from Queensland. I'm like, 
No, I have not. Did they start streaming in the last two years? Yeah, see, we've had a pandemic. We've had no meetups. I do not know that person. Like, it's not like all Twitch streamers just immediately know it. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, I get it. I feel that. I have to go remember they exist. Of course, Lucky, go and enjoy. We'll see you soon. So you're from Argentina and so is John. Do you know John? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Speak of food, I'm kind of hungry. I'm kind of a little bit hungry. Um, but it's only six. That's really early for me to be hungry. Maybe I should get some chocolate. Oh, so, Seeker. The orange Toblerone is at my local Woolworths. I took a photo because I was giggling. I forgot to send it to you. Ah. Uh, <laughs> But nearby, on a similar stand, they had Cadbury snack chocolate that's all caramel and banana. I will Hi, the Sunwell. Overlord, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What might your purpose be? So generous. Until we speak again, all will be judged fairly. Here we go. Onward to Revendreth. Uh, good morning, Overlord. Welcome to chat. Again, I hope you are having a fantastic day. It is nearly dinner time. Yeah, I know, but we don't usually have dinner until like 7.30, 8 o'clock. So it is kind of early for me to be getting hungry. Um, to troll me evil. Just to have a bit of a giggle like I see it and I read it. Ah, roasting honey sweet chicken in the oven. Delicious. Orange Toblerone. Yep, it has, uh, so it's a regular Toblerone, but like instead of nougat, it has candied orange peel and bits of candied ginger. If it was candied orange and not the peel part, then it would have been great. But yeah, it has fucking peel in it, which is icky. It was not a good time. Yeah, banana chocolate, what? Um, banana and caramel. So it's uh, Cadbury snack chocolate. So snack chocolate is um, like, it's a block, but the blocks have different designs on them and the different designs correspond to different flavors. So they have like the, the liquid gooey kind of flavored stuff in the middle. Um, but this one was a snack block, but it was just banana and caramel. And you can't tell, they don't have the designs on them. It's just, it all just says Cadbury. So like half of them are banana, half of them are caramel. And it was really tasty. Really tasty, caramel banana snack. I could get behind that. It's really good. Really, really good. My banana chocolate. Banana is awesome and chocolate is awesome and caramel is awesome. So yeah, no, I was like, I'm buying this. Also Oreos, uh, cinnamon, cinnamon bun Oreos. So cinnamon flavored biscuits with cinnamon flavored cream. Um, for those of you who are unaware, cinnamon is one of my favoritest flavors forever. So I bought a roll, I bought one thing. It was $1.50 for a pack as well. They're tiny. Oreos have shrunk, I swear to God. But I tried it and I'm like, yes. So I bought another three packs. <laughs> They're up in the top of the cupboard to just have when I have a sugar craving or whatever. But like, yeah, can recommend. <clears throat> also, if people want to like send me recommendations for my wish list of random ass tasty snacks from Amazon or whatever, like hell yeah. I will absolutely add those to my to my uh, my wish list. I'm always up to try funky new tasty things, like almost always. Come Just up, forward. fantastic! Well, welcome to the land of the living. We face the Here to the Venthyr. All right, Revendreth. I just have a specific snack chocolate. Uh oh, yeah, snack snack block is my favorite out of all of the different types of Cadbury anything. Snack is my favorite block of chocolate from Cadbury. Um, this isn't your normal. It's not like normal snack with banana and caramel in the mix as well. It's literally the whole block is just banana and caramel, and banana and caramel is two separate cubes, the two separate squares as well. But yeah, they're really tasty. Really tasty. Orange sugar and so many levels that is no for me. Fake or banana can go far, far away. Fair enough. Uh, so maybe when I was last few days, three today, awesome. I need to reverse my mouse broke mid raid last night. Oh no, gotta get a new mouse. Well, depending on how it's broken, there can be, like, there are some things you can do to fix them. Um, but like, if it just like fell apart in your hand, then obviously it's a little bit different. But um, there are a lot of things you can do with a mouse 
Um, especially like when it's stopped clicking or something, like you can clean them out in certain ways. I've done it before. I've done it before. But uh, yeah, hopefully something's on sale. Uh, this candied orange peel is great. Made some a few Christmases ago. I hate peel. I, I cannot do peel of any kind. It's just nasty. Um, do you have proper chocolate in Oz? Uh, yes. We have yeah, better fucking chocolate than America, that's for sure. Dupes right. American chocolate is crap. It's all compound chocolate. We have actual chocolate. <laughs> uh, using two button mouse feels unclean using it. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I oh, remember proper chocolate. Thriving gourmet goods industry here. Lotus Biscoff feel chocolate. Oof, yum. You feel to send you international snack boxes. The only issue with that, Mithril, is if people are sending it to my PO box, that food could be tampered, tampered with. Uh, and it's unsafe for me to eat any, like, unless I trust the person who's actually sending it to me, which very few people I actually, like, trust on that level. Um, it can be incredibly dangerous for an, an internet person to just eat random goods that come to them via a PO box or something, which is why I suggested the wish list, because that way, if I list it as something I want to try, then people can buy it from Throne and then it gets shipped directly to me with no, like, intimate, yeah. I, I, it shouldn't be that way, but it is, because... The world. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I never had that Lotus Biscuits. Addictive with Teal Puppy. They're delicious. They're so, so good. Is it not the fake stuff the US passes? Oh, no, yeah, no. We, we, we do, like, if, if you buy, if you go, like, Easter time, you get, like, a two kilo bag of mini Easter eggs and they're gonna be compound chocolate. That stuff is available, <laughs> but not usually. And it's not usually what we have. We, no, that, that stuff is crap. Australians are very, very particular about their food uh, in general. Um, we have access to so much fresh produce and good food that is made here in Australia um, that our bar is set quite high just because we have access to it. Not everyone does. Not, not every country has access to, um, to that level of good quality food, which sucks, but I understand that because we do, our standards are a fair bit higher. <clears throat> yeah, nothing like the US drop. We, we do have it, but nobody likes it because it's crap. Uh, make curvature head, make chocolates. Yes, chocolate here is great. It is, yeah. But even like, even the standard everyone buys at brand, Cadbury, is good chocolate. It's good shit. Good shit. Uh, Aussie chocolate's the best? Yeah. Oh, uh, I would... No, not the best. Not the best. Um, some of the European chocolatiers are just mind-blowingly awesome. They're, like, better than Cadbury by a long shot. But in terms of, like, Cadbury is damn good for, like, a standard chocolate. For their price point, they're amazing. You said Aussie's on my beer. Uh, partners of says the Biscoff Biscuits. You can find gift bundles at Etsy of Biscoff Snacks. Waffles are good too. That's awesome. Cadbury's my favorite too here, even in Canada. Cadbury's good stuff. Well-priced, good stuff. I had the Swiss supermarket pretty well covered. Yeah. Yeah. Can't argue with that. I mean, you can, but you wouldn't do very well. All right. I need chocolate now. <laughs> Lucky I have some. Belgian chocolate is so good. Yes. Yep. The seashells are like, it's the praline. It's the praline. Praline is amazing. You can't reason to their factory tour in UK. You got to make my own chocolate bar. That's awesome. Stuff like that is just so much fun, isn't it? Like, it, yeah, I know that the chocolate ends up being ridiculously expensive, but you're not paying for the chocolate. You're paying for the whole experience plus the chocolate. So good. We've got a, um, the, in Brisbane, there's a, a gin place where you can go and make your own gin. And it's like, 300 bucks a person or something like that and you get like a little bottle of gin at the end of it but it's the whole experience and they provide snacks and you taste test all these different gins so it's all the it's the whole experience but it's so expensive but i would love to do that i i plan to eventually move home to melbourne um not move back in with my family but like move back to the place that i'm from kind of thing um uh tell elytria uh, v, Majin, Silver, Dunno, Claw, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your membership. Well done. Uh, and before I move home to Melbourne, I will be, um, I will be going to that bloody gin place and making myself my own gin. And then every time I come back to Brisbane to visit, you can get, like, cheap refills on your bottle. Like, if you bring back your bottle that you made, then they'll refill it for, like, cheaper than a bottle of gin. So, yeah. It's definitely a thing that's gonna happen. Uh, oh, I got the eight kills. I should go and see what... 
What is the next one? Event tokens. Right after the event token chest. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, can I place another Orc Slayer? No. Can I place a Monk? Yes. <clears throat> um... Seashells are my favorite. Cadbury chocolate in the UK is a much lower quality than here though. Well, because they're using different ingredients. So in the UK, they'll be using UK milk and UK cocoa and UK blah, 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 as opposed to Australian milk and Australian cocoa and Australian blah, 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 blah. So it, it is, and it's why things like McDonald's and stuff, it's the, it's the same recipe across the world because they have to, to keep that consistency in the brand across the world. But when you have a cheeseburger made from United States beef, versus a cheeseburger made from Australian beef, or English beef, or Indian beef, or it's it's different animals that are fed on different things that are just, it's, yeah, the whole thing. It's all, it's very, very, like, flavor like that is super localized. Super localized. A lot of people don't seem to realize that, but it's funky, hey, it's really cool how where you are in the world affects what, like, the flavor of what you're eating. It's quite cool. Uh, also terrible in some situations, but quite cool as like a scientific observation. Got to make my own flavor. Oh, that is amazing. I would love to do that. That's super cool. Like the Gillian ones. Yeah. Yep. 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 The Cabri World in Birmingham. Nice. Lint balls are my favorite. They are amazing. The Lint cafes in Sydney uh, would have like the big tower of like the big tube and it'd come down in all these different sections so you'd have like the white the milk the dark but then like the peppermint and the peanut butter and the raspberry and the orange and the strawberry and cream and they're like all those so once you I, I started seeing those on the shelves in like Woolworths and stuff like that and I was like they finally decided to launch it like properly but yeah you'd get all those different flavors in like cafes they're amazing I don't think there is one up in Brisbane though yeah also highly recommend Freya chocolate from Norway. In love with Cadbury fruit and nut. Yeah, Freya do it with hazelnuts instead of almonds. Oh, I love hazelnuts. They're so good. Lint chocolate, a bit too waxy and oily. The lint balls specifically are waxy and oily because if they're stored just a little bit too warm, the, the stuff inside, because it's a super, super soft praline, it just melts into liquid. And if, if the um, outside shell loses its integrity due to heat, it spills through and it just goes everywhere. So they do have that kind of waxy coating to sort of hold everything just together. My first job was in a chocolate shop. I should probably, yeah. <laughs> My first job as like a teen, 14 and seven months or whatever it was, was in a chocolate shop. And we sold a massive variety of stuff. Um, yeah. But I loved them. Anything praline filled? Yes. UK strict rules on what's allowed to be made into food. Yeah, a lot of places around the world have those rules as well though. Okay, pork sausage from muffins is something next level. Ooh, yum. Burn chocolate is a top tier followed by cabra in my opinion. Fair, fair, apart from the time when Burger King used horse meat. Far out. These are not as all they need. I think there's something lit up here now. Oh yeah. Ah, the DFO. Where's the DFO in Brisbane? Ganache, really love ganache. Only fancy chocolatier I know of. Oh dear. Um Oh, it wasn't a fancy chocolate shop. This was this was not like a, a chocolatier that I worked in. It was just it was a retail store that sold chocolate and chips and candy and all that kind of stuff. Um, it goes into food, basically nothing. They're very loose on it, loose on it, yeah. Near the airport, ah. It's been years since I've gone to a DFO. Hey Jas, maybe we should make this our next road trip. Wait, I think I have been here, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, the photos look familiar. Maybe I've been there before. Maybe like once, many, many moons ago. All right, I'm gonna switch over to here and I'm gonna go get my chocolate because I'm now really like fanging for it. So I'll be right back. Wow. 
Run away, little girl. Run away. Yep. Super tasty. Okay. Shopping American pizza is considered a vegetable. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Um, and the airport, I'm gonna do good news and pack bad news, burn the stir fry. Oh no, sandwich is dead. That's okay, food is food. Or tip to DFO, DFO engine delete too. I don't know where that is. I'm bad at geography. My son's ever had American stuff is there if you look privileged enough to have the cash to get it. Yeah. I just pick around the crispy bits. That's what I do. If I burn something, I just pull the burn bit out and go for it. Ah, uh, dear. I present this stuff there. Very loose food rules. A lot of chemicals in foods that are not allowed here in England. Many other places in the world. I am too early for an Irish coffee. I mean, it depends on your own personal preferences. Mmm. Too high. Get your crispy mess. Sandwiches are fair enough. Mm, an island. God damn it, Fia. It's so good. It's really good. And this Willies. Yep. Mm, 9.25am. Oh. If you feel that it's an issue, Overlord, like if you feel like you're having a problem with like dependency on particular substances and stuff like that, then that's something you'll need to talk to with like talk to a... Uh, like a counselor or something about. There is help out there. Excuse me, very rude. But um, yeah, like if you think it's an issue, like if, if you think you're de like you needing that is a problem, then there is a chance that it might be. Uh, but we're not gonna be able to help with that here. Um, and we're also not gonna, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna help people rationalize dependencies, uh, nor am I gonna judge them for it. It's not my place. I'm not qualified to do any of that. And so no. Nah. Is what it is. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna, gonna head out. Thanks for streaming. No worries. Thank you for being here, Tuna. Much appreciate the gifted subs and the engagement and the chit chats. Loved it. Wonderful. Can you feel a a bit? Fair enough. Where Amazon's was. Indeed, but you guys still have Woolworths in Australia. Yes, Woolworths started here, I'm pretty sure. We had this conversation literally like what? Friday? Wednesday? I don't know. Last last stream or the stream before that. I don't remember exactly. But yes, we have had Woolworths in Australia for many, 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 many decades. Oi. Yeah. What are they not bad days work? If I could spell. There we go. <clears throat> Woolworths Group Limited is an Australian trans-Tasman retailer headquartered in Bella Vista, Sydney, with extensive operations throughout Australia and New Zealand, largest company in Australia by revenue and second largest in New Zealand. There you go. Different UK Woolworths, believe that was where we landed. Where we landed, yeah, possibly. Um, you just give me a pick and mix a little bit from there. Grocery store, yep. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Am 
I stuck on a rock? Good. have a sinus infection. Nope, I have an autoimmune condition. That means that I don't actually have anything in my sinuses. They are just inflamed and angry and irritated and I can't breathe properly ever permanently. It's worse when I'm trying to sleep. Like if I'm lying down, it, I can practically not even breathe. It's great. I understand it's irritating, like the sniffling. I get it, but I tr trust me when I say this, it is 10 times worse for me than it is for you. It is actual pain. It sucks. Unwashed penis. Like, legitimately. It's terrible. But, oh well. It is what it is. I can't do anything about it. And so I just have to live with it. Um... I'm not going out for chocolate. <laughs> yes, yep, definitely. Welcome on in. As Seeker said, welcome on in. I just couldn't think of any other way to ask. We get a lot of people in here who come in and go, oh my god, blow your nose, you stupid bitch. And I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, it would get to the point, like, where if I'm if I'm trying to blow my nose to stop the sniffling, um, all it does is cause blood noses. It's it's just shit. I'm on medication to, to treat the autoimmune, but unfortunately it does nothing for this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It, it sucks! It sucks. It's, uh, definitely affected my quality of life, but... I mean, uh, look, the autoimmune can get a whole lot worse. So if, if all I have to deal with is the sniffles compared to what I, like the symptoms I used to have, then um, I'm, I'm okay with that. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, God. Uh, okay. Just in trigger sucks. It does. It it really does. <laughs> it really does. Miss the explanation. Hey, Nemea. Um, yeah, autoimmune condition. Makes me do the sniffles. Makes my face hurt. All the fun stuff. It's great. It's not great, but that's it is what it is. Hey, what add-on is that you use for your damage hits? Uh, that would be I think it's mixed scrolling battle text. Explanation add-ons. We'll get you a list of all my add-ons. And it's on the M for Mary. Um, hello Tia. Welcome back. <laughs> the mouse sounds sore. It is. It it sucks. Uh, oh well. I have I've tried everything. Uh, it has gotten to the point where both my autoimmune specialist and my usual GP has said, well. I'm out of ideas. I guess you're just gonna have to live with it. And I'm like, oh, good, wonderful. Once I've once I'm done dealing with my dentistry and stuff, um, I'm gonna see if I can find a doctor who's willing to like I don't know stick a camera up my nose or something. You know, just just something. Have a look in there. Figure out exactly what's wrong. Maybe there's a treatment. There probably isn't, but I'd like to I'd like to find out. But I have twenty three thousand dollars worth of dental to get through first. <laughs> so that's where we're gonna start. Um, yes. Fun times. Fear with all the medical issues. Woo. Uh, make your nosebleed on stream. Uh, no. Yep. No, oh, but I'll give you a hundred bucks, Seeker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. For those of you who are unaware, that is a reference. To people who have literally offered me money to do stupid shit on stream, and I'm like, no, just no. So bring that lucky coin. Ah, oh, just seen the replies and thank you. You're very welcome. Not a worry. 
No OCE servers for WoW, right? What region do you play and how's the ping? There are OCE OCE servers. There have been since the launch of Warlords of Draenor, which was two, four, six, seven-ish years ago. If we're talking two years per expansion, it's been about seven-ish years ago when we got Sydney servers. So I don't think I need to answer the rest of your question because those ones. Like, <laughs> yeah, we, we've had them for a very long time. Um, uh, something, yay! This become a tick like behavior. Stepdad has a tick with his nose. No, no, because it gets itchy. And when it gets itchy, instead of trying to get my finger up into my sinus, I just sniff because the rush of air past it alleviates the the feeling um there are there are some days where it feels like the inside of my face like specifically here uh is is on fire like it's burning it feels like i've snorted cayenne pepper uh and so the only way to make that stop is <laughs> <laughs> literally um so it, it it's just irritation it's inflammation it's pain uh and the only way to really touch like you know if it was an arm done but i can't do that inside my face uh, so yeah, I've I've tried uh, antihistamines. I've tried steroids. That side effects. Uh, they didn't even work, and I got all the side effects. Um, I've tried nasal sprays. I've tried steroid nasal sprays. I've tried saline stuff. I've tried the whole like the neti pot, you know, like the squeeze water up one nostril and watch it drip out the other. Um, and that helped for about thirty minutes, and then it came back. And I cannot do that every 30 minutes because it takes like 10 minutes to do um so I, I i've tried all these things that both like i've got a specialist that deals with my autoimmune stuff and then obviously i have a gp a general practitioner who does like you know everything else uh and both of them have gone through their entire list of things that they could possibly try and I've tried over the counter, I've tried prescription, I've tried all sorts of funky stuff and nothing helps. Nothing helps. Um, so what I would like to do is, again, once the dentistry stuff has been done with, because again, it's, it's very expensive and I don't really have the money to handle more than one medical thing at a time. <laughs> uh, so once that's done and finished and I've had all the dental treatment I need, uh, I'm going to be going to my GP and explaining the history of everything, which they already know, but just covering back on why I want this and trying to get a referral to an ENT, uh, an ear, nose and throat specialist. Uh, and hopefully they'll have some kind of, they'll have access to some kind of thing that my GP and specialist, like uh, rheumatologists don't have. Um, I, like even if it involves extreme discomfort and then literally shoving a camera up my nose into my side, like I don't care. I just want to know what is going on in there. Because if I know what, we might be able to figure out how to, if, if not fix it, because I'm, I'm well aware, like I've got that many medical issues that cannot have, that don't have cures. I get it. Not everything can be fixed, but some kind of treatment that actually works for more than 30 minutes would be really, really lovely. Uh, but if there isn't, at least then I know if I can get a diagnosis like this is what's wrong, even if that is, we can tell you for certain that this is a side effect of your autoimmune condition. Like just putting it in bloody writing so I know exactly what it actually is. Uh, and then say, no treatment, that's fine. Just tell me, I wanna know. But um, rather than I don't know anything else we can do about it, like telling me there is nothing we can do, that would be good. I like certainty, you know, I like, I like pushing, I like trying to figure out everything and if there is no answer, that's okay. I just want to know that for certain, but we'll see. Time will tell, time will tell. All the medical issues, I feel that in my bones, yep. Indeed, indeed, and I hope that gets better for you. Look, Rex, me too. Thank you so much for your kind words. I really appreciate it. And thank you for being like, as respectful as you could have been with this whole discussion. Because like, as I said, I always get on the defensive when people bring it up because like 95% of people bringing it up, it's because they're shitty with me and they think I'm gross or icky or that I just need to blow my nose or whatever. So I love that you approached it as, as delicately as you could and as respectfully as you could. That means a lot, so thank you. Um, and yeah, look, opportunity to educate sometimes, I guess. Um, 
chronic illness sucks ass. Like, it's it's so bad. It's really, really shitty. Even if you're in a fortunate position like I am, where I have a treatment that works and I don't have too many side effects from my, my treatment and so like some of the other ones I was on massive side effects but what I'm on currently that works for me doesn't have too many that's really good I'm and I'm in Australia I pay uh, so so in in the United States my meds I have to take it's EpiPen style so it's like a, a pen that has a needle in it and you and it goes and it pumps you full of meds yeah it's I hate it I'm needle phobic so it's very bad and it hurts it hurts but um look Pain for 20 seconds, being able to walk, literally, that's when I'm not on my meds. I cannot walk. <laughs> like, it's a thing. Uh, so it's worth it, you know? A minute or so of pain, because there's two pens, I have to t two pens a month. Like, a minute roughly of pain once a month for the ability to walk, I'll take it. Uh, but yeah, so my the meds that I have for that pack that has two pens in it, uh, goes for about uh, five to six thousand dollars in the United States from what my pharmacist was telling me. Five to six thousand dollars if you get it from a reputable pharmacist. Um, if you get it on like the black market, you can get it for like two to four grand, depending on who you manage to get a hold of it for you and how difficult it is for them and the shipping and all that kind of stuff because it is something that has to stay cold as well. A lot of people will pay the two grand and have it shipped non-temperature controlled and they don't care if it's half denatured and half useless because it's still better than what they they, they can they can afford that. Um, the cost in Australia is 1400 I pay 4250 The rest of it's subsidised by the Australian government, by Medicare. I pay forty-two fifty a month for my meds, and if I was in America, I could be paying up to six thousand dollars a month. I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to afford that. So, like, uh, that's terrifying. So, I am extremely thankful that what I have is treatable. I am extremely thankful that the treatment is available to me. I can access it. And I am extremely thankful that it is accessible to me at a price that I can afford. Like, I have a shitload to be grateful for. And so that's what I try to focus on. There's a ton of crap. It's all, you know, pfft. but in terms of that specific situation, I am eternally grateful for the situation that I am in, in, in that whole thing. Yeah. Rent over. <laughs> um, let's try to diagnose fears, medical issues, and medical profession. Except, let's not look. It's, it's, it's okay. Look, sometimes people go, oh, oh, that sounds kind of like this thing that I've had, this experience that I've had, and that's okay. Trying to make connections between two people and and all that kind of that's okay. That I don't feel like that's no attempting to diagnose. What when I have like when I've had people attempt to diagnose my stuff and I talk about this and that, and they come in and they go, oh, look, your doctor said that it was this particular diagnosis, but are you sure about that? Like, have you gotten, have you gotten, have you, look, I know you're on that medication, but are you, have you tried this thing? Like, are you sure that that's not what it is? Are you sure that this won't work for you? And all that? And, then, and then when you're like, no, 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 like, I, I, I trust my medical professionals. Oh, well, my blah, 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 blah. Like, when they push it, that's kind of... Whereas this was approached in a way of like, um, you know, oh, I, you know, I'm believing what you're saying. Do you think that because it's happened so often, it's developed into this thing? Like my, it was kind of, it was more of an association with a personal experience rather than a, I think you're wrong. You should look at this instead. It was an, I'm accepting your experience. Do you think maybe this is part of that experience? So I think it, yeah, I, to me, it came across a little bit differently, but yes, please don't try to diagnose random people on the internet. Even if you're a doctor, it can be extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Ah, uh, don't you dare. Answers are always the hardest part to get up a diagnosis. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. But that's not all, like, that's not necessarily on anybody's fault either. Like, the human body is complex as hell. <laughs> like it's so complicated anything and everything can go wrong I am yeah I'm very thankful that I have a diagnosis as well for sure 
it does, it does indeed. It was on pills, went for 10k a bottle for a month's treatment. Totally covered by Medicare and Victorian government. That's amazing. It's, yeah. Phew. And people are like, oh, I don't want to pay the Medicare levy in my taxes. I'm like, uh, thanks. <laughs> like, I am literally, like, if you are Australian and you are paying the Medicare levy, I am the person you're helping. It, like, th this is the kind of person you're helping. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a whole thing. <clears throat> I got a legitimate mouse, by the way. Works great. Hey! Barely too small for my hand there. Oh, bugger. Bugger. Some of them do have, like, extra cases that you can get that, like, are slightly larger that go over the top of it to make them bigger, but not many of the models have that. Ah, uh, something recruiting an auntie of mine. Everyone knows someone, hey? Everyone knows someone. I have people in the hospital tell me to my face that my doctors were wrong. I needed to get outside more because sunlight was apparently the cure for throwing up blood. Look, I'm sure it possibly could be, but, um, yeah, look. Just turn to them and go, oh, are you willing to sign off on that treatment? Are you going to put that treatment on my chart and then pop your name and signature next to it? And then you'll take me outside and take responsibility for anything that happens, like anything that goes wrong? Yeah? Sure? Yeah? Okay. Let's do that then. Honestly, if even if it set my treatment back months, if someone was actually willing to do that, I would let them do it, and I would do that, and I would set my treatment back just to get that fuckwit out of the medical professional so they couldn't hurt anybody else. If they're not willing to put their name on it, then their opinion doesn't matter to me. But if they're willing to put it on my chart and name it and sign it and date it and then carry out that treatment and it harms me, I'm happy to let them wear that. But I am also in a fortunate enough position that I can afford to do that. I can afford to have my treatment set back months. Not everyone can. But yeah, that kind of shit just... I have feelings about this. Can you tell? What? Not enough mana. <laughs> it's enemy target. Oh, is it my literal? Is it my potion? It is my potion. So when it when you've uh, with the way I've got LVI set up, my my name like my health bar only changes color if it's something I can dispel. And I'm like, what the fuck does shaman have to get rid of curses? And then I realize it's because I'm Kyrian. It's telling me to use my potion. <laughs> I'm very intelligent. I promise you, highly intelligent human. <sighs> is fear an aunt? No, I'm not. At least I don't think so. Therefore, you're lucky. Sunlight is good, but wow. You know, I looked at them threatened. If they didn't walk away, I was going to puke on them. They got so mad at me, but they did leave. Call my mum, Dr. Google. Oh, I should have done that. It would have been hilarious. Sunlight treatment. I remember something about a year ago, and they recommended direct sunlight where the sun doesn't usually shine. Look, they do have, like, um, you know how you have those, like, UV tanning beds and stuff like that, which are terrible and cause unbeknownst numbers of, of cancers and stuff like that because you're not supposed to have that kind of concentrated dose but they can be therapeutic for certain things under the supervision of a medical professional not a tanning bed person user yep but mm. uv is really good for a lot of things Hunt down every that hides within these holes. but usually if it's therapeutic uv they're not just taking you outside it's too variable. They need to blast you with a specific dose and they'll do that in a UV bed. <clears throat> oh, fuck. I'm fine. Everything's fine. You're welcome. Thank you, Medium. Not the surcharge, I have private health insurance. I don't have private health insurance. I can't afford it. Um, I wouldn't use enough of it. I would have to spend so much more money to get the use out of it that I'd be paying for, I can't afford it. Everything that I've had to deal with so far, I've had a few, quite a few medical issues. Uh, everything I've had to deal with so far, um, I've been able to be seen through pr uh, public and it's been great. Um, I'm sure uh, there will be a time at which I will get private health insurance, but um, 
Not yet. I can't afford to at the moment anyway. Like, I just literally can't afford to. Um. Uh, why? Thank you. Nice no, people get a nice thing to have a space and trust people don't need to have you tried kale, sunlight, essential oils. I have essential oils. I have multiple hundreds of dollars worth of essential oils. My mother is a distributor for doTERRA. The shit smells awesome. The shit smells awesome. Do I use it as medical stuff? Hell no! <laughs> Hell no. I do believe strongly. Come on. Nuh uh! Nuh uh! Not all of it. I don't pick it up to take chuck it. No, you don't. Not necessarily. Um. I do believe very strongly in the placebo effect. This is only the second row I've just broken off. Um, so if people, like, truly believe that essential oils are going to help, they will. They absolutely will. Um, I also believe. Much. Sorry? Don't need too much. I won't. Um, I also believe quite strongly in um, uh, complementary medicine. So things like eating the right foods and um, potentially taking particular types of vitamins and all that kind of stuff. I, I believe wholeheartedly in that. It is complementary, not an entire alternate. You're not supposed to stop your medical treatment and do this instead. You're meant to do it alongside. Personally, my, my, my personal beliefs are that if you do the alternative, if you do the, the complementary medicine stuff, you, you eat the things, you, you do the diet, you you drink the, sometimes the weird juices and stuff like that. The idea of that stuff is to make your body as healthy as it possibly can be because the healthier your body is as baseline, the more effectively it's going to be able to utilize the drugs you put in it. If your body is kafucked and you put drugs in it, it's going to be like, what? It's not gonna like. It's not gonna be able to use it properly. You need to be healthy enough that your body's natural systems are working in a way that adding the drugs to it is gonna be beneficial. Like that's that's how that works. Either you take the meds and you eat well, and potentially sometimes you do the exercise. Like depending on what your doctors and stuff have prescribed, but it's all supposed to be complementary. It's meant to work together, not in isolation. Uh, twin, Rallo, Claw, Silver, Froz, and Zam. But of course, don't go starting on any goddamn diets or drink juice cleanse. Ugh. None of that stuff. Until you talk to your doctor. Until you talk to your treat treating medical professional. The person who is prescribing you these drugs, talk to them because you never, you just don't know when this diet that's calling for you to eat 12 pounds of sweet potato a week and then your med turns out it binds to something in sweet potato that turns it into a poison. Like, you, you, you don't know. You need to, like, yeah, make sure you talk to your medical professionals before you try doing anything funky. And communicate to them about it. Like, this is this is what I'm trying to do. Uh, this is what I've read. Here is the, the like, every time I've, like, when I looked at AIP, when I was, AIP is autoimmune protocol. It is a diet. It is a way of eating. It's supposed to be done temporarily. You eliminate a crap ton of stuff. And then you slowly, and then all this stuff is is known inflammatory stuff, known, known irritants to, to human bowels and all this kind of stuff. You, you take all that out and then you add things in one by one to see if any of them kind of make your body go haywire, basically. Uh, and I communicated with my medical professionals about it. I said, this is something I found. I'm thinking about trying it. And my doctor basically said, I mean, everything on this list is healthy. As long as you're eating enough of it and you're getting like, he was looking as like, well, it does, it's missing this kind of food group, but if you have enough of this, this, and this, that'll make up for that. And so we kind of, he's not a dietitian, but we, we kind of had a look at stuff and made sure that I was going to be reasonably balanced and we gave it a go. So like, it's, you've got to, you've got to talk to your medical professionals before you do that kind of stuff. But yeah, no, I'm never, I'm never going to suggest that people use essential oils for anything other than making a room smell nicer, personally. They do smell really good, though. Some of them. Some of them smell like feet, but that's fine. 
Magic curse and shaman is restored also. Oh, no, I'm enhancement. Um, if there is something I can do as enhanced, though, do let me know, because I have no idea. Like, have you come? I don't know what I'm doing. But, um, mm, I am enhanced. <laughs> Thought tanning beds were outlawed here. Pretty sure they are. Not everywhere, though. Open your spell book real quick. Pardon? Open your spell book real quick. <laughs> what did the next page Purges enemy magic. Maybe that one? Yeah, that one. See, you remember <laughs> Maybe the one that you cleanse the spirit. That's alright though, the potion did the same thing. Yeah, but the potion doesn't actually show up on your bars. It does? Yeah, yeah but it won't show up as you can dispel it. Well, it did, didn't it? Well, it's, it came up as purple. I don't know whether that's... If it came up as purple as a curse, you can get rid of curses. Yeah. As a part of your Diseases, course. poisons, curses, and bleeds. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. But hey, there you go. We got it. Thank because you. Because my bars are set the same, and when I'm in Kyrian, it's just like, I don't know what you can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Brilliant. Neither Glad do I, it. game. Neither do I. <laughs> I'm just gonna tank some more stuff. Oh, awesome. Yell at the mage to help me. Yes, I mean I do that. You don't. You have to yell at me. I see you. I see that you're purple and you're my priority dispel target as long as you're tanking. Sometimes it's the healer. I'm the priority dispel target. It's the deeps too. No. Because ninety percent of the time I'm tanking while I'm deeps. <laughs> but whose fault is that? Ah, uh, the tanks. Uh huh. Or whichever numpty decided that you know two and a half thousand percent threat wasn't. No longer a good idea. Oh dear. Ugh. No one like to be highly intelligent and stupid. I have a master's in astrophysics and my wife constantly gives me that look when I do dumb shit. Yes! Yeah. I am I am highly intelligent. That doesn't mean I'm smart. I have a I, I don't have a um master's or a PhD or anything like that, but I, I do have a Bachelor of Forensic Biology and Biomedical yeah, I Science. And I have like I have a lot of uh emotional intelligence. Like, something I've trained up over the years, like I've learned and I've, you know, all that kind of thing. Um, and I've also just kind of learned of my own accord. So I, I do consider myself to be intelligent, um, but that doesn't mean I'm smart. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? Yep, for sure. High in, low whiz, correct. Exactly it, exactly. Oh, teeth are pre-existing, they are. They are. Pineapple or caramel? Huh? Well, the chocolate is banana caramel. Are you asking what my preference would be, Dunno? I'm not too sure, sorry. I have health insurance, there's so many caveats. Look, depending on the place you go and the, the questions you ask and making sure you read your documents and stuff, private health insurance can be exceptionally worthwhile for some individuals. But it is a system where a lot of people paying their premiums subsidize the people who are paying their premiums and using a lot of it. Um, it's like, you know, you pay out, the, like you, you pay and 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 then you hit like your 60s and then you use and you use and you use and you, and you end up using more than you're paying, but you've subsidized yourself, which is why you get the private health loading, um, you know, after you're like 31 or whatever it is, every year that you don't have it, it adds a couple of percent to your payment because you're not subsidizing your older self. Yeah, it, it does, it does. You still, they're still going to make a profit from you. That is how it works, but you can figure out ways around it. You just often have to spend more money to get your money's worth out of it. And I don't have that money to spend. I don't have the money to pay for the private insurance and I don't have the money to pay for the extras to claim my money's worth. So I don't do it. But that doesn't mean that everyone else's situation is the same as mine. For some people out there, it may be well fucking worth. Uh, them having it, but it just isn't for me. Mm, magnesium, really important. Been able to do a lot. Mm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Chocolate thief, indeed. Placebo effect is real. Exactly. Absolutely. Anything can work if you believe it. Absolutely. Mm, just mean it's better long term. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hundred percent, I agree. Mm, that's why I want my meds. States in large type on fluoro sticker. Do not eat or drink grapefruit while taking this medication. Yes. Hmm. I would wager you are hiding many. Yeah. 
within these holes. You gotta be really careful with that kind of stuff. And it, sometimes it seems really strange as well. Like, what? Why this particular thing? But like, if you are wondering, don't test it. Ask. Ask the question, why does this sticker say I can't have grapefruit? And your doctor should be able to explain it to you. Hopefully. <clears throat> well, what's the logic behind wanting so many max levels? Is it just for gold? Just curious. Um, so originally when I did the 10, no, the, the 50 50s, 10 levels ago was where I got the 10 from. Yep. When I did the 50s, it was because I wanted the maximum number of attempts for the heartbreak amount from Lovers in the Air. Uh, because 50 is the maximum on one account. I can't afford a second account. Uh, and level 50 was the minimum level you had to be to be eligible to have the amount to drop. Um, the reason I'm now wanting to get them to 60 is because once Dragonflight launches, uh, whenever that happens to be, probably not until after Next Love is in the Air, but we don't know. Um, when that happens, the requirement for the Heartbreaker will jump up to 60 because the requirement is always max level from the previous expansion. So if I can get onto it now, it'll be done and I won't have to worry about it. Plus, I also quite enjoy leveling. It's it's just a nice thing. I like it. Farming mounts, transform pet toys. Yeah, you don't need to be sixty to be able to do that. Those things, but it does make some of them easier. Like level, uh, like uh, doing the later legion raids and stuff like that is much easier if you have, um, if you have them at at the higher as high a level as you possibly can. Um, but yeah, it's just fun. It's, I like it. Then has my main just very rusty getting back into it. That's okay, Claude. Not a worry at all. I appreciate your help. Spare morning. Brilliant. I know this conversation. 2500% threat. How about no? Used to be all the tank threat mob mod. Playing the warrior has all the threat minigame is pretty annoying. I'm wondering what is you've been getting? Oh, um, yeah, no, the block of chocolate is um, banana caramel, and I'm not really too sure because all I can really taste right now is chocolate, and the aftertaste of the previous one is making it all kind of blend together. But that's okay because banana and caramel is like the whole banoffee pie kind of flavor. It's really good. It's really good. Oh, hydrates. Crap. Hi, X. I don't have a drink. I don't have a water bottle. Rot row. Yeah, drowning. X may be trying to drown you. I reckon so. I reckon so. Random thing, it's we're trying to find mounts in CGS Warrior, with Legion Artifact skin. A lot bigger aggro, whose trolls are afraid of the trolls they swords who take longer, oh well. Huh? Is that like an actual- I thought they were all just cosmetic. Is that actually an effect? Or is that like interesting? Mans always talk to pharmacists, especially given most of my meds are a hospital only dispensed. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um Oh, goodness. I have crusty lips! Oh my god. I can't believe you still remember that. I had- I ended up with food poisoning, uh, which was incredibly dangerous because of my autoimmune meds. I'm in, I'm very susceptible to bacterial infections, so when I got the- when I got the food poisoning, it put me in hospital. I, I was hospitalized. And they put me on a drip, and they put a liter and a half of water into me. Which is a lot of saline, sorry. Which is like that's a lot. That is a lot, a lot. Uh, and my my lips got all like puffy and soft, and I was like, "Is this what hydration feels like?" Because <laughs> my my lips are always like dry and and not cracked, but like dry or, or like a little bit peeling sometimes or whatever. But they were always quite dry. And then all of a sudden I had so much hydration and I was like, holy cow. So yeah, that's that's what X is referring to there, which is very funny. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, hey, Loza. Aw, thank you. You have a good stream. I mean, wait, I hope you're having a fantastic day. 400 mog lockouts a week. I know, right? Except, good lord, no. Um, <laughs> I don't have time for that, unfortunately. Maybe if I was a full-time content creator, but um, not not just yet. I'm working on it. Getting there. Working on it. Slowly but surely. Nice break from max level content. I mean, when do I really ever do max level content anyway? I, I, I don't, uh, really, so... 
I do mostly collections and, and mound farming, mob farming. What, Jas? What did you say? Well, yeah, but like, that's fairly recent. I can't hear anything he's saying because I've got the headset on. And so, and he's out in the kitchen. Hi. Have you come to <laughs> Um. Uh, must be a day ending on why. Uh, Loza, there is no chipmunk. Did you have a read of the redemption thing? Um, there's a list of voice mods you can choose from. You've got to type exclamation voice into chat to see what they are. Um, none of them are chipmunk. They're all wow inspired. Um, ah! 58! Amazing. Ta-da! Can you clean my bags up? My goods. Which is most of the weapons. Interesting. Amazing so I don't know. Pretty sure she still talks to me as a trans mark. The same as when? No. No. She wants to sound like no extreme. No extreme for sure. Perfect. So if I were to call for my health and statement saying I'm an interested to debate, not proper fund. Maybe different situation. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, look, it's um, and even even then, it's still very, very specific to different circumstances and different individuals and stuff like that. Hey, it's uh, it's interesting. That is for sure. It is interesting. Why does that still say I don't have it? But it's so. But it's a neck as well. I'm so confused. Oh, it's that one that's okay. That's retaining the cross. Good. Good. Uh, all right. That button. Ah. It's like J-Hub's doing a, a bit of a silly. Okay. to the leveling stream goal for next month. We are a bit short, actually. We're, we're running a little short on, on embers. There is a chance that it may not happen next month. So if you would like to see more leveling streams from Fair, including one next month, um, you can use your channel points to tell me so. There's a little campfire icon underneath the chat box. You click that, then you click the 50-60s banner, and you can contribute up to 2,000 points today. Uh, if you don't have 2,000 points, you can contribute uh, a smaller portion, if you so desire. But if we don't get to 100% today, the leveling stream won't happen next month, and you'll get all of your points back. Now, however many you put in, you either get the stream, or you get the points back. So there's no, it's literally a win-win, nothing to lose. Uh, and while you're doing that, are you following my Instagram? I am trying to become a full-time content creator because this is what I love. He's just giggling at me. This is what I love doing. This is this is where my passion is. This is like it. it 
I, it is so hard to explain just how much this feels like the right thing to be doing with my life. Um, and so in order to expand my reach and attract potential sponsors so I can pay my bills and not have to have a day job, all that kind of stuff, um, in order to do that, I need to expand my social reach. Uh, and it is just as easy as dropping a follow. I've got Instagram, which is what I'm focusing on because that's where the money is in Australia, big money in Instagram. Uh, then I'm also focusing on then Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. There's a Discord there as well, but um, any and all, and any platform that you feel comfortable following me on, I would very much appreciate it. And if you're feeling extra generous interacting with my posts, dro posts dropping a like, a share, a comment, that kind of stuff, really goes a super long way and it's free, which is the best bit. Uh, it is a free way to support me or any other content creator that you truly enjoy the content of. Thank you for listening to my fan talk. How is that? Appropriate use of the voice? I overshot. Stay a while and listen. Mmm, endured. God, excuse me. Let me get the quest. <laughs> this one, so I didn't want to intentionally mislead anyone, even though we all know no one should take financial or medical advice from random people online. Agreed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is fear short? Yes. Oh, hey, what happened to your voice? Yeah! <laughs> Good use of emotes, Sam. Good use of emotes. Thank you, Sam, for dropping that command as well. Yes, I am fantastic, Miko. Amazing. I just see clear gnome all along. I mean, I'm look. I'm a bit taller than what is considered to be a gnome, but not by much. It's a secret. <laughs> Nothing like a serious talk in their voice. I know, right? I figured that would like catch people's attention, and maybe they'd actually listen. <laughs> that demon is solving crypto. Well, I mean, <laughs> ooh, oh, buddy. Oh, Allah. Uh, I don't think that that's a, a pet. A lil Allah is not a pet. There's a lot of lils, but none of them are Allah. Um, do you need to revise that, Nix? Is the macro use of what? What? I, I, look, I can't hear you when you yell at me from the kitchen. I have a headset on. Um... Is it a macro I use? No. Well, yes and no. It's an add-on that writes more complicated macros, um, but it is still one button press is one action, which is like the definition of not botting. Like I don't just push a button and sit back and it does the game for me. Um, I, I mash the key and it, it does the rotation kind of thing. Uh, so the, uh, the add-on is called Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. Gnome is in the race. Uh, GSE. If you type exclamation add-ons, you'll get a list of all of them and it's under, under G for Gnome. What's up? Phoenix Hatchling. Phoenix Hatchling looks nothing like a law. It's not the right colours. It's like orange. A law uh, is pink. That's why I was confused. I wanted Neeks to clarify, not... Like, yeah. What it was called? Right, okay, yeah. The Phoenix Hatchling looks nothing like a law, though. Like, that's that's nothing like a law. It looks more like the... It's a fire bird, but that's where the similarities stop. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, exactly. Because a law is your... Really? Oh, because it's got the apostrophe yeah, in it, doesn't it? In it? Ashes. Like, it's pink. Like, it's the different model and everything. Um, it'd probably... Yeah, solar... Is it the solar spirehawk? Oh my god. Can I type, please? Yeah, that's what I'd definitely close in. Not the right colours, but closer. Um, where am I? Uh, set favourite. That's the one I wanted. And then yeah, I'll favourite that. Bye! The steak smells amazing, just by the way. That's good. Um, so seriously, like hiring a gnome to promote your stuff, right? Right. If he has a diode and cheapest mouse I can find nearby, 971, 97, Yeah, fair enough. I mean, like, good tech is not cheap. It's, you know, lasts you literally years if you take good care of it. So, the price you know, when it works out to be like less than 20 bucks a year that you're spending, it's, it's not bad at all. Especially if you use it as much as, you know, I do, for example. 
I hear you. It hurts as an upfront payment, but it it's worth investing. Um everyone. Hello, Cookie. That was called. You okay? I am Grim. Hmm. I hope you are too. I would wager you are holding many dark secrets. Alright, collect tithe anima. Oh, there's one. And then, and then, and then, and then. K2 with the record. Brilliant dupe. I'm so glad to hear that. So full of life. Wonderful news. Good afternoon, Draz. Welcome back. Hope you also are okay. Darkest greetings. There is. So is not. He'd be smashing, crashing in the background. Nah. He's just uh, probably tossing some stuff in the sink. I'd say. Ooh. I know that noise. I'll move the chocolate out of the way. Thank you. I cooked the greens a little bit too much. No. So <laughs> That's okay. Got him. Thank you so much, Jess. Oh, it smells really good. You should have some. Okay. Chocolate tax. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's perfectly done too. Steak. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's how you make steak look grim. You're probably not wrong. Probably not wrong. Oh dear. Can baby elephant? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. Mm. We did a lot of food prep today. It was really awesome. All the breakfast and lunches for the whole week are done. Fantastic. And in record time too. We were really efficient today. Did you feel meant? No. Kitchen was too much of a trash heap for me to want to put that on the internet. <laughs> Maybe if I can keep the kitchen clean the entire week. Like, keep it fucking spotless. Like, content creation levels of clean all week. Then next week I'll film it. Everyone would watch that. Not my finger. But you I hurt? got your bubble tea. You hurt your finger? Burnt it. Burnt? On what? The pills. For goodness sake, are you okay? It's only a flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> Please go and put some ice on that. We'll run under cold water or whatever. Hmm. <laughs> Nice some water, exactly. Exactly. But bubble tea. The lid that was not on properly. Yes, water it. In indeed. Water the finger. Mmm. Thai milk tea. With pearls. From the bubble tea club. Who ships to Australia, New Zealand, the United States, and Canada? Bouncy eyebrows. Oh, I'm an affiliate. Oh wow, I didn't, I didn't remember that. I absolutely remember that. Um, five percent discount. Code Fiamma, and I get five percent commission, which helps me pay for my dental bills. Thank you. I appreciate the support, but no, it's it's bloody delicious though. To be to be completely honest. Uh, I wouldn't have signed up to their affiliate program if I didn't love the product. Uh, it's tasty. Tasty shit. Awesome stuff. <clears throat> mm, 
Tithe Anima. I've already got... I'm missing a couple of bits, obviously. And yesterday was World Tea Day. It was. Yesterday was World Tea Day. Just because it's iced and full of sugar does not make it any less tea. Is, is it like World Tree? No. No. Like an international holiday. Not like a holiday, just you know, like the fun little awareness days or whatever. Yeah. But that's for sure. Keeps the moisture in. Has to be wet before wrapping though. Huh? Did I miss it? I must have. Oh, yes, I did. Ice cold water for five minutes, leave it wet and wrap it in cling film. Ooh, interesting. I don't think it's a serious enough burn for him to be like wrapping in cling film or anything. I think he might have just touched the hot pot and gone, yow. Uh, he'll be fine. He's uh, an empty. Figures. He's an empty. Good evening, Raven. Good evening. Did he just Monty Python you? Yes. He does it a lot. He does it a lot. My favorite. It's so good. What does it do? I think it just protects it from infection and stuff, right? Like it, it, because a burn is an open wound. So you ice, you, you, you like run it under ice cold water to cool it down to take the heat out of it so it doesn't continue cooking your flesh. And then you leave it wet because it stays cold and it also prevents the cling film from sticking to the wound and then like pulling bits of skin and flesh off when you unwrap it. I, th I think I might be well off, but um, that sounds like it's logical. <laughs> that sounds about right. Um, Welcome. And tastier. Scones, I was consciously drawn to the teeny can of today. Maybe, maybe there. Look at that. Go you. Jess has good health regen. He's got ridiculous regen. You clean film, keep the heat in, which is clearly bad for burns, probably wouldn't do that. As uh, is false skin, exactly what you said, yeah. Yeah, protects it from, from infection and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's why, so it, it, clean film does keep the heat in, Ali, but that's why you run it under like ice cold water first. You take all the heat out, leave it wet, because then the water can take on the heat, and then you wrap it in cling film to protect it from infection. Yeah. There's great energy. Jas is amazing. He's awesome. Is Jas actually a druid? No. No. Um, Death Knight, Paladin, and Monk. I don't think he has a druid. I don't think he has a bear druid. Which class is damp hands? Probably Resto Shaman. Jas has a paladin. I think he, he is probably more of a DK. Oh, Frost Mage is ice though, so it'd be like bits of ice and chunky, like sharp stuff. Whereas Resto Shamans literally use water for most of their their stuff. <clears throat> yeah, Resto Shamans are sticky or damp and smelly. Oh dear. Like what like the like a musty kind of smell seeker? Is that what you're going for? Earth and mossy damp. Fair, fair. It's a troll bit region. Abilities built in. Hello, Rusty. I'm pretty sure Jas's main is a blood elf. But he might have changed. I don't remember exactly. Da da dum. Da da dum. Ba da. Uh, Dunno, Landa, Miko, Loza, Rallo, Aelin, Ellie, Draz, and Alicia. Congratulations to all of you on your own shit. Well done. Good job. Yay! Oh! <gasps> Guys! It's a skin chest! Sorry, have a look. Look at my- I've got the Archaeologist Rogue skin, but you can also get an Oasis Monk skin and an Entombed Templar skin. So, now is the time to place those units if you don't have one of those skins, or more. Because this is where you can get them from! Place the units and you've got a chance at getting one or more skins out of the final chest. So, do the thing! Alright, Orc Slayer's still on cooldown. 
Um, so I'm gonna keep leveling my duvers. Awesome. Okay, go as a damn boy. At least I didn't get rewarded for some playing clearly. You should rage quit. Nah. Nah. You still get rewards, you just don't get the bonus rewards. The bonus rewards are uh, allocated randomly to people who are active in chat and playing the game, obviously. Um, but it's it's totally randomized. So you gotta keep playing to get more rewards later, maybe. Bouncy eyebrows. I can't do bouncy eyebrows properly, so I just have to say it. <laughs> oh, it's more entertaining, I'm sure. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Ooh, maybe I should change the capper on that to the Fiamma Kappa. Hang on. Give me a second. Because I'll forget if I don't do it right this second. And you know it. Don't you know it. What was that? 72? 72. Edit. Done. I don't know about that one. There you go. Mm, I did do a bit of a clean out of um of some quotes because there was stuff that does like made zero sense anymore. Um and like in in heavily in reference to people who are no longer part of the community and all this kind of stuff. So I took a bunch of them out, uh, which did in fact change the numbers for a lot of them. You have come seeking the best. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Perfect. Hello, Daz. Welcome back. Oh, I remember. No, I don't. Yep. Let's look. It's the story of my life. I remember this is brilliant. Yep. Quote all. What are you trying to accomplish with that, dude? Flutter Crows can find the one I was after. Yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. Nah. Well, the number will be lower than what it was before. And not by too much. Like, I didn't delete too many. Um, but yeah, you'll have to just keep giving it a go, I reckon. I'm gonna fool this. You have to try one by one. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't delete too many. So it shouldn't have dropped by more than a little bit. <laughs> that must have been when I was flying, like on a flying mount on one of my shadow priests. Because I know exactly what it's talking about. It's like the little, you know, when it changes the glow that you've got in it, but it does it as you're moving through the air. It looks like shadow farts. It's fantastic. Mm -mm. 
<clears throat> so who's excited for tomorrow? I'm excited for tomorrow. So keen. Try something new. I'm going to change color. Ah, oh, only dancer should up you can't see mountains and transmogs properly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean you can just make a dark purple transmog. That teach they're in. Why fear? What's tomorrow? Sponsored stream. Tomorrow is a sponsored stream from Square Enix for Final Fantasy XIV, and I'm very excited. Very, very excited. I'm not sure the game based on whether it looks like a play. Mm, mom. Oh, something new. It's a completely free trial. You can play like a decent chunk of the game without paying for it, which is really cool. And crossbow in front of strike my enemies face to face. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, you assume new friends. Yeah, fingers crossed. I really hope so. Not only way we're, only one way to find out though, hey. It is quite good to see you. to pay the bills this fortnight so broke in three hours tomorrow lol mm, okay fair enough i'm excited for you hope it's fun i'm i'm sure it will be i'm sure i'm gonna have an absolute blast i just hope that it goes well like i hope that they are happy with their investment enough to like they have talked about this becoming a series of streams um, but of course that's going to heavily depend on how tomorrow goes. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm super keen and super excited, but I'm also quite nervous because, um, you know, I want to be successful. And if I can, like, if they're happy with the content and they're happy with the engagement and stuff like that, then I have further earning potential. It's, yeah, it's, it's kind of nerve wracking in a way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I pulled too many things. It's fine. Oh, school sources, thank you. No pressure though. I know, right? I know. You know your performance over the six hour window could determine your earning capability over the next however many months. Good, fantastic, wonderful. Uh, <laughs> mm. I'm sure it'll be fine. Like if I'm not the right person, then I'm not the right person and that's, that's fine. I just, you know, I hope. I hope. It certainly looked nice on the uh, the pitch deck, the resume. What have you done? Oh. <clears throat> I should really health fight. damage reduction. Ah, okay. Use your elemental. Yeah, look. Look. I don't usually pull enough to need to. But like occasionally apparently. Well, that's an edge. There we go. Mm, who knows me these days? A few healers and Arthur Basin, etc. Should drop by and have it up. Thank you. Good evening, Kraz. How are you going? Welcome back. Uh, I've already seen your stream. There must be alignment already. Look, I I would hope so. I would hope so. Um, but I mean, 
even if there's alignment, like you like a person for your brand and all that kind of stuff, it's not a guarantee that their community will engage in the way that you hope they will. Um, the streamer might be right, but their community might not be. And I get that. Like it's it's business. In at the end of the day, it's not it's nothing personal. It's all business. They are outlaying X amount of money, and in return, they expect X amount of new downloads or subscribers or enthusiasm or whatever it happens to be, right? Um, so if they don't get that from me, then they'll move on. And that's it's not about me. It's it's just they didn't think it was the right community fit or whatever. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, but I hope it is a good fit. <laughs> I hope it is a good fit. Got some setup to do tomorrow. A bunch of bits and pieces I have to get aligned. You are not one of us. But that's okay. I just hope I don't miss anything. <clears throat> I don't know, I actually hyped you. Uh some yes. Some. I was really trying a few weeks ago, it was so hard to get into for newcomers. They've done a whole lot of new stuff for, like they've they've uh, redone a Realm Reborn for new players. They're like that's one of the reasons why they are reaching out with a sponsorship for me in particular. Uh, it's the new player experience that they've updated and refreshed, and also the Oceanic Data Center that they've booted up. Um, so those are kind of like the two big highlights of what I'm going to be showing everybody tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, the um, they've definitely done some work with the new player experience. So it'll be interesting to see because I have I've dabbled in it before. Um, I've definitely done a little bit of it here and there before, but um, I'll be starting a fresh character, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we'll we'll see how we go. We'll see how I go. Looking forward to it. <clears throat> what time does stream start? Normal time. So 4pm Australian Eastern Standard, uh, which is Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne. 4pm. But if you scroll down where it says about Fiamma, if you click Fiamma and then click schedule, uh, it'll have it in your time zone automatically, which is fantastic. Nice and easy. I was unbeatable. In death, I... <clears throat> uh, things my cat has learned to do turn off my computer when I'm focusing on something but before I save what I was working on I made this suggestion to Yori Yori had a little tiny baby kitten who kept turning the PC off uh, and it's to make like a button cover that you can kind of tape on so that they can't push it and then you have to like lift the cover to push the button and put it back again <sighs> super easy um, like, uh, egg carton, if you've got one, cutting out, a, like, an egg carton to cover it would, would help. Um, otherwise you can make one out of other cardboard or whatever. But yeah, welcome back. Uh, seriously, what were the PvP noises happening out there outside PvP context? I don't know. I'm not sure, dude. Sorry. Um, rares or treasures. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, it could be rare scanner. When I come across a, a treasure on the world map or a rare or something, it does do a little noise. I forgot that they were PvP noises. Ah, uh, my bad. I didn't even realize. 4 p.m. Yep. Aloha, hello, Ness. Hope everyone's doing well. Good night's sleep. Have a fantastic day before them. Fantastic. Well, uh, it's currently 7:37 p.m. for me, so uh, the day has mostly been done. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been oversleeping lately. Apparently, I'm actually kind of sick, which surprises nobody. Uh, but look, I'm doing pretty well. I hope you can say the same. <clears throat> so, a cucumber on the power button! Yep. Oh my god. Cats being surprised by cucumbers is like the best thing. It's so good. Playing that one. Yeah, even nature MMOs, beginning is the slowest part, definitely so the world building part of the story game. Yeah. Yep. 
laying down all that backstory so you understand what's going on later. It can take time, definitely. Try not to eat an entire bag of dicks. <laughs> um, I was sent. You can. There is a. There is a service. I don't know if they still exist, but there was a service where you could send somebody a bag of dicks, and it would send them a bag of gummies shaped like dicks, and they were really tasty. Like it was gummy candy. Of course, it's tasty. And so I try. I, I said that I will try my hardest not to eat an entire bag of dicks in one sitting. And so that was, that's what became the quote. It's really stupid. <laughs> I see the whole brown of the pink one then. Morning over here. Brilliant, there you go. Time zones are trippy, aren't they? Like, so trippy. Yeah, my life. So many people get a kick out of it. <laughs> oh dear. Nine thirty-nine a.m. They go. We'd get a bag of candy just so I could eat it. I mean, go for it. Honestly, it's a bit expensive for just candy. But like the whole point is that you're also getting like the the whole joke and everything as well. But hey, like to each their own. Let it be in China on time soon, Crystal Hot Charity. Ooh. Interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. Oh wait, when could tell your home? Whoops. Okay. The living in the land of the dead. Yes, there Dark we go. Time. Oh, discover the flat path. No selling those. What is a prick screen? Tiny green cactuses for Christmas. That's adorable. That's super cute. Labels on the bottles. So my no neighbor blow up mandals. I keep complaining about pills from my two fully on their lawn. Your packaging and fully inflated. Interesting. Approach freely. Okay. Oh, we're getting close to fifty nine. What are we at? Sixty six point four nine per cent. Getting there. What did she hear? Like, what is it? Because chronic pain. Definitely not fun. <laughs> So where am I getting the Doomfang skulls from? White Hydras. Ah, the Hydras. Okay. They might all just be dead. There are a few people in the area. There we go. Mmm, I found out the pain release is soon. Agreed. Got any more people who haven't donated embers to the community goal in chat? Good question, Jas. If there's anybody out there who has not contributed embers to the challenge, if you'd like to see more leveling next month, that's how you do it. Little purple campfire underneath the chat box. There's a banner in there called 5060's leveling challenge. You click that and you can contribute up to 2,000 embers today. If we don't hit 100% today, you will get those embers back. That easy. Super good. Uh, 
Um. Where? There's one. There's two, actually. Here's <clears throat> the pressure. I want to see that. Sure. Then don't contribute. That's okay. Seeker might get upset with you, though. Speaking of supporting Fear, if you are enjoying watching, Fear also has chill social media content. Why not follow? Following is free and support streamers expanding their reach. <laughs> Increasing visibility and opportunities for sponsorship, and it's also a great opportunity to share content with someone you think may enjoy it. We've recently hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, so we're aiming for 1,111 because 1111 looks good. <laughs> and you can find all those profiles under my, all my links thing or underneath the channel. Hey, Seeker, I've lost one. <laughs> I guess we're pissing people off. Oh, dear. That's funny. What are you doing? What the? Something is broken, I think. Yep, I think something broke. That's fine. All right. There's one. <laughs> Perfectly timed as I pulled the bear, I got very confused. Oh my lord. Never been more disappointed I already contributed and thus cannot contribute more. That's okay. Totally fine. Shush is anywhere it is. It is. It's hilarious. What's up from Guinea Girls? I was kind of looking forward to getting those embers back. That's hilarious. Look, you still might. You still might. <clears throat> Can make a second again? No, I don't know. Come on now. Oh dear. Last time he lost a raid. Tempting, I also remember passwords to accounts and I forgot that in me. So it doesn't appreciate quality and content. No, I think it's somebody we banned earlier. Because I checked that I've got a, a an app that kind of tracks so that I can see if someone new has followed me, I can go and like check out their profile and see if they're a streamer as well and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the the unfollow looks like it was somebody who we blocked a little while, like a band a couple of weeks ago, or longer than that. So I, no loss, <laughs> no loss. I'm kind of surprised I didn't go and find them and block them on there already. Love the Revendreth music. <clears throat> I just want to make a macro so when you crit, like, in okay, case scroll text, it come up with old style Batman hit text. I'm sure you could probably do that. I mean, when I crit, it ends up here, but you can move that with mixed scrolling battle text, I'm pretty sure. Like, you can put it where we in, because there's one at the top, one down the bottom, and then one either side, like that. So I'm sure you could probably mit like move the crit somewhere else. <laughs> Pow. Zemnya. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well done. It has been so long.
I'm going to see if you conduct a badge. Looks good on you. Yay! Oh, she's got to respawn. Okay. Well, am I just using a macro and spamming it? Welcome on in. Uh, yes, so it's a macro that's built by an add-on. The add-on is called Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. Uh, and it's a GSE for short. And essentially you can import, like other people elsewhere can write super complicated macros for a rotation. Some of them are like three part macros. Uh, I use one button macros personally. Uh, and you can grab them and import them basically. So every time you push the button, it does one action. And then in order for it to do the next action, you have to push it again. So it's basically a macro on crack. Yeah, uh, like a super complicated one. Um, but yeah, it's good fun. It means that I can play, like I've got 50 tunes um, and my I'm brain- I'm a casual. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fucking loving it. Uh, I've got uh, like 50 characters across all the different classes. And it means that I can switch up specs depending on what people, like what I need for a particular piece of content. Uh, and my brain just doesn't really function to remember 36 rotations. Uh, I know Fire Mage. I'm pretty good with Fire Mage. Uh, but everything else, I just, I re like, I really struggle to, to remember them. I have some issues with memory. Uh, so, yeah, it, it helps me be able to play everything. Um, I don't do group content with my alts, so I don't feel like I'm holding other people back with subpar performance using, like, of course, using a one-button macro is never going to be as good as, as playing it yourself and reacting to different uh, situations, uh, but it does the job. It means I can play them without just completely and utterly failing constantly, uh, but yeah, it's, it's good. I enjoy it. I hope that helps. I hope that helps you. But welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, just be about to just hope the dress get you. I know, right? Aren't they nasty? GSE. <laughs> oh, it's in it's in add-ons. It's in my list of add-ons. Yes, that's one. Thanks, dude. But yeah, the link to get it from Curseforge will be in that uh in that add-ons list as well. We're getting close to 59. What are we at? 85%. Not bad. Not bad at all. I just think that might be useful for that kind of stuff. Look, possibly. But I don't, like, I haven't been doing as many leveling streams. So it's kind of, you know, we've only had that question a lot today because I'm using it a lot today. Uh, it's been a while since we've had, like, proper leveling streams. <clears throat> baby toon da 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 baby toon da 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 I know it doesn't help, but it feels like sometimes it does a little bit. <laughs> you so bad. Why don't you? Like, look, they haven't been around in a while, have they? Have you, like, DM'd them or anything? 
You also let their engine all kinds of things. Yeah, fair. That is fair. Uh, I don't mean this to sound bad, but why are you out of all the WoW streamers advertising the Battle.net client? Really good question, Meg. Meg? Mick. Megichi. Sorry, I misread. I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, good question. Welcome in. I hope you're having an awesome day. Um, we have that little spiel there, so I'll, I'll read that for you as well. Uh, back in January of 2021, Blizzard ANZ reached out via Twitter to ask if I wanted to be featured in the launcher. Uh, I died and then woke up uh, and said yes, so I've been featured on and off since then, uh, sometimes in regions outside of AUNZ as well. Uh, as well as the other games too, which has been fantastic. Um, the reason, like, I've I've actually approached them, because I, I get this question a fair bit, uh, not always as polite, as you can probably imagine. Uh, so thank you for making it clear that you weren't approaching this as a, uh, on the offensive. Uh, but basically, the reason they approached me in the first place was that I was super consistent, that I had quite positive content. Um, it wasn't just constantly shit talking and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Silver, Landar, Meaty, Captain, Demon, Dunno, and Froz, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship well done. Um, so it was positive content, it was consistent content, like I was on at the same time each day that I went live, I was on the same days each week, uh, and I was streaming mostly WoW. I also notified them that I existed. Every time I was tweeting, like I would tweet when I went live, I would tag them, uh, specifically at Blizzard ANZ, not any, like, not the main Warcraft account, not, like, Blizzard customer service and all that, like, specifically the ANZ account. Uh, and eventually, they, they dropped by a couple of times, they hosted me from their Twitch channel, and then eventually followed me back and reached out and, and said, hey. Uh, and the feedback I've gotten since then is that I'm, like, again, it's the consistency, the fact that they can stick my, like I plan my streams a month in advance and they can stick them up there and they know I'm going to go live. That's when I'm going to be there. Uh, the fact that I can tell them a month in advance when I will be playing their games. Uh, and yeah, the fact that I do a lot of stuff in WoW that's not super well known. Um, like a lot, there, there are a few collectors and stuff out there, but not a ton in the ANZ scene, a lot of streamers tend to do keys, nothing but keys, uh, or they do a whole lot of raiding. And they're like, so many people already know about the raid side. They know about the keys, but a lot of people don't realize that there's a whole lot more to the game than that. And I'm able to show that side of the game. Uh, and I've managed to be quite successful in doing so, um, which is not, really expected a lot of twitch either you need to be like a pre-existing name like a celebrity or you need to be playing competitively to be able to get that kind of recognition and before blizzard reached out to me i was actually doing quite well growing on my own uh and so i guess that's another thing that kind of tipped them off that maybe i had a, a decent kind of plan for my content uh but yeah that's um yeah. <laughs> uh, is it just a genuine curiosity thing, or are you yourself a WoW streamer looking for like hints and tips and stuff? Like, what's what's the go? What do you sense? The Walker must How does it decide who to show up? Oh, they do that manually. Um, Megichi, they they program in like they asked me for photos of myself, and then they made the art because it's got like the name, the big me, and then the blah blah blah, and the Fiyama live now and stuff. So they they have that, and then they have to manually program in. We want this to be one of the carousel things from this time to this time. Like it's all manually done. Um, it's not the the launcher doesn't just pick somebody. It's not programmed to do that. You, you, it, it's done manually, and also like they got to make sure that whoever's popping up on the launcher isn't going to be someone that they don't necessarily want associated with the brand. So, for example, um, if you have, you know, Blizzard have uh, currently a, a, a lawsuit <laughs> that's going on, um, uh, relating quite heavily to misogyny. So chances are they probably don't want to randomly accidentally feature a streamer on their launcher who is hella misogynistic. <laughs> probably gonna be a bad view, you know, probably gonna be bad optics for them, right? So no, it's all entirely manual from, from their side. Um, they can program it in a, in a head, like in advance, which is why having that consistent schedule for me is really beneficial for them. Uh, but yeah, no, it doesn't, it doesn't pick someone like you might think, it, it's manually done. And they have to ask consent as well. Like it does increase your viewership a bit. 
Uh, and you, you know, the, the person who's on there, they want to make sure that they know that they're going to be on there so that they can prepare for a potential influx of viewers. Sometimes it happens. Um, knowledge of game is awesome. Look, it's not too bad. I don't, I don't know a whole lot of in-depth stuff about every single class and that, but I know, I know what I play. Uh, I know the, compl the, the completionist stuff and the collection stuff and, and that. And I have been playing for like 15 plus years, so I know a few bits and pieces, but I, I definitely like, there are certainly people out there who know a whole lot more about the game than I do. Does fear exist? I do! This sounds like a nice opportunity. But, oh, it, it absolutely was, Megachi, 100%. And it is, it's very mutually beneficial. Like, I get the exposure. Um, it obviously directs people into stream and stuff like that. Um, but, and I also, you know, can say that I've worked with Blizzard, which is awesome. I'm not sponsored, to be very, very clear. I am not paid to be on the launcher. I have had sponsored streams with Blizzard in the past. I've had three different, like, individual sponsored streams, um, but I am not, there is no payment in either direction involved with being on the launcher, none at all. I want to be very clear about that. Uh, but, like, they benefit because they can point potentially maybe new players in a direction of a community that's friendly and welcoming and who can help with questions. And also, you know, provide a bit of entertainment and maybe some some viewpoints of the game that they haven't seen before. And then for me, obviously, yeah, exposure, growth, all that kind of fun stuff. But it's definitely been a mutually beneficial relationship. And I hope that it continues into the future because honestly, they're super awesome to work with. Like really, really awesome to work with. Uh, but yeah, that's just been my experience. So of course, um, indiv other individuals may have different feelings and that's totally okay. So existing in this economy, it's just too expensive, Sam. It's just too expensive. So focus a lot on the collectible side of things. I do, absolutely, Megucci. Uh, that is uh, the part that I really, like I do do some, <laughs> sorry, I'm very mature, I promise. Uh, <laughs> I do uh, do some end game content, but my my bigger focus is definitely the completion side of things. Uh, I, have, I have all the things, which give it a second to load. It's a large add-on. Um, this is like every single collectible thing in the game and my percentage is just for, you know, Shaman. So I can switch to account and that's how many of the entire, like the entire game across all 12 characters that I have. It, they, the numbers are not good, but that's fine. I'm working on it. So we do transmog runs. I do mount hunting. I go and collect pets and toys and all sorts of fun stuff. Like it's really... Uh, I'm very much a completionist. I love clocking games. I know it's probably never gonna, I, I don't think I'll ever get to the point where I get everything in WoW, but it doesn't mean I can't try. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna give it a go. If I can become a full-time content creator, maybe I would have time to stream a little longer or maybe add another day to my schedule and actually get in there and, and maybe, maybe just maybe collect more stuff. But that is a that is a long way off. I'm working on it, I'm working my butt off. I really would love to be a full-time content creator, but as it stands, I have a day job and uh, and I need that because I need to pay my bills and rent and food and stuff. So, <laughs> but one day, one day, we can only hope, right? We hope and work our butts off. Can I just share something fantastic that happens this morning? Of course. My girlfriend had found a box of Duplo Lego on a flea market containing a princess tower. She cleaned it up in soapy water in the shower and my three-year-old daughter stood beside in a ballerina dress, crying her eyes out, completely broken by happiness of playing with the tower the second it dried up. That's super cute. Yay! Oh, that is adorable. That's super cute. I'm just curious. Of course, of course, not a worry at all. Like, no, I'm, I'm happy to talk about my journey and, and how I got to where I am. And, and of course, you know, like I've had a lot of people come in and say, you know, how did you get on the launcher? With the intent of like, I am a streamer. How do I get where you've gotten? You know, it's kind of similar to, you know, if you hear somebody works for your dream company as a, as a job, how did you manage to work there? How did you get to that position? Like, you know, who did you interview with? What, what qualifications did you have? All that kind of, it's, it's worth in, like that information is worth getting. And so I'm always more than happy to talk about that. Um, is that 59? It is, it's 59, fantastic. Um, so yeah, always more than happy to have a chat about that because this this industry is, <laughs> this industry is, that's probably about enough said. Uh, <laughs> it's cutthroat. It, it really truly is cutthroat and there are small things that can make all the difference, uh, but you know, 
without knowing what those things are, without trial and, and error and that kind of stuff, or having someone who's already been there who can tell you how they got. Of course, that doesn't necessarily mean that my path is going to be everybody else's path, but hey, it might be. Or it might be a step on the path that heads in a different direction, but it still, you know, helps them get where they want to go. Of course. So then I thought I'd ask, of course. You're very welcome to. Very welcome to. Sweet, isn't it, Captain? It's so cool. It's so awesome. And thank you so much for joining us in chat. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Mainly check out the streams from collectors. There are not that many. No, there aren't too many. Um, there are a couple, uh, but I'm like, a lot of people feel like, and, and rightfully so, a lot of people feel like if you're doing collector stuff and not doing like end game, you know, competitive, pushing keys and doing mythic raids and stuff like that, then that kind of stuff doesn't attract as much of an audience. And they're right. It doesn't. Uh, it does attract a smaller audience. I have been streaming for six years. Almost six, and, uh, actually no, it's probably more like six and a quarter. End of February was my sixth anniversary. Uh, and I've, look, I've grown. I would consider myself to be a successful streamer. Uh, but there are some people who do other types of content who get to where I am in six months rather than six years. But that's not the kind of content that I enjoy. Uh, I do, I do enjoy raiding and stuff like that, but I don't have... I don't know, I'm too old for that shit these days. I do raid with a very casual guild. I raid with them once a week and we do it on stream. Uh, and that's just only like started up fairly recently. Uh, but um, like, I've raided with them on and off here and there before, but I've decided like, I, I really want to actually commit to this. Um, so I'm, I'm running with them once a week. They raid twice a week, but I'm just joining them for the one raid per week. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's just not, my kind of content and that's not necessarily a bad thing uh it does mean that i have a bit of a niche or a niche depending on how you want to pronounce it uh and sometimes that's good because if there aren't many people doing the kind of content that you're doing then you'll attract more people but sometimes there isn't anybody else streaming that content because there isn't an audience for it and it's really difficult to tell which of the two it is until you do it. <laughs> so it has definitely been a long road to where I've gotten to. However, over the past kind of year and a half, it was kind of for, for a good few years there, it was kind of like I did some growth and then I was like, da -da 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 -da. and then a year and a half ago, it's kind of just gone ka So like, I am overjoyed with the success that I've found. Um, it is my passion. It is my love. This is this is what I love doing. I want to do this as a career, as a full-time career, but it is so hard to do that. Uh, which is where you guys come in. Followers on all the social media platforms, especially Instagram. I know it's ridiculous, but it's a big deal. Um, but following on all those socials and stuff like that, interacting with posts if you can, if you're feeling generous, likes and comments and shares. The more effort you have to put into an interaction, the more it's worth to the respective algorithm. So a like, great. A comment, better. An actually thought out comment that isn't just a string of emojis, even, even better. Sharing it? Oh, hell yeah. So it's kind of like there is a hierarchy to like how much your your engagement counts, which is hilarious. I'm learning so much. Like you, you have no idea. I'm learning so, so, so much. Uh, but that's kind of, that's where my focus has to be at the moment is trying to expand that reach. And it's not easy, but I am enjoying it. So that's good. The moment I stop enjoying it is the moment I need to start looking at what I'm doing, like real hard and figure out if I'm doing the right thing. Fills my heart with joy. Yes. You remember last time I felt that kind of happiness? It's so beautiful. Just have a lovely weekend. Thank you. Yay. Lovely, aren't we? Look, I reckon so. I reckon so. They pay for you with exposure. And I mean, technically I pay them with like, I will encourage people to play your game. So <laughs> it could be worse. It could be worse. So a spy hog. Ah, congratulations, Lucky. Well done. Well done. That's insane. I love you, lovely. No, you. Um. Where am I at? Did that actually drop? No. Okay, good. Uh, just trying to make questions. Can drop out. No worries at all, Geechee. Well, hopefully we'll see you again next time. And have a wonderful rest of your evening. So pretty. Oh, 
mods are doing what they're supposed to be doing, Onyx. Problem? Um, I can't wait for Microsoft to fully own WoW. Well. Uh, it's going to be a really long time. Like, I'm talking years before they actually have any effect on the game itself. Like, it's going to be a long ass time. Hey, Nev. Hello, how many runs to get Time Reaver? Ooh, good question. Uh, it was a lot. It wasn't as many as I thought it would be, but it was still a lot. Give me a second, I think, because I've got, like, Rarity takes a screenshot, and I'm pretty sure I've got a screenshot of it in the Themajig. I just need to check the screenshot and see what it says. I think it was, like, 500 and something. Um, it ends give me a second, and I'll find that for you. Uh, no, not that folder, this one. Is it under I? No. Rains? Yes. Five hundred and eighty-seven. 587 attempts. Sorry for the delay there. I just wanted to make sure I had the number right. <laughs> yeah, 587. But hello, Malik. I hope you're having a fantastic day today, and I hope that's what you wanted to hear. I hope that's not too scary. Uh, percent for you guys. Fantastic. Oh, so awesome. I'm just really like you being on the client main page. We've been working together for a while, and so I reckon if they didn't like me, they would have, like, kicked me to the curb by now. But no, nah, they're like, they're pretty awesome themselves though. They're like so, so super lovely and it's been amazing getting to work with Blizzard. Blizzard ANZ to be specific, like is uh, the regional branch. So, yeah. Uh, I'm more stream trivia. I mean, if you'd like to, that'd be awesome. I could totally post them up on the thingamajigs. And someone will see it. Uh, next month. Um, so I I do my social media stuff each month. So if anything is suggested during like May, you're not going to see it in May. Um, <laughs> it'll be stuff that I draw on when I'm planning my next month's worth of content. Because uh, if I do it week by week, I'll never be doing anything else, unfortunately. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sometime soon. The shareholder meeting, 98% agreed to sale. Yes, but that you're still not understanding, Overlord. Um, so they they can agree to that, but then the earliest that the actual sale will go through will be the end of the financial year that this next one, so it'll be like June 2023. Then beyond that, when you buy a company, it's because of their profitability. You don't want them to, like, you don't want to go in there and be like, cool, we own you now, we're going to change everything and then destroy what makes them profitable. You sit back, you watch, you learn, you understand all of their internal procedures so that you can see what their method is for success. Then years later, you start going, okay, well, we've learned enough about you. I reckon if we change this, we'll get more productivity and it'll cost us less, which means more profit, etc., etc." So they start doing internal changes, but the actual changes, like we... Microsoft may never actually change any content to do with World of Warcraft. Like, they may never change any of that. It may well just be internal, like, hierarchies and ladders of reporting and stuff to just make things more efficient and more profitable. They might just let them do their own thing because, I mean, they're profitable so far. Might as well let them keep doing that. Yeah, you misunderstanding. I, I understand that they have approved the sale, that there's still some investigations going on. It still could be cut off at the knees or the ankles or whatever. But even if it does go through, you're still not going to see massive changes in the game that we play for literally years. That's how business acquisitions work. They're, gone, they're not going to just go fucking with a product two months in because they could destroy the profitability and then they lose all the money that they spent on the sale. It's <laughs> it's a problem. To know. 50 level 60 characters, indeed. I'm on my way. This will be number nine. Um, but I've got 50 50s, so I don't have to go, I don't have to go very far for each individual tune. It is the aim indeed. Yeah, I've got my uh my, my 50 50s. They're all at least level 50. Um I've got eight 60s, a ton of them are 51 or 50 because the dings from like event like world events and stuff like that. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. Please do hurry. I cannot Tomb Raider 2, Pirate 7 is not bad. Quit the game because of the mount. In 2016. Oof, rough. Ah, rare stuff is supposed to be difficult to get. If you keep going, you'll get it eventually. Uh, eight. Eight at 60 at the moment, dupe. I know, right? I've been making progress. I don't know, I've never played consistently again. felt like a waste of time after trying to get that thing, but there's so many other things to get. Ah, it's fine. Individual choice. Okay, so fine. Uh, nearing the end of May, get your suggestions in. Yep, pretty much. We do actually have a feedback channel in the Discord. Um, obviously, I'm not going to just take everything on, but I mean, if I see something go, ooh, that actually sounds like a good idea, then absolutely. Remember the elemental? I did, because I was like, ah, uh, shit. Yep. <laughs> I did something. Look. Look. Fancy a go, me. Da 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 da. Cloak before we head into the light. Much better. Ugh, though it does have a putrid stench. Now. Uh, so I feel comfortable with. Totally fair. I will show you how to totally fair. It's good. 665 mounts. I do indeed. 665. Do you reckon that means next mount farm Monday I'm going to get two mounts? So I skip straight over 666. Oh, so while you're enjoying watching, why not follow on social media? Thank you, Seeker, for the shout out. Again, amazing. Following is free and support streamers by expanding their reach, increasing visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. If you enjoy it, share it with a friend. You can find all my profiles there in the allmylinks.com forward slash Fiyama. And thank you so much for taking the time. It is very, very much appreciated. Miss got 400. Nice! The hit companion pet's cap. When the cap was there, of course. Of course. That's awesome. Well done. Well done. I've got 12 something pets. Oh, wait. I got a few the other day. Oh, I'm 13 13 now. Not bad. Oh, I've got a couple of duplicates though, so I think that's probably going to be more like 13 11. Um, yeah. I don't tend to hold um, duplicates of pets. Fragments should never be discarded. They can be Two hours to not contribute and let me get my embers back. Yeah! <laughs> How are we looking? Where the will take oh, we are so close. We need like six people to contribute for the embers goal. Like six people. My lord. Unless if they're blue, I don't have duplicates. Of course. Of course. Um, yeah, I, I collect pets more than, like, I don't do PvP stuff, um, so I don't tend to need certain breeds and things, so I, I have one of everything, but then I have two singing sunflowers, um, because of a PvP strat, because I was trying to get a PvP achievement, uh, and I think I put another duplicate of something somewhere, I don't remember why though. Ah, uh, now I haven't played that in a while, happy time zone to you too, Sync! Yeah, I, um, this is what I'm leveling today. This is what I'm, uh, this is what I'm working on. Oh, something new. Who would do this to me? Um, five and Sam. Your pathetic master. Hello, Nev, thank you very much for the contribution. Willing to contribute just to burn dupes <laughs> and Love it. Good job. Two hundred eighty-nine thousand seven hundred and fifty-three. We are getting very close, very, very close. You can contribute up to two thousand each day. So if you've only contributed like five or six hundred today, you can jump in and contribute the more that you've earned since then, if you so desire. You can contribute multiple times a stream up to the cap of two thousand per stream. And the reward is another leveling stream next month. Hmm, I could ask you main horde, play both factions. I do play both factions, but I do also main horde. So I have 30 horde characters and 20 alliance. For the alliance. 
My main is a blood elf mage fire. Hence Fiamma. It's Italian for flame. Alliance main, brilliant. Oh, Davu with the contribution. Thank you very much. Any gnomes? Yeah, of course. I have two gnomes. Plus, uh, plus two mecha gnomes as well. And just in case people count those both. My friends are alliance only. That's fair. I mean, people tend to play with their friends. It makes sense. It is a multiplayer. And lots of friends in here. Absolutely. Absolutely. We do have a lot of Alliance players in the community as well as, of course, Horde. Um, I'm Australian, so I play on the North America slash Oceanic realms. Uh, but uh, they are the same region, and so we can play together. But we do also have a fair few EU folk as well in the community. Uh, again, both factions. So it's, yeah, we're... Uh, pretty much anyone can find somebody to play with in this community, which is pretty awesome. No place like no. I can never get 10 at the moment. Fantastic. <laughs> That's intended. Ah, oh dear. You, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, look. Yeah, look. Amari. Just like it. Ah, oh dear. An Ashen Ravager. Let's squish this one. Gosh, I have so many hydrates. I'm just gonna have to hydrate with the bubble tea. You guys are gonna just have to deal with it. Approach freely. To what do I overflow? Darkest greetings. Okay, let us collect some mirror fragments. From not that one, clearly. Well, there are a few alliance folk in the area. That's alright. Ah, <sighs> it's your nose. You will meet your true death. That's one of mine. Brilliant. Always check the saddle. Yep. Yep, for mount, uh, mount makeup. Always check the saddle. Make a big yesterday. It has. It was Zam. It was the Crimson Cloud Serpent. We control these lambs. Oh, we've tipped over 290k. Not long to go. Only got a couple of hours to squeeze those you last nearly 10k embers. If you haven't contributed to the community challenge, you can do so by clicking the little purple campfire in the chat. Clicking that banner. And then uh, contributing from there if you so desire. Can we discuss it in there? Yes. As long as you tell me which one it was. You know what my memory is like. Mm. Was it an extra finger and extra toe? Was that the my mage? Really a wizard from Oz. Mm, uh, no, not really. 
Uh, wizards, to, I'm not an arcane mage. Um, I don't know, my, my definition of wizard might be a little narrow though. But I am from Australia, so there is that. This third nipple, third nipple versus extra toe. Right, gotcha. Brilliant. Yeah, go for it. If discussions get a little too wonky, then we'll just uh, finish it. people have seen them on it looks a bit like an unusual mole yeah that it really kind of depends on like yeah it, it can definitely look just like a just like a mole yeah quite heavily depends on the individual though you will be forced to endure the light oh what is that skin points goal oh, oh that's for stream raiders um that's for stream raiders. When there are enough purchases of my stream raider skins, I unlock the ability to have another one designed. But yeah, that's a separate game uh, that's about to start after I try not to die from this. The extra two could be on your elbow. Wouldn't that be more weird and unfortunate though, dude? Like, how would, like, what about, like, well fitted, like, tailored shirts and stuff, button downs? They wouldn't fit if you had an extra toe on your elbow. Extra toe wasn't on your foot then, maybe. No, okay. Buggy you then. Trespasser. Yes, off. You be forced to endure the light. I go all the way off. <laughs> Na 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 na. This is Stream Raiders. So you can see up the top there as well, the green circle, this is SP. There's a bar under there, but those are all my skins that I have, like the, the little animated things up next to my name. Um, so I've got my two flag bearers, then I've got a representative of like, I've, anything comes with a head skin, which is just the Fiamma head on the regular unit. And then I've got my full skins. Oh, excuse me. If it's not on your foot, is it still a toe? I mean, yeah. It would depend on the structure. So, um, medical professionals you will look at the. Ah! Tom, hello. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. How was your stream? What did you get up to? Um, a medical professional. It's kind of like when you have a metastasized cancer, as horrible as that is. If you look at the cancer cells, they will resemble even if even if they pop up on your face. If it's a metastasized liver cancer, it'll still look like liver cells that have been scraped from your face kind of thing. That's how that works. So if you've, I know there aren't, I know there's no such thing as a toe cell, but if the structure is the same, if you have the same kind of bones wrapped in the flesh in the same manner, the same shape, the same construct with little tendons and all that kind of stuff, then they could still call that a toe, even if it's popped up somewhere else. It would just depend on the medical professional's definition, I guess. But yeah, totally still a toe if it pops up somewhere else. Toes have different structures to fingers and stuff like that, so. Uh, Captain Mithril, Loza, Thor, Twin, Zam, Draz, and Cat. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done! Good job. Good job. Boss fight! Loyalty boss chest. Who wants boss stuff? Who wants boss stuff? I want boss stuff. Bonus scrolls, mod gold, all that kind of fun. Yeah, it was great. Let's place those units. Uh, those of you who have joined us with Tom, uh, if you haven't been here before, I am Fia. It is lovely to meet you. Uh, I am doing some leveling today in World of Warcraft as well as playing some Stream Raiders, as you can, oops, as you can potentially see. Um, 
We are two things. Two things I would love for you to do if you think that Tom is awesome and you think that Tom has made a good choice in coming here and saying hello um, is that you can contribute to our stream challenge, which is uh, completely free, of course. Underneath the chat box, there is a little uh, the purple fireplace. If you click that and you click the banner, you can contribute your embers, your channel points. Uh, we're looking to do a leveling stream next month, but only if we hit 100% today. So if you'd like to contribute to that, you are welcome to do so. We're only looking for like 6,000 more embers, which is really, really close. Stay a while and listen. The other thing, the second thing, is a little bit more effort. Uh, but I'm trying to make my way towards full-time content creatorhood dumbness ship stuff. Yes, good. So and the way I do that is by growing my social media reach. So if you wouldn't mind... Oh, look at that. Community challenge complete. You guys rock. Thank you very, very much. We will be doing a leveling stream in June. Amazing. Thank you for your contributions. Look at that, guys. We pulled through. We pulled... We had... There, we, there was some worry. But we pulled through. I'm trying to become a full-time content creator, and the way that I'm doing that is by expanding my social media reach. So if you wouldn't mind checking me out on Instagram, having a look there, seeing if you like what you see, and if you do like it, maybe throw me a follow. I would not be opposed to likes, comments, etc. either, um, but the follow is the big thing, and the follow is free and low effort, so that's totally fine if that's where you would like to stop. Um, but yeah. I've also got a bunch of other ones if you'd like. There's a Twitter, there's a Facebook, there's a TikTok, there's a Discord, but entirely up to you, of course. Nothing is required. You are able to just enjoy the stream if you so desire. How are you, Tom? Let me scroll up. I think you said something and I missed it. Uh, um, the problem probably have a total of five shirts that have long sleeves. Yeah, I know, but like, what if you needed them in future? Ah, oh, in a patient waiting. Hey, regulars, I did a thing. Ooh, did you? Ah, oh, right, there. yep, good. Hello, Ken, welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. Uh oh, indeed. <laughs> That's Seeker. That's a Seeker. Hmm. How is the volume? Tom probably can't understand this. All right. Uh, she was good. Going to run off and rest. No time to let my monitor over. Hope this reaches you. Hope you have a great stream. Thank you, Tom, and thank you so much for the raid. I hope you rest fantastically well, and we will see you next time. We'll see you next time. Mm, want any stuff? Of course. We'll follow that link. Stream captain. The stream captain bot drops a link at stream raiders exclamation SR or exclamation battle. We'll get you there too. Follow the link. Log in with your Twitch account. And you can drag and drop the units to the battlefield and participate. And then you get bonus shit sometimes at the end of stream. Ah, uh, end of stream. End of the battle. In the name of the game you play from time to time. It is. It is indeed. Oh, mission complete. Yas. Well done, Sam, with the final drop. Nailed it. Indeed, my embers. It is a good cause. It is. It is. I mean, you all have been on me for six, like 50, 60s. So. <laughs> Thank you for the pities. Amazing. Thank you for the video, Seeker. Um, I still need more fucking anima. Where am I going? Where are the things? I'm way out of the realm of the quest now. Oh, look, there's one. Uh... Woo! Challenge completed, indeed! It was a little quiet, a bit quiet, I know. Um, you're in a bed now, rest well, Mithril. See you next time. Hello, Barry! How are you? Welcome back! How are you doing? Lovely, lovely human. And thank you for the cast command for Tom. Sorry, I totally missed that. I just realized I didn't actually say thank you. Much appreciated. Definitely go follow Tom if you haven't already. And uh, thank you again, Tom, for the raid. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Good. Oh, you're so welcome. 
You're so welcome. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. That's really awesome. Um. Mm, we're gonna screw camera drama. Yeah, how goes the camera? Have you, are you like cam free streaming or have you gotten your hands on another one or what's, what's the dealio? That's a really good question. Thank you, Seeker, for remembering stuff that my brain is bad at. Appreciate you. <laughs> the, I swear to God, it does matter to me. I promise. I just, my brain is crap. So, <laughs> and it often gets me in like a lot of trouble. So there's that. Where the hell? I need four more goddamn enema. Wait till I can afford a big gill camera. Ah, brilliant! Being YouTuber that moves and talk. Amazing. Amazing. That's super cool. Fancy a chin oh, I'm so I'm so glad you found a solution that works for you until you're able to upgrade. That's really awesome. That's good. Mm. Yes, Colin De Brain, correct. Yes, well done, Sam. On your singular coin. Uh, again. Good job. To what do I owe the pleasure? Fancy a chin wag? I was honestly, I'm, I'm kind of shocked that we managed to finish that leveling stream goal. That's huge. That's so awesome. But it does look like I've hit the nail on the head with like, I, I did expand the number of embers that it needs to fulfill, but I think I've done a good job there. Because it is, it actually does require a bit of work to get there now, which before it was just super easy. So I'm glad with that. I'm happy. Ah, uh, dearie me. Round number of coins per minute or two. Brilliant, love it. Intense, whatever. Um, steak. I have a steak that is mostly finished. It's delicious and delightful. Hmm. It's very tasty. The pieces are falling into place. Need a little more time. Mm hmm. Almost there. Almost to sixty. It's done. The mirror is complete. If you still have business to attend to, I understand. Until we meet again, my friend. Oh wait. Hmm. <sighs> Staying out on a Monday. Brilliant. Oh shit. is a good idea. I believe this is Revendreth finished.
you know, the last couple of flat paths and then going back to uh, reinforcing Grip and Dreth. My players is now most able to prep to now. This is the rest of the cooking. <clears throat> As it starts to cool down, I need to pull out the slow cooker so that we don't have to cook at all. We <laughs> just dump everything that's pre-chopped into the slow cooker and then just leave it all day and then dish it up whenever we get hungry. I spend at least half my time just idling. Oh, I do. I do, but um, the thing, like when I'm off stream, I do. When I'm on stream, the only time I idle is when I get really caught up with the conversation or I'm trying to catch up on chat or something, which fair, but um, if I'm not organized, I'll get nothing done. I have very limited playtime. I mean, I stream a lot and I game while I'm streaming, but that's it. I don't have time outside of stream to game. So like having that outside pressure of we are looking for entertainment on top of my playtime really helps me like stay on task and get shit done. It's, it's really helpful. It's kind of like accountability buddies, except slightly different <laughs> but yeah i mean like i have i have often encouraged people like if you're looking to get the most out of your game time like while i'm streaming if you have if you're able to game while i do on stream do whatever i'm doing with me if it's something that interests you like if you've been like ah oh, i've been meaning to farm those mounts do it on monday do do mount farm monday with me oh, i really really should go and get those extra pets when I'm doing a pet stream, do it at the same, like, use that as inspiration. Like, it's, yeah, it, I, I'm, some people have told me that that helps, others obviously don't, and sometimes I'm going to stream an activity that you have zero interest in, and that's okay too. There's no issue with that whatsoever. But if, you, if the stuff I'm doing does interest you, maybe it'll help push people to do that activity for a little bit, uh, just to achieve whatever their personal goals are. And hey, if I can help people, then that's like... That's one of the really rewarding things for me personally. It's one of my um, one of my core values is connection, uh, like making those connections with people and then exchanging, you know, all of the things that you exchange in a in a one on one kind of deal. Uh, but it's also helping in any any way. Like sometimes I might actually get in there like I did with Seeker and, you know, Seeker was already in ZM and so was I and I was trying to get some rares down and Seeker needed rares so I got Seeker on the back of my mount and we went flying. Uh, so that's like, you know, hands on helping. What are you- oh, for God's sake. Oh, I hate this sometimes. Um, but then other times it's like, I might be talking about an experience that I've had and someone goes, huh, I experienced all that kind of stuff, but I never thought of that as a potential answer. I should ask about that next time I have an appointment with my medical professional and see if that's a possibility for my circumstance. So that's like super, super indirectly helping. Um, but yeah, it all, it all fills my cup, you know, makes me feel happy. Um, right. So reinforcing rubber death. <clears throat> Yeah, it's uh, sometimes, it must just be Revendreth that uh, Zygo has some hiccups with, because it doesn't seem to work like that, but oh well. Um, I do this also, it's enjoying the experience, accountability buddies, yeah, absolutely. The only reason I got flying in ZMs quickly was to see them for helping me ATT, it's on cooldown. Um, wonderful advice, aw, thank you. Thank you. Killed all the things because she suffered the dead ones. It gives me spoons. It does. It really does. Like, um, even, even super, super, super indirectly when people, you know, if they've had a bit of a rough day and they come hang out in stream and they leave stream more chilled or more relaxed or slightly happier than they were when they got here. Like, that's, that's fucking goals, man. Fucking goals, you know? So yeah, it's uh but yeah, that's exactly the way to put it, Barry. It gives me it gives me spoons. Spoons are so important. Good god. I've had no spoons all weekend. Excuse me. 
It's been so bad this whole weekend. I've slept so much. I, I feel like I had some kind of invisible illness. You know, like, you know, there are people who are sick and they're like constantly sneezing and coughing and they're just, you can see that they're sick as sick, like so, so sick. Uh, and I didn't feel like that, but I have just felt like trash and I've slept so much and I just, I have to be sick. It's got to be, I've got to be sick. There's no other explanation, uh, but that's all right. <laughs> Not much I can do. Subsequently, I've moved my gear score from 165 to 229. That is a huge jump, Sika. That's awesome. I get to 240. A raid with chat pals. Not 140, 240. Uh, so, before I haven't been just streaming, one of the times I've been over 10 years, wouldn't have still been playing communityism. Aw, thank you, Rel. I feel the same way. Like, community is super, super awesome here. I would be nothing without my community. Like, anyone can, anyone can be a streamer, but you need a like in in order to to for me personally like success one of the definitions of success is having a, a great community that you're proud to be a part of or happy to be a part of and i'm definitely this is where i belong you know and i don't i haven't often had that feeling in my life in my 32 years but i belong here which is why i want to make it full time because it's, it just feels so right it feels like I'm in the right place, doing the right thing with my time. It just feels so right. And I would love to be able to do it more. <laughs> but time, time and time and effort and work and stuff. And we'll get there, we'll get there. Uh, Spoon is what I'm really, really kind with laughter. Uh, Spoon theory. So um, the idea is like uh, each individual person, when you wake up in the morning, you have X number of spoons. Let's take, let, let's say 10, for example. Um, you, you wake up in the morning and you have 10 spoons. Um, you uh, take a shower, brush your teeth, that's one spoon. Uh, you forgot to do food prep, or you don't usually do food prep, and so you have to make breakfast from scratch, that's two spoons. If you'd had a breakfast, you could just grab and go. Probably wouldn't be anything, but two spoons. Uh, you get through your workday, you love your job, but it is still an effort, so it's maybe like three spoons for the day. But then you have an encounter with a colleague that really doesn't go super well, and you get a little bit stressed out, so it takes an extra spoon, so it's four spoons for the day instead of three. And then you get home and you play some video games with some of your favorite people. That gives you a spoon back, etc., etc. So um, the idea is that each day you would spend your spoons and you'd end on like zero, maybe one, maybe two if you've had an easier day. But sometimes you end up on negative. So let's say you end up on negative one spoon this day because it was a bit of a it was a rough day. You weren't super prepared for it, you weren't expecting it, and so you end up on negative one spoon. You just feel really drained and exhausted. The next day when you wake up, you don't have 10 because you ended yesterday with negative one. So today you start with nine, but it's another rough day. So you spend your 10 spoons plus the negative one, so you end up on negative two. The next day you wake up with eight spoons. And eventually, if you keep overextending like that, one day you wake up with zero spoons, but you still have to get through your 11 spoon day. You're fucked. <laughs> You are totally and utterly screwed. Uh, and it, yeah, it was originally, it was originally coined as a way to explain chronic illness to people who just genuinely do not get it. They don't understand how it could possibly be hard to just get up, go to work and come home. Why is that so bloody difficult? Well, for you, waking up, having a shower, brushing your teeth might be one spoon. There are some days for me where that's three spoons. So just those simple daily tasks could be a whole lot more difficult. There are some streams that I have that give me back three or four spoons. There are some streams I have, I end up negative four, five, six spoons because it's a rough day. I have a whole lot of trolls, a whole lot of people attacking my looks or my, my beliefs or whatever it happens to be. And it's just really rough and it really takes it out of me. Um, but on an easier day, Shower and brushing my teeth could be fine, could be nothing. Some days it's a little bit harder because I have you know, chronic illness symptoms and stuff like that, which makes it harder to get through those everyday tasks. So that's that spoon theory. So when, when you're saying, look, I don't have the spoons for that, it's a really nice, gentle way of saying, I do not have the energy to participate in this activity today. Whereas giving something like, you know, oh, that gives me spoons. It's that fills my cup. That makes me feel energized. It gives me back stuff to like, it, it helps me deal with whatever else is going on in my day. Yeah. It's a really easy way to explain it when the other person knows what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> but it is, it's very much a thing in like chronic, so like, 
chronic illness circles and stuff uh, and some of the like mental health circles and stuff have started sort of adopting the, the terminology as well but if you're not part of those circles I can totally understand how you may just never have heard of it before uh, and that's okay you don't know until you're told right you don't know until you know what the hell are you doing Zygor stop it stop it for goodness sake <laughs> I'm just going to stop there for a minute, because <laughs> Torghast doesn't really need a guide. Mm, you build I know, I know, I know, I know, but like, I didn't build it by myself, Rel. That's the big thing. Like, I, I absolutely started it off myself with like a couple of people I knew in that and I, I attracted a few people at the time. I still I still have attracted people over time, but I would suggest that the vast majority of people who are here currently, they may have come in because they saw me somewhere or something like that and then they engaged with me, but what's really kept them coming back is the engagement with the community as well as with me. I genuinely feel that you guys play an active role in retaining viewership. So it is it I started it, but you guys helped me continue it. Exactly do you require? So you should absolutely take credit for that. Uh mental mission measurement, uh look up spin theory. I mean, as Jeff said, literally any gear at that point was gonna raise my score. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyone can start streaming, take needs a plan or what you want to do, what your machine's capable of. Mental health looks like an autoimmune thing. Uh, chronic illness in general, not just autoimmune, but yeah, it has definitely been taken on by the mental health thing, uh, mental health circles as well. Because I mean, like, sometimes mental health can behave like a chronic illness. It's it's a thing. Um, can I link a vid for Spoon Theory? Uh, you won't be able to, like, you physically unable to, but you can send it to a moderator. Um, but and the mod can, or you can drop it in Discord, either or. But you can definitely send it to a mod, and they can post it. Um. Oh, you as well. I'm not a programmer, no, I'm going to speak in my niche. Yes, absolutely. It sounds like decision fatigue, only knifey spoon yourself. Um, kind of, but it's not necessarily about making decisions, Krause. You don't need to necessarily make the decision to have a shower, or make the decision to brush your teeth, or make a decision to go to work. Decision fatigue is more about what am I going to wear today? What am I going to have for breakfast today? What will I have at lunch at work? Which of these meetings will I go to? Which project deadline will I work towards? Like those kind of actual decisions between A and B or A, B, C, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas this is literally about just doing anything. Just do it. Even if your food has been prepped, even if you know what breakfast you're going to have, taking the stuff out of the fridge and actually making it is still going to cost you more spoons than grabbing a pre-made bucket. Does that make sense? But yeah, it's, it's similar, but there are some key differences explanation you're missing a few things no i know i know i am it was designed as a complete neutral introduction for someone who's literally never heard of it before uh never thought of it like that I was one of those people never mind she's getting the parts i mentioned what a good gal yeah yeah i i always start with a really basic and then layer things on top of it like that's the best way of learning for me so i figure it works pretty well for other people as well you gotta get the get the basics before you start making it a little bit more complicated um uh, the people who didn't understand spoons not when I was trolling. No, 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 of course, of course. Uh, I need to be about spoons, currently shopping for spoons. It's just a good timing and need my cereal and yogurt. Yes. Zygor is out of spoons. Zygor is having a time. <laughs> yeah, remember 15 years ago, might have helped me not have my nervous breakdown. Makes me so happy these things exist now. I might save others from going through. Spread the dollar, just spread the love. Look, it, it, the theory has been around for like over a decade now. So it may well have been around 15 years ago, but having having a way to explain it doesn't necessarily prevent it from happening. This is the thing. This is just a way to be able to explain it, not a preventative strategy. It is a way to help explain to somebody else instead of like, oh, I, I don't have the energy to come and see you today. I, I don't really want to come out and, oh, you don't want to come see me? No, 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 no. I do want to see you. I just... I'm, I'm exhausted, I'm really tired, well, why aren't you going to bed then? How is it that you're always this tired? Like, it's it's to be able to explain it to other people. It does not prevent the breakdown in any way, shape, or form. What's up? Chuck it. Chuck it. One chuck it. <laughs> Give me that one back and you can have a row. <laughs> oh. 
Ah, uh, I don't know what any of these do. Let's go with that one. Hmm. Do you like? Of course, Barry. Enjoy your luck. We'll see you soon. Have fun. I don't know if should be there, but oh, yay, pal! Welcome on in. I hope you're having an awesome day, by the way. From our ADHD, she knows she needs to chill things all the way around. Perfect. What is this? Aw, oh, thank you. It's not always. Sometimes I yell. Sometimes I get mounts. <laughs> Sometimes I have to apologize to the headphone users because I got a mount and I yelled. So just be warned. That is the thing that happens. Welcome in. Came for the steak, stayed for the dessert mentality. Yep, absolutely. Always. I mean, we are very heavily food oriented here. Uh, while we're talking about attracting people, Fia needs to do some attracting people to her social media. Following is free and support streamers expanding their reach, increasing visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. You can find all my link uh, profiles there. Good. Thank you so much, Sigi. But yes, um, if you are enjoying my content and you would like to see me succeed and grow and do all the fun stuff, please do consider following me on socials, particularly Instagram. It is legitimately a, a huge thing, like a, a really huge thing. It really helps. Uh, that works. <clears throat> Are you listening? Absolutely. Very glad. Uh, okay, yes, we'll go here because it's a dead end. Um, does this fatigue like the term analysis paralysis because it rhymes? Absolutely. Well, see, analysis paralysis and decision fatigue are also very slightly different. Um, so analysis paralysis is, oh my god, there are too many options. How am I ever going to possibly decide? I'm afraid of, like, you know, fear of missing out or what if I pick the wrong thing, etc., etc. Whereas decision fatigue is, I have made too many decisions today. I literally cannot make another choice. I'm I'm done. I'm finished. I cannot do this. Um, so again, kind of similar, like similar sort of basis in that it's exhausting and all that kind of thing, but different actual playing out of stuff and things. But yeah, I am I am a big sufferer of uh, analysis paralysis. Um, which is why anytime there is a tasting platter on the menu, guess what I am ordering? Yes. <laughs> Cause that way I don't miss out on any of the flavors on the menu. I get to try everything. A little bit of everything. Uh, I came for chair and saved for chair, but fear is okay too. <laughs> Jess needs to not sneak. He's very good at sneaking. He is a sneaky sneaky. Hi, Zim. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. You there. Be squished. All right, so that's these rooms cleared. On to the next one. Oh, oh okay. Whew. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Where did I come from? That way. All right, so we'll go up this way. And then out again. And over to here. Take these out. And you can do the battle. Mm-hmm. 
How's the challenge going? Uh, yeah, not too bad. We're at 59, level 59, and I'm at 90%. So I'm very close. I'm in Torghast at the moment, because I figured this would be, um, instead of starting questing through Maldraxxus, this would probably be a faster way to get just that little bit of XP. Uh, and then I might as well start on another tune, hey? Because I'm not going to get to 50 if I stop at 9. Uh, Twin, Loza, Silver, Cat, Aelin, and Demon. Congratulations to all of you on your friendship. Well done. Good job. How about that challenge? Oh. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. In Torture Gas. Ah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Oh, look. I can get all of them. Token, gold, and skins. That's what we are going to do. Ah, yay, Twin. Congratulations. Well done. Meant to ask what Drake would be writing. Ah, uh, Infinite Time Reaver. The one that drops from random time walking dungeons from any of like any boss in any dungeon can drop it as long as it's a time walking dungeon. Um, all right. This one. Button push. Oh, they started all down. Thank you. <laughs> what do you care as you go soon to us? Oh, my little dear. I will feel I must be any more sick. Oh, Seeker. I'm so sorry to hear. That's, that sucks. Oh, dear. Uh, Alright, so I think I'm done. There you can get enough rest to pass it, pass it, of course. Hot eyeball feeling, but your mum, yeah, basically. Ah, oh dear. Not the ever loving what. It might just be like burning eyes, Dupor might be like a way of describing a, a headache that focuses around this side, like this area and stuff like that. Like, you know how everyone kind of has their own special way of describing how they feel at any one time? Um, yeah.
Next one. It sounds horrible. Agreed. Agreed. Nice one. You should have specialized when I was getting that secret. Oh dear. Almost there. Almost there. I just got to hear this explain how I was feeling at the time I came from Lord of the Rings. I feel thin, sort of stretched, like butter scraped over too much bread. That is a really good descriptive hair. Is old though. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I feel 111 sometimes, dude. I might be 100. Yeah, right. Oh lord. <laughs> Thank you, Zico. Dropping that socials link. Nice segue, absolutely. Absolutely. Feverish first symptom for me is feeling like my eyeballs have a fever. Ah, odd sensation I assume everyone experienced it when getting sick. That's so weird. God, isn't it amazing how, how differently our individual bodies interpret the same kind of signals? It's amazing. and interprets badly. Love it. Love it. Perfect. 
almost there. Hey, Seeker, do you want to pop up a poll? Um, what covenant should my next leveling tune be? Venthyr, Nightfay, or Kyrian? I've already got, like, I've got more Necrolords than everything else, so Venthyr, Nightfay, or Kyrian. <clears throat> what class? That comes later. I've got my grid set up so I have 16 tunes, so one in each covenant of each armor type. So if you pick the covenant, then we can pick the armor type and that'll tell me what class. <clears throat> I'm organized. <laughs> this is what I do. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yes. Spreadsheet love. Oh, it's the uh the safe in quotations floor. No, to our next transaction. Okay. Position created is. It is. To be a prediction report. Ah. Oh. What was it done as? It was meant to be a poll. Um, <laughs> how does one do an organized? Good question. I don't know. How, I I don't know how I've managed to do it, but occasionally it just sort of happens. I like spreadsheets. Maybe it starts with an enjoyment for spreadsheets. Good afternoon, Exo. Hello. It is indeed. Oh, we did it as a prediction. Oh no. Oh no. Oh uh, no. Um can I delete prediction and return points. Perfect. Alright, so poll. Uh so poll is the one with the bars rather than the uh the magic ball thing. Uh spreadsheets you'll excel at work. Yep, yeah, enjoyment for spreadsheets. Indeed. Indeed. Spreadsheets are an amazing way to like organize your data and stuff. Super good. Um. This is one of those really big labyrinthian levels. That's fine. Let's try this. 
Let's see if we can figure out where we're going. Enjoy alert, cap. We're getting closer. We're almost 60. Jar is looking pretty full. I know, right? So many subs today. Like all the gift subs and all that kind of stuff as well. And I'm pretty sure a tier like tier two and tier three subs drop more sub badges into the pot. Rather than just like the one for tier one. So that's fun. Should we be sure if something happened to it? Oh, it's gonna be something pretty heavy. It's gonna have to be something pretty heavy to make it explode because those subs are really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, thank you so much for the biddies, and I am so sorry that you didn't realize what was going to happen there. Oh. <laughs> Subs are really heavy because they're valuable. Yeah. I'm pretty sure each of those sub badges is about as heavy as a 500 bit cheer because they're like same sort of like similar worth, I think. But I don't remember exactly. I'm so sorry for the disappointment. <laughs> Oops! Indeed, I'm gonna do with the one million. But no, my God, that would be so expensive. But I very much appreciate the videos, regardless. Very, very much, Lee. Uh, all right, let's do. There we go. Poll is up. Help decide which character I Neville I Neville next. Good. Level next. Why is there a trap right in front of a door like that. That makes no sense. Okay, sure. Whatever. Never lexed, exactly. Yep, her body's perfect. Yes? Mm. 
Well, they exploded. Good. <laughs> Noted. Mm, Pat Nagel, Harris Pilton. Yeah. All the references. So it's a tie between Venthyr and Night Fae. Was that a very almost a three-way tie? No, okay, not even close. That's fine. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Always check the saddle. Indeed. <clears throat> oh, so sniffly. The later it gets, the more my sinuses feel like they're just trying to detach from the inside of my head. <laughs> Good. Fantastic. We should be a tie again. Oh yeah. If it is, I'll just pick, but uh sometimes eliminating an option will make it not a tie. Sometimes. Where are my shoulders? Yep. Yeah. I know, right? Still in one piece. Goodbye, my friend. At least now my pain will garner some profit. Onward. And they reign supreme. Oh, there's still a little while left on that pole. Still a little while left on the pole. Not much, but some. <clears throat> we are like this close to 60. In fact, this kill might might make a sting. Everything is negotiable. Your patronage is always appreciated. Goods and services for sale. Remember. Hmm, Venthia. Fantastic. All right, so. Shorter pole this time. Let's 
do this. <clears throat> Excuse me, that is very rude. Absolutely. Actually, I'm probably going to let him cast that because I'm pretty sure those more rats would have exploded and done damage to him. Oh well, next time. Oh, is that not what it does? Oh no, it's just the it's just the debuff. Right, okay. Level 60. Leather. Brilliant. Alrighty. I have. It's not bad. Nine level 60s. Nine of them. And the next one up. The next one up is a demon hunter. Uh, alrighty. There we go. <clears throat> Thank you for the grats. Uh, what have been your favorite class? Class type to level. Um, my main mage. Um, it's my favorite class. Uh, that's what I've mained since I started playing 15 and a bit years ago. Uh, but melee are quite easy. Like, I, I find them fast at a level, uh, except rogues. Uh, so, like, Feral Druid, uh, Windwalker Monk, um, Demon Hunter, that kind of thing. Melee, like, quick melee that aren't squishy, uh, I find to be the fastest to level. But the fa fastest doesn't always mean most enjoyable. Like, I enjoy playing my mage more than anything else, so... That's why it's my main. Hope that makes sense. All right, I am going to head back to the garrison and I'm gonna switch over. Ugh. I do this thing in her background, she always end up eating the bag. Fair enough. Um, thank y'all. I love the 60s. Yeah, so I have nine of them now. Nine level 60s. Ah, ah, ah. And through Venthia and Leather, you have chosen Demon Hunter. Bum, bum, bum. Any 60s for Dragonflight? Not nearly enough yet. Not nearly enough yet. <sighs> Da 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 da. Do you I'm think you have any 69? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with how I'm going, I think. Not fantastically, but also not terribly. Depending on what they announce as a launch date for Dragonflight, I might have to 
actually put some real time into doing like leveling streams like every week or something. But uh, for now, I think we're doing all right. For now, I think we're doing all right. Are you enjoying the weekly Ember challenges to unlock content for next month? Or do we think that fewer people are contributing because it's starting to get boring? I know the interests of Twitch are fleeting. So I'm curious as to what your individual thoughts are. You don't have to think about what other people think. You can tell me your own personal opinions. I'm 100% happy with that. <clears throat> na, 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 na. Is there any reason why you're leveling them all or just for fun? Um, little bits here and there. Like, so I had them all at 50 because of uh, Lovers in the Air. They had to be a minimum of level 50 to get the heartbreak amount. I still didn't get it, but that's okay. I did 50 attempts every day for 15 days, and I'm pretty proud of that effort. Uh, but by the time the next expansion comes around, by the time we have Dragonflight, when there's a Lovers in the Air, the minimum level requirement to get the Heartbreaker will be 60 instead of 50 because it's always max level from the previous expansion, right? So, um, I'm, I'm going to have to do it at some point anyway. I might as well do it now. And I do enjoy leveling as well. So it is, it is for fun too. Plus more attempts at, at uh, mounts and transmog runs, if it's like, especially if it's raids, like weekly lockout, stuff like that. Um, the higher the level they are, the more content they can solo. So going back and doing Legion raids, like the end expansion Legion raids, really difficult on a 50, much easier on a 60. Uh, so yeah, it well, depending on the class, of course. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's a few different reasons, but... Uh, I also enjoy it. Like, if I didn't enjoy it, none of the other reasons would matter for me personally. I'm enjoying them good. Time walking would also help with leveling. I know, I know. I mean, I was doing that, but I'm trying to also get all the things from time walking as well. Uh, so when they pop up, I spend a stream doing one on each tune to try to get the maximum number of badges. Eventually I won't have to do that. Eventually there won't be any more things to buy with badges. So, you know. And embers that I, faster than I currently am. Yeah, I can't unfortunately do anything about that. That is set in stone by Twitch. I learned why, um, a little while ago, but I think it's, uh, it might be a like an NDA thing. I think it might be covered by my NDA. So I can't, yeah, but um, yeah, that those kind of things are set in stone by Twitch. Uh, we can't do anything about that. But of course, uh, tier two, tier three earn uh, embers at a faster rate. So that is an option, but that's not an option for everybody. And I understand that. And there's no pressure to do any of that kind of stuff. Uh, Draz, Rel, Twin, Overlord, Ali, and Kat. Congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Good job. Good job. Let's jump into here. Yeah, have a sound command to pay for. That makes sense. Yes, Guild doesn't have any rogues to title of a rogue. Totally fair. Playing video games for fun and enjoyment. Crazy person. I know, right? What even? Who Who am I? Who do I think I am? Uh, yeah, but no. It's, uh, life is too short to play video games that aren't fun. Like, <laughs> I understand, like, doing a job that maybe is not particularly fun in order to get money to pay for the things that are fulfilling and stuff like that, but paying to do something you are not, like, no. No. May you find your faith. Absolutely not. <sighs> May the purpose guide you. Mm, can you lower the max embers per stream and the goal? No. I can lower the goal. So we did have it at 250,000 for a while there, but it was being achieved too easily, too quickly. Uh, so I bumped it up to 300. And that's as of this month, it's been 300. And I'm liking that it ha it is actually taking a more active, concerted effort to get it there. That is the intention. Um, and as the, as the viewer base is growing, more people are there to contribute embers, which means it will fill up the bar faster. Uh, so yeah, it makes sense for me to up that number. I cannot change the number that you can put in each stream. 
that is that is out of my control. I should have some was anything I missed the context today. Oh, um, so Dupe was saying that they wanted to earn embers faster, and I said the only way to do that is to up your tier of sub. Tier two earns faster than tier one, and tier three earns faster than tier two. It's the only way to increase it. Uh, but I know that that's not an option for everybody, and that's totally okay. Totally okay. There is no pressure. I'm just giving, I'm providing factual information. Hear the words of the Arbiter. All right, Reverend Dreth, let's go. Speak, mortal. All will be judged fairly. Yeah, it seems like it wants you to do them in a specific order, which is why Revendreth seems to be a bit buggy at the end. It wants you to do Revendreth last, the guide. Um, so that makes sense as to why it gets a bit funky at the end. Uh, it feels rude to not contribute my embers, even if I'm not interested in it. No, no, not at all. If it's something you don't want, that is that is data that helps me. If, if, a, if a goal fails, chances are it's because people don't want to see that kind of content, and what? so I won't put it as a goal again. You know, like it's, it, that's valuable information. So if you don't want something, if you don't want to see that kind of content, then you don't have to contribute to it. If there are people who write, like don't really care either way, and there are enough people who want it to drum up the interest and to remind people to contribute, then it will get there eventually anyway. It will just take more work. And if the work isn't put in, then we won't get there and it just won't happen and that's okay. There's one pushing out on the string goals. Voice mods for others seem to be my thing recently. It would reach their goals if mods didn't actively encourage people to do the thing. Um, sometimes. Sometimes. It it depends. Uh, some of the goals get filled really, really quickly and others don't so much. Um, but a lot of the time people forget that it exists. And so the reminder that it's there in case people want to contribute, it's extremely hidden. Like, unless you actively go into your channel points to look for it, or you see somebody else contribute, there is no prompt when you join a stream that, hey, by the way, there's a goal going on. Uh, so it is quite hidden unless you look for it, or unless, like if you're lurking and you're not actually watching chat, then you'll never know it's there unless I say something. Um, so like, Yes and no. The other the other side of that is that if we don't talk about it, the people who do actively want it may not realize it's there. They may forget about it. They may not see it. They might not contribute, but if they had seen it, oh boy, not only would they have contributed, but they'd be drumming up support themselves if they knew about it. So yeah, it's it's a tricky balancing act. And next week you won't say a thing about stream goal. I encourage people to follow on Instagram. Yeah, subside as if I'm not lurking. I won't get embers. Yeah. Yep. And they watch on Sundays. Can't earn that much because of the Aussie time thing. Usually sleeping or working on other days. Kind of sucks. Fantastic. Chill stream. Get higher than living. Of course, of course. Well, look, you you can earn more. Um, depending on how you have your stuff set up. So this is this is the thing. If you're the kind of person that leaves your PC on 24/7, even when you're not home and stuff, you can leave the browser window open. And it'll it'll sit there. The only time you'd have to check it, um, the only time you'd have to check it is if um, like you've come home and I've had a stream and I've raided. It will have sent you there, so you'd have to reset it back to my channel. And then next time I go live, you're already there and you'll start accruing instantly. You don't have to talk in chat to accrue members. You can just lurk, uh, and also it helps boost my viewer numbers, of course, because it's it's a thing. Uh, you can do that for any. Um, for for any streamer that you want to support. Um, but <laughs> if you're not the kind of person who leaves your PC on 24-7, that's totally fine. Excuse me. Your other option is um, if you work in the kind of workplace where you're allowed to have, uh, like, earbuds in, you're allowed to listen to music or whatever it happens to be, if I'm streaming while you are at work, uh, you can, the Twitch app on the phones 
has an audio only mode so that you can conserve data. So you don't, there's no video. You can see chat if you open the phone, but you can lock it blank screen and just listen in to what's going on. And that way you, I mean, you know, obviously you may be tempted to pick up the phone and engage because it's a thing, but if you're at work, you can pop the phone away and, and just listen. Uh, and of course that will earn you embers because you are still lurking. Uh, but of course there are other, there are jobs where you can't do that either. So it really is like a personal sort of how you feel comfortable and what you can do kind of thing. But there are, there are definitely options there. Definitely options. I'll be actively around here, that too. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, I leave my PC on 24 seven, uh, but just doesn't. He shuts his down every night and leaves it on off overnight and then turns it on when he gets home from work kind of thing. Well, sometimes he does stuff in the morning, but then he shuts it down while he's at work and then turns it back on again. Um, and I mean, look, it's a habit. If you've, if you've lived in a place with nosy people who mess with your shit occasionally, then it's absolutely a thing. Like you turn off your stuff. Um, but I've always had places where people don't mess with my stuff. And so, yeah, but it's... Uh, Definitely personal preferences and uh, personal capabilities as well. And it's totally okay if there are things you can't do. That's fine. No issue whatsoever. Uh, Windows L. Ah, oh dear. Ah, I wish electricity bill leave mine on 24-7. What? Are you joking? It ups my electricity bill by like maybe... Okay, like not even 10 bucks. PCs are not super electricity intensive. <laughs> um, like I, I use more electricity for like cooling or heating or like the dishwasher and, and the fridge and stuff. PCs really don't use that much electricity. Like can confirm, have experimented where I turned my PC off completely every time I wasn't using it and the electricity bill barely changed. Room wipes wet hands on things. Oh god. No, he knows I would be very unhappy with that. Touch my several hundred dollar tech with wet? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So I'm gonna both my computers 24-7 down. I'd see much electricity a difference on the electric bill. Yeah, it's it's a very, very small change. Like things don't use nearly as much electricity as people might think. There's a lot of, um, like, I know my, like, my parents, um, well, dad didn't really care. Dad had, like, seven or eight PCs that he was running 24-7, but he also did that for a job. Uh, mum was the whole, turn lights off when you leave the room, it costs too much electricity, and, and all that, it, it just doesn't. It, it simply just doesn't. I think it's that previous generation, especially when they're grown up in like, like post-war time when everything was conserve, 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 like you must ration literally everything. So my grandparents lived during that kind of period where you had to like protect everything as much as they could. And then they passed that on to their kids where, we, where they didn't have much tech to use, but they knew to conserve. So it, you know, and, but then that somehow passed on to like our generation, but it's just not a thing. There are some appliances that use a hell of a lot more power than others do, um, but computers are not one of them. Unless you're running it to like render, <laughs> like blockbuster movie, like, like, you know, you know, like AAA games except movies, you know, that kind of, if you're rendering movies 24 hours a day, seven days a week, yes, it's gonna chew through power. <laughs> but if you're not, you're not gonna. Especially if the computer is sitting there idle. If you're Bitcoin mining, firstly, fuck you. Secondly, yes, it's gonna chew through a lot of power. Uh, but no, it computers do not use much energy. Yeah, 
all day now. Back in the day with power chuggers nowadays, this was much more efficient. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. I am playing and I'm interacting with chat. I also have memory issues that prevent me from being able to play and memorize that many rotations. So, I mean, like, great for you. Awesome that you don't have physical limitations that prevent you from doing that kind of stuff. That's awesome. That's fantastic for you. Very, very happy you get to enjoy life to that level. Not all of us do. I would still like to be able to collect things across all the different classes and specs and stuff like that. And I don't tend to play in-group content with these macros, so doesn't affect you. Why does it matter to you? You shouldn't care. I hope you do have an awesome day, though. And I love you turned off not because of the shit over there. <laughs> over the lights, fair. Fair. See, I, I tend to turn lights off when I'm not in the room and stuff, uh, but it's it's mostly because like if there are like there are two people in the house and there are two rooms with lights on and so that must be where the two people are. You know, that kind of, I don't know, there's some kind of connection in my brain there that, but I certainly don't turn them off to save power, <laughs> that's for sure. Ooh, what am I? Oh, I'm carrying it already. Good. I live here people from the USA sometimes you're more worried about using power. I live in Iceland, so power is cheap. It might also be that their um like their power supply systems, like you know, the overhead power lines and all that kind of stuff, are just crap. And so they can't like they can't carry that much power. I mean, I know when we when we lost power because of the floods and the entire apartment building was running off one like little mini generator. We had to be really careful. We we couldn't run PCs. We couldn't run the the dryer. We could run the laundry, like the washing machine, but not the dryer. We we had to conserve as much as we could. But that was because if too many people used energy drawing stuff, the generator would fail, and we'd all we'd all be without power again. But that's that's a natural disaster. <laughs> like it's a little bit different. <laughs> little bit different. So I didn't stream. Um, we did have the PC on for a little while, uh, like watching some Netflix and stuff like that, uh, but not like no stream, no, no, like full on lights and all that kind of stuff. It was just, yeah, really super basic stuff. Um... Uh, protections on, can't see what's happening. Uh, yeah, if they're, they're posting it multiple times, dupe, they're trying to spam it, they're trying to get attention, just leave it. Uh, if we tell them that, they'll try to put it in with spaces in it so they can get around the lip protection, and that's not what we want. They're just, just, just people being assholes. Um, hello, Stan, welcome back. Hope you're having an awesome day. So many old Sue's, Hikili to help me with my rotations, so helpful. A lot of people use similar add-ons, so... That's awesome. Still turns lights, up, lights off, force a habit. Smart lights when visitors turn off our lights. It's annoying. <laughs> I like having lower light settings. Warm white irks me. Uh, we've just had another couple of bulbs in our lounge room go off. So we've got uh, like two ceiling lights that have two bulbs in each. Um, and they're all, they've all been warm white for like ages. And we had one in each blow a while back and then we've just had another one blow so now three out of four of them are dead and I'm like can we just take out the fourth one as well and replace all of them with cool light because <laughs> warm white just drives me batty I don't I have no idea why it's also really crap for content creation <laughs> it nothing looks right when you use like warm white bulbs it just it sucks I dislike it Oh, excuse me, I can't remember seeing the listen app or speak to Google. I mean, honestly, that's a fairly new development, Ali. Like, especially if they don't have that functionality in their own homes. <laughs> I cannot, I can't expect someone to learn that, especially when they're not having to do it every day. And especially when they've had, you know, 40, 50, 60 years of their life not doing something like that. I can't blame them. I, I would forget to. Yeah, you Google for things that are definitely not linked to any of that. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's amazing.
Nothing looks right when you use warm white. I know, but it's so true. It's it's beautiful and rhymey and, and sing song, but it's absolutely true. For every year, every time they come to visit, you know, this is the worst. My mum sometimes remembers. Yeah, but how often do they visit, Ali? I guarantee you, if I have to do something fewer than seven times a month, I will not remember it. Like... Why is my heal button not working? Oh, because i got to drink from the muck pool. God, I always forget that bit. I have to actually be close to the puddle to be able to do it. <laughs> like once a month or so. Yeah, that's 12 times a year. That... Why would they remember that? Like, nah. That's not gonna happen. What's the point where smart devices are meant to be intuitive? Yeah, but if you don't know that the smart device is installed. If you don't have a smart device at your home and you are used to, your muscle memory is, I'm leaving a room, there is a switch, click. Why the hell would you intuitively try to turn it off with your voice? It's not going to happen. That's just, that's not how human brains work. <laughs> Look at natural light panels for our houses look like skylight. New technology for lighting. It's like these, except they stick to the roof. I mean, they stick to the roof too. You've just got to have a suitable surface painted up there. Hello, OS. How are you going? Welcome back. Yeah, the nano leaves are beautiful. Like, they're so, so useful. No, oh, it's really cool. Looks like daylight in rooms. Very, very cool. So these ones have, um, like, obviously I can set them to pretty much any color, uh, but I can also, there's a, there's a white spectrum as well. So right from like warm through to cool and, and everything in between. And then of like your brightness as well. Like, so temperature and brightness. Um, I need to jump back in. I had to, I had an issue with them connecting and I had to wipe them and, and start over and when I did that I lost my I had uh like uh what's it called schedules like it goes a certain color at a certain time of night and then it turns on at a certain time in the morning and all this kind of stuff and you can cycle through so at certain times of the day it changed the, the temperature changes or the brightness changes or both or whatever uh, and I need to reset those up because they really helped, especially when I had the blinds down, they helped in waking me up at the right time uh, because the the white of the room, like the the illumina like illumination of the room would help wake me up. Um, I think I need to reset those up because it, I'm pretty sure it actually legitimately helped. Um, Oh, that is really cool. Looks like daylight rooms. Kids are worse for turning lights off. Daughter's bad for that. Leaves a lamp on when off to school. Yeah, it's, um... It is, it's interesting. But, like, a lot of the time it's not really necessary to, to turn stuff off. The, the, I mean, bulbs burn out faster. There are some bulbs that have, you know, every, every piece of technology has a life like a lifespan and bulbs usually are measured, their lifespans measured by like hours, how many hours they'll be turned on before they, so if you leave them on, they will, they will burn out faster or they will, they will die faster or whatever. But um, in terms of like energy consumption and stuff like that, so many of our bulbs these days are energy saving and all that kind of stuff. Um, so the only thing is you're going to be replacing them more often. Uh, but yeah, welcome on in Decay. I hope you're having an awesome day. I wonder if there is some kind of like psychology behind like kids having to remember a stupid really ridiculous amount of things like uh, like having all these tasks and then like, I mean as an adult I can barely keep track of half my shit um, I use electronic to-do lists and all this kind of stuff to remind me of some of the most basic shit uh, but I wonder if kids have less of a capability for remembering to do things and that's why they forget things like turning lights off and stuff I have no idea. I, I am not at all. I'm, I'm nowhere near being in this industry or anything like that, but I am kind of curious. Like, I wonder at what age we start developing the ability to remember more things and have 
routine and I mean I know that babies and stuff are, thrive on routine but that's not them doing stuff that's us doing stuff for them because they're incapable so hmm interesting interesting uh, I'm doing good how is wow right now I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it thoroughly Come on, just chat about the whole little lamp spinning out. Uh, totally not a thing, but I worry so would hate that. Um, oh, and they're often, like, they're not the bulbs that actually heat up either, so they're not going to cause, like, fires. Sometimes, not always, not always. But there are bulbs out there that don't get hot like that, which is good. They're a little more expensive, though. Um, is your daylight in your room just brood in the darkness like a normal person? Yeah, but I need to get up and be fucking productive. If I wake up too late, I don't get everything done, and then I can't become a full-time content creator, Zam. Like, this is this is endgame. This is everything I want is centered around having enough hours in the day to do shit, unfortunately. It really sucks, let me tell you, but it is what it is. I'm gonna get myself a new laptop in June. Fantastic. Fantastic. I have picked myself up a laptop just recently, like very recently, actually. Um, so that I can disconnect from my PC and, and do work stuff, do do my stream stuff and social media and all that kind of thing away from here. Because I do everything here. I work, I, I stream, I any of my leisure time, what little leisure time I have. I spend it all here in this chair at this PC. So I have my little baby lappy. Um, so I'm gonna be able to disconnect from my desk for a little bit, which will be fantastic. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. Ah, my new team phase is well over, Zim. Exciting. So far, so good. Birthday tomorrow, Queenie Smoking. Ah, oh, wonderful. Would like to pick your brain on streaming for starters. Yeah, sure. Not a worry. Go for it. Can't guarantee any of my information will be useful, but I can tell you what worked for me. And uh, if that works for you, then... Wonder ah, shit. I forgot to pick up the thing. God damn it. I always do this. All right. Uh, probably something, something pathways. We always good fun right now, to be honest. Don't get the negativity around it. Well, it's the negativity around it is from people who do very specific tasks and only those tasks in WoW. And once they're done with that, once they've cleared heroic reading and they have no interest in mythic, it gets boring. And so that's negative. Like, and that's, that's fine. But I do almost everything in the game. And so there's always something for me personally to do. So I'm always enjoying it. But, um, if that ever changes, then I'd probably stop playing. Uh, does this mean it's energy saving? Does it mean it's energy free? No, I know that. I, I'm, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I understand language and how the words work. Uh, right. Okay, I need to go back to Oribos because I'm messed up. Uh, a thousand people all turn off one light bulb each. That all adds up. Deciding that it just isn't worth it is both costing you money, also burning carbon, which doesn't need to be used. It costs me cents, literally. Cents. And me and, 10, and 999 other people turning off one light bulb for a day is nothing compared to the goddamn fucking corporations who burn enough as like 10 times my household's yearly energy expenditure in a day. Like, I'm sorry, like recycling stuff and making sure we reuse plastics and going green and, and it saving energy and less carbon and paying the the car you know the the carbon offset blah 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 blah. all of that shit is taking the responsibility off corporations and putting it on the fucking consumers when we can't even make decisions on what we want our stuff to come in in terms of packaging we can't make those decisions we don't have those options they are the ones that control those options and then put the onus on us for reversing the damage get fucked no no. <laughs> I will do what Stay I can when I can. Listen. Absolutely. But telling me that I should be turning off my light bulb to save myself one cent every year? No. Nah. No. Nah. That's not on me. Like, <laughs> it's, it is such a tiny difference. It's just, no. Nah. I agree that we should all be responsible. And we should all do what we can. And I do for the most part, but 
I have reasons to run my computer 24-7. Mostly because it's part of my business. And I think putting the onus on consumers is absolute utter crap. We as consumers should not be shamed when we make up single digit percentages of the energy expenditure. That's not okay. Yes, we are. Yeah, good point. <laughs> I mean, 50, 65 presets are on the pathway or threads of fate. Um, at the moment, I'm going threads of fate, but I could change my mind at any moment, really. I'm not like super tied down to anything in particular. Your patronage is always appreciated. There we go. The purpose oh, dear. is our way. I actually don't know where I'm supposed to be going. You find your fate. Okay, so I can fly down to that one. Alright. Usually it gives me there we go. It gives me the bouncy arrow. Useful. Um, how's Avra doing? Very well. Very well. Took 207 files off my phone today, which is tasty. Um, I've been setting up on the bed. I've been doing some uh, Peppercura folding for reasons. And it's very nice to have like Netflix, Netflix playing up here and then go sit there and be able to have all this paper around me that I'm chopping and cutting and, and folding. And yeah, it's been good. It's been really, really useful. So I'm going to try and make it yourself. Ah, fantastic! 48, fantastic rel. I would honestly hold off until 50 to go into Shadowlands, personally, like, but of course it's up to you. Uh, you may find it a bit tricky at 48, like things really do hit pretty hard, um, and you will feel, you'll find yourself quite squishy until you hit 50, uh, and 48 to 50 is not slow in the other areas, in the other expansions anyway, so it might, per like, it may might be worth looking into just staying there for a bit, but up to you. Up to you. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. One minute left to place your last units. Do the thing. As soon as Threads of Fate was introduced, switch to that as preferred leveling pathway. I'd find doing the same zones, same order, tedious, plus I level with war mode on for the XP bonus. Of course. Uh, I don't. Um, I just... Like, the the risk of my... Um, the risk of my leveling journey being interrupted is just annoying and, and irritant to me. I don't really care about the extra experience. It does not take that much extra time to get the extra 10%. Um, it's a really quick leveling experience, to be fair. Uh, but, um, yeah, I was doing the storyline. I think I did the storyline four times over. Uh, and I was concerned about losing out on the transmogs and stuff. But as soon as you select Threads of Fate and hand in the quest, um, it grants you, and then choose your covenant, it grants you all of the transmog you would have picked up if you had gone through the storyline, which is really awesome. Like, it flags the quests as completed, which gives you the transmogs. Uh, so it was thought through, which is great. And there are transmogs in Threads of Fate that you can't get if you don't do it. So I'm doing it on at least one of each play uh, each armor class. Um, and I mean, I, I might get bored of Threads of Fate. I might want to switch back and go and do a storyline or two. So I'm, I'm not going to like close that door. But uh, for now, I've been doing Threads of Fate because I'm looking for those uh, transmogs and stuff. But I just hit 54. Hey, 54 for the win. And we do a stream later. I like to PvP as well. Yeah, I I don't. Uh, I mean, look, PvP is not bad when I elect to go and do it. Like if I'm going into a battleground or into uh, that you know that kind of thing. But if I'm just out in the open world trying to get to 60, and someone comes along and tries to engage in combat, I'm like, piss off. You are not a, you are not going to give me a quest reward. I'm not going to get an extra 15,000 XP for killing you. I'm not going to get transmog. I don't care. Piss off. Uh, so it's just not worth it to me. If I'm if I'm doing task A, I want to do task A and not get distracted by task B. Uh, but that's that is just me. I uh, when I'm on my track, I like to get it done, and I like to get it done as efficiently as possible with as few interruptions as possible. And I know that not everyone's like that. Some people really like to take roundabout scenic routes and stuff like that, and that's totally all right. Not a worry at all. But just not my taste. Not my style. Thank you. 
Well, hardly a great, yeah. Look, I'm glad that the option is there for people. Like, that's the big thing is, I'm glad that there is an option for those who want to do it, they can. And that is what is important. What is also important is that those who don't want to, don't have to. That's the key. The choice. And the choice is ours, which is really good. I prefer that, kind of. Yes! All right. Uh, Elysiov, Elytria, uh, Alan, Alan, what? Can't speak. Rello, V, Zam, Twin, Silver, and Dunno. Congratulations to all of you on your internship. Well done. Good job. Good job. Um, it's for everyone. I think we made oh, not for everyone. Yeah, I think Warmode is a great addition as the player gets to opt in or out. Correct. That's exactly how I feel. I'm so happy it's there for people who want to use it. I'm good where I am. <laughs> I should have mainly used one mode for leveling points. Yeah, I, I'd like, honestly, it's 10% bonus or whatever it is. Um, on the oceanic servers, there is a higher population of Alliance who are in war mode, but because we're part of the North America region, the bonus that goes, you know how there's a bonus that goes to a faction, like if there are more Alliance in war mode, Horde get a bonus to try to encourage people to join. And then as it balances out, the, the bonus will go to Alliance, right? In North America, they're Horde. Horde, 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 horde. So the Alliance get the maximum bonus at all times. The problem is on the Alliance servers, uh, the Alliance servers, the OCE servers, it's all Alliance. But because we're part of that region and the North America player base is larger, those Alliance players still get the bonus and the Horde get no incentive for signing up. We get like the 10% or whatever it is, but we get no bonus on top of the 10%. And we're overrun by Alliance. Why would I do that? Oh no, it will take me 10% more time to level to 60. That's really not that long. <laughs> it's, it's like not even an hour. Why, why would I, why would I subject myself to that? No, absolutely not. Oh, I don't know, I meant to be peeping. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it is a choice and it is there to be made. And that's really cool. You don't have to transfer servers to participate in world PVP anymore. That's fantastic. I refuse. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Yay, twin. Free stuff indeed. Oh, Grim, I will refund that one to you so you can do it next stream. Uh, but I'm, we're finishing up here. So I'm not going to be around for, yeah, nah. <laughs> but that's all right. I'll give you the embers back and you can use it again next time. Yeah, we're going to find more about Elk and Solution opposed to PvE. Yeah, absolutely. That That is exactly what it's about. I mean, I was used to play in US Realms. Was born with lag. Totally fine. Uh, I don't fool in. I feel annoyed. Make better life choices. No, 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 no. If you're having fun, that's what matters. Fun, 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 fun. Uh, consideration how much time does dying from PvP add to your leveling? Yep. Some people it doesn't because they don't often die. And that's fine. And that's great and fine and wonderful for them. But for me, it's not worth the risk. It's just not worth it. Uh, plus, I get frustrated and then I want to stop leveling, but like, I have such limited leisure time as it is. If I want to spend it leveling, I want to spend it leveling, not fighting PvP and dying and running back and no, nah, not worth. Uh-uh, not doing it. But I'm glad if you guys want to and that you have that available to you. Uh, right, okay, so no more battles today because we're wrapping it up. I still haven't updated this because I probably, I'm not going to. Just look, I don't have time. It's fine. Uh, Monday, tomorrow, the 23rd, uh, we're not doing Mount Fun Monday. It is our sponsored by Square Enix Final Fantasy XIV stream. I am, oh my God, I'm so excited. I hope that you guys will join me tomorrow. Uh, there is there is a chance that this sponsored stream will turn into a series of sponsored streams, but it relies on my performance, like my, my stats and stuff for this stream tomorrow. So if you wouldn't mind hanging out, even if you're lurking, if you've never played Final Fantasy XIV before, that's totally okay. Uh, I'm, I, I've dabbled a little bit, but I have very, 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 very little experience with it. I'm going to be going through and discovering the world myself uh, and, and learning the story and, and reading all the quests and really just engaging with the content with fresh eyes. Uh, I've chosen a starting area that I have never done before, so it's going to be completely fresh and new to me, which I'm very excited about. Um, so I hope that you'll join me for that. And fingers crossed, uh, Square Enix are happy with... The results of the stream and they offer me more sponsorships in future like how awesome will that be just ah, help me pay off that dentistry stuff 
well not pay off, I haven't paid it yet, but help me save for the dentistry stuff so I don't need a loan. Yes, good. Uh, then on Wednesday we have some Xerath Mortis completion crap followed by Raid. We're probably going to end up farming some Genesis Motes on Wednesday, so if that's something you need for crafting your pets and mounts, feel free to jump on in with me. It's really actually kind of quick to get them. Surprised me how quickly we earned them. We made a new mount last week because I was like, huh, I have 500. Jeebus. Uh, so hopefully you'll join us for that. And then Friday is a bit of a special one. Uh, I'm going to be starting stream with a bare face, no makeup, um, and clean nails, and, and my hair probably just like this because whatever. Uh, and we're going to do a full face of makeup and nails and do my hair and all that kind of stuff because people were wanting to see the whole process and ask questions and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do. Do a booty stream. Beauty stream. It's it's a joke on YouTube. They call them booty gurus because it's a, yep, yeah, but it's a beauty stream. Good. I just realized what that sounded like and thought I would correct that before it went any further. Uh, and then Sunday will be transmog hunting. AT2 transmog hunting. And of course, we will have a new goal, a new challenge as of tomorrow. Um, actually, no, that won't be as of tomorrow. That will be as of Wednesday. No, yep, cool, we're good. As of Wednesday, we are gonna have a new uh, goal and it will be for Mythic Battle of Dazara Law achievements. So the idea will be if that is successful, I will adjust the point, the, the, the goal number, of course. I will remember to do that this time. Um, the idea is that if that's successful, there'll be a stream in June where I will put together, we will jump in a raid together and do our best to clear Mythic Bod to get those achievement points because we like that. We love achievement points because we're completionists. It's what we do. And although it is more than a week away, I will remind you that on the 30th of May, we have a charity stream. This is where we're raising funds for War Child UK. They are a charity that... Dying. Um. <laughs> War Child UK is a charity that provides goods and services and whatever happens to be needed to children who are affected by war. They are highly active in Ukraine at the moment, um, but they also have uh, some projects ongoing in other war affected areas across the world. They are a UK based charity and for the month of May, any donations to War Child UK via like, for example, Tiltify campaigns like I'm gonna be running, um, any donation from a UK resident will be matched pound for pound by the UK government, which is freaking awesome. So for those of you who are here and are in the EU who happen to be in the UK, wait, I know they're not part of Europe anymore, but that continent, right? You're not in the EU, you're not the European Union, but you are part of Europe, the continent, good. Um, <laughs> uh, tell, tell your friends. Tell, tell people you would usually tell this kind of stuff. And on the 30th, they can come on in, uh, chuck some money in the pot, and uh, your your money will stretch twice as far for War Child UK, which is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, good, that's what's happening. Um, uh, twin, no. As I said clearly before, this is the end of stream. We're not doing another battle. Um, uh, no, no more till tomorrow. Uh, no, we're not going to be doing stream raiders tomorrow because it is a sponsored stream. No stream readers tomorrow. I know Santa still said there's no pirate theme booty stream. <laughs> Good. I mean, maybe I'll draw like a chest of gold on my face or something. I don't know. Look. Riot. Um, and be the change you want to see in the world. Always part of Europe, just not politically. Yes. Have a good evening. You too, Watlin. We'll see you then. See you tomorrow. Apologies, I knew that. No, no, it's okay. Um, it Look, it is usual that I would have a stream readers thing tomorrow, but not this time. Um, stream, you may notice some differences tomorrow on stream because there's a whole lot of stuff I do that's very WoW related. So I have to like not to do those. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be a few changes you might notice. You might try to trigger a few things with the chat bot and it won't happen and things like that, but that's okay. It's only for the day. And I will try to remember to turn them all back on again. <laughs> uh, okay, where are we going? Um... I reckon, yeah, I want to check out this new thing. All right, firstly, let's mute that. Oh, that's super cute. Okay. Ah. 
Um, ba -ba -ba. Here we go. All right, we are reading Berry. Berry dropped by earlier. Berry is a lovely human. Uh, grab your copy paste. Seeker has posted it for us. If you grab your copy paste, uh, if you don't have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, both of which are totally okay, you can still copy and paste the entire message into the chat box and then delete where it says Fiamma hype, replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and then you can drop it into Barry's chat when we get there. Uh, Barry is a lovely human. They're playing, uh, what are they playing? Mass Effect 2, which I've watched them play a couple of times before, and it's just super entertaining and engaging. And it's a really nice, chill story, so that's that's good. We love a chill storyline stream. Um, but Barry is genuinely a, a truly awesome person. So i uh, love for you to come along and just throw some support, even if you do need to lurk afterwards. Totally okay. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Sponsored Square Enix Final Fantasy XIV stream. My head is exploding. I'm very nervous, but also very excited. I hope that you'll join me. Uh, follow on the socials, follow on Twitch, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you then. All love. Mwah. Bye, guys.